Shabbat Shalom, everybody, and welcome to the URA Radiothon 2016. It is a very, very special night, a very exciting evening, as I am here together with my co-host, Rabbi Avraham Kravitz. He's the director of URA's The Zone Summer Camp Boys and Girls Divisions, uh, as, uh, and host, which hosts, I believe, close to 1,000 campers every summer. Uh, the zone is uh, called more than just a camp uh, because uh, uh, Rabbi Kravitz is involved in the zone and he's going to be our co-host as we take you this evening through uh, uh, for around six hours worth of cutting edge uh, type programming and excitement. Of course, ending with over $300,000 worth of prizes which will be uh, being drawn later on this evening. So that's really exciting. We have the... Uh, some excellent political guests to discuss some of the political hot topics of the time. We have the Shark Tank up, uh, uh, which we're bringing back from last year, which will be wonderful. We have Yisrael, a.k.a. the Freddie Friedman, who will be here with us later this evening to discuss some very, very important topics. Uh, and, of course, uh, all sorts of wonderful treats and delights. Rabbi Moshe Mayor Weiss will once again be joining us later on this evening doing some very inspirational Kirov interviews uh, and so much, much, much more. So I'm very excited about the program this evening. As I am, and as well, this is an opportunity for us to highlight the mission of URA and what URA does, as well as the hundreds and thousands of current volunteers and past volunteers. Many of them are our neighbors and our friends and our nephews and our nieces. And uh, we're really excited to do this as well. Uh, this is an opportunity to support URA. This is our fundraiser, so to speak, of the year. It's an opportunity to get involved. And the $300,000 worth of prizes is not too shabby. Excellent prizes. Always very, URA really kind of is uh, very uh, trailblazing, if you will, and groundbreaking in the prizes, often imitated but never quite duplicated, uh, doing really some of the most uh, creative different types of prizes. I know that this year, uh, there's a prize that's very close to my heart, and that is free therapy. I and knew I knew we'd get into that, and yeah. you can really build on that, and we could probably spend six hours on that. Uh, yeah, because I just think that that's really wonderful to give out free therapy, because honestly, who doesn't need some? And thus, you know, just a lot of really, I think, both very, both very uh, practical uh, types of prizes that, uh, that the people out there could use, maybe something a little more extravagant, but everybody should be kind of calling in uh, right now. Uh, the numbers to call, of course, are the same as always, one eight seven 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 auction one eight seven 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 auction or online at ura.org to donate the, uh, this evening. And that's really the point, what we want from all you people out there, all you uh, uh, ladies and gentlemen, kinderlach and kinder, kinderlechs, uh, to, uh, to call in and uh, donate to the URA auction at URA.org or at one eight seven 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 auction And now for the first hour, we have a very uh, special guest here in studio, a very close friend of mine personally, someone I've known for a long time, and his name is Mr. Fivish. He's uh, been involved with URA ever since he was printed. Uh, he's famous for the uh, Fivish dance. Uh, he's starred in a couple, uh, had a couple starring roles on the, on the Schmorg, on Fivish and Friends. And he really, his goal is to make everyone happy, and we're so happy to have him here with us. And we'd like to give him a, a, a real special Yasher Koach on behalf of Rabbi Mintz and Ura for clearing an hour from your very, very busy schedule to join us. A good fach, Fivish, and how are you? Oh, ho, ho, a good fach. It's so wonderful for me to be here tonight to speak about one of my favorite things. Kirov Rechakim, <laughs> and it's great, and, and I have such, there's wonderful stuff coming off, uh, you can call in right now, because we actually have the Five-ish hotline, which is open for all Five-ish machers to call in right now at 732-5-ish to play the Five-ish trivia game, 732-F-I-V-E-ish, I-S-H, and you can win a tremendous five-ish socks, five-ish uh, ties, five-ish hats, five-ish t-shirts, and we, we, we've branded basically everything. <laughs> so you can call in, uh, you know, the lines will be open very soon in just a few minutes uh, to play the five-ish 
Kir of Rechakim uh, trivia game. So all the Kinderlach and Kinderlachs should be calling in promptly to do that. Thank you so much, Fivish. It's uh, uh, really nice to have you here. We're very excited to have you, and we look forward to playing the, uh, the Fivish Kir of game. But first, uh, we'd like to go for a word from one of our sponsors, Cars for Kids. One eight seven seven cars for kids. K A R S cars for kids. One eight seven seven cars for kids. Donate your car today. And here we are once again at the Ura Radiothon, or as we like to call it here, the Ura Thon, uh, together with my uh, my dear friend uh, uh, Mr. Fivish, as well as Rabbi Avraham Kravitz. And are you excited to play some? Uh, Five ish trivia today. I am. I'm very excited. And I know that the kids in all of Lakewood and Brooklyn and anyone that's really out there listening today are extremely excited and the numbers are uh, coming in and they're dialing and everybody wants to get through. But we also want to remind everybody else that you could donate and you should donate to us, us at URA at 877 7 auction, 877 7 auction. I was just thinking, Al when I got after Havdallah, I got in my car, I drove here. And there's a team of people, and they were really ready to go, and they're ready taking, uh, they're ready taking donations. Another th <coughs> a thought I had was, for those of us that live in Lakewood, we run to Dr. Shannick with our kids right after, uh, right after Shabbos. Of and course, you're amazed everybody that does, yeah. As early as you come, that there are people there already. Yeah. And I was amazed that, Baruch Hashem, when I looked on the screens, there were actually people, as early as we got here, really? people were calling in and donating, and that's ultimately what we need for tonight. We Excellent. want to support Ura. Yeah. We want to support us and get to know a little bit about our mission. And, uh, but first, we got to take care of our kids and Fivish. Okay, so uh, we'll go to Fivish now to do some Fivish trivia. Do we have some Kinderlach on the phone? Fivish, take it away. Oh, oh yes, very excited. Uh, can we put through the first Kinderlach to answer some Fivish trivia questions? Hello? 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 Hi, how you doing? Good. Good. So you, are you ready to uh, answer some uh, five-ish trivia questions? Yes. Okay, what's your name? Connor Ross. Who? Connor Ross. <laughs> That's a great name. <laughs> wonderful, wonderful. Okay, here's your question. Okay, you ready? Yes. Okay, here we go. Which Yom Tov has five days... Of Cholamoid. Which Yana okay. has five days of Cholamoid? Is it? I'll give you a multiple choice. You want multiple choice? No, I know. Sukkis. Sukkis is correct. Stay on the line. You've won. Would you like a five ish tie, a five ish t shirt, a five ish hat, a smorg, or five ish socks? A smorg. A smorg. A good choice. We'll give you one of the nice USB smorgs. Uh, which I have here sitting right in front of me. How's that? You excited? Um, actually, can I have t-shirts? Oh, you want a t-shirt instead. Can we do a t-shirt? Yes, they're telling me we can do a t-shirt. Excellent. Wunderbar. Thank you so much for playing. Do we have another caller? Hi, a good fuck. How are you? You're speaking with Fivish. Hello? Hi. Can't hear you. Speak up. Hi. Hi. How you doing? What's your name? Ashi Burger. SD Burger? Yeah. And where, which city are you from? Are you from Williamsburg? Lakewood. Oh, <laughs> Lakewood. Wonderful. What a wonderful city. I spent Shabbos in Lakewood this week. It was very inspirational. Okay, you ready? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see what kind of question we have for you. Uh, okay. Which one of the following four things does not belong? What? 
I'm going to give you a list of four things, four thingamabobs, and you're going to tell me which one does not belong. Okay. Okay? Here yeah. they are. Number one, a green light. Number two, green peppers. Number three, five-ish. Number four, windows. Which of those four, this is a very complicated question, which of those four do not belong? Window. Windows! Is that correct? It is! <laughs> Congratulations! Mazel tov! M mazel tov, mazel tov! Okay, you'll win a prize. Go on the line. Who do we have next? Okay, Gitty! Gitty! How you doing, Gitty? Good. Gitty, how you doing? Good. Wonderful. We would like to ask you a tremendous five-ish trivia question. Are you ready for that? Yeah. Okay, which of the following, which of the following should you never do? Okay, you ready? Yeah. Okay, eat soup without a spoon. Okay. Ride a bike without a helmet. Okay. Misbehave in class, or D, all of the above? All of the above. What's that? Are you sure? Yeah. Oh, you're sure, because the soup without a spoon thing is, is, is confusing me, honestly. Because I think that might be okay. But you're going to go with D, all of the above? Yeah. Okay, excellent. Congratulations. You have won. Have you have what kind of prize did you put in for? Yes. What? I can't. Yes. The what? Yes, can't. Yes. The pet prize. Oh, that's that's just wonderful. <laughs> Congratulations. I hope you win. You've won a, fi a, a fantastic five-ish paraphernalia. So congratulations on that. Who else do we have on the line? Who? Nasan. Nasan, how you doing, Nasan? Uh, how old are you, Nasan? Sixteen. Nasan, how old are you? Sixteen. 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 Excellent. The sixteen. Uh, you might be a little old. We're going to have to ask you a very complex question. Uh, Nasan, do you want to say what yeshiva you're learning in, or you can say no comment? Um, and are you sucker? And are you Sachar? Are you Sachar? <laughs> Wonderful. I have an excellent question for you from Are you Sachar. You ready? Yeah. Who was the fifth Shevet? That's all question. Who was the fifth Shevet? You Sachar. Yisachar is correct. Excellent. Congratulations. Mazel tov. You've won a fantastic prize. Okie doke. Oh, we have anybody else on the line? Oh. Maishi. Maishi. Little Maishi. How you doing, Maishi? Good. Good. You're doing well. Yeah. How old are you, Maishi? Eleven. Eleven. And what yeshiva do you learn in? The Hater. The Hater. The Hater in Brooklyn or the Hater in Lakewood? The hater in Lakewood. The hater in Lakewood. Okay, the Lakewood hater boy. Welcome everybody to the Hyatt in Princeton, New Jersey. Who's this, Nassim? So this is So sit Nassim? back and enjoy us, Lakewood hater Who's boys. Who's on the phone, Nassim? Oh, Maishi, Maishi, okay. Uh, before, you get, before you ask Maishi the question, Maishi, how did you get through? When did you call? Right after Shabbos? Did you get through right, yeah. did you get through right away or you had to try a whole bunch of times? I have to try a whole bunch of times. So for all you kids out there, just like, just like Moshi, you should keep on calling because you will get through. You'll get through, and you'll be able to speak to Fiveish and everybody else. Don't forget, eight seven 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 auction eight seven 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 auction. And Ura needs you. We need you to call and donate. We need you to get involved. Help Ura. Help us do our mission, and that is why we're here for it. Okay, Moshe, or Moshe, you ready to go? Yeah. Okay, the question that I'm going to ask you is, name five 
big Jewish communities. Five big Jewish communities. What grade are you in, Moish? Six. Sixth grade. You should know this. Name five big Jewish communities. Lakewood. Great. That's one. What else? Borough Park. Bar Borough Park. That is two. Williamsburg. Williamsburg. Do you have any family in Williamsburg? No. Okay. That is three. What else? Curious Yo. Curious Yo. Are you Hasidish, by the way? No. Okay, we got four, and finally, for the last big Jewish community. Muncie. Muncie, that is five Jewish communities, five-ish. Did he get it right? <laughs> I believe he did. I, I believe he did get it correct. That is just wonderful. Congratulations, sir, on winning this fantabulous prize. Do we have any more Kinderluck out there? Svi, ah, good evening, Svi, and how are you? Good. Good. How old are you, Svi? Ten. My father's is old, and my father's on the phone with his chavrusa is from Ura. His father says hello, and his father is on the phone now with his chavrusa, Torah mates. Ah. So uh, I think he should just get something just for that. That's right. You win an automatic prize because your father is on the line with his Torah mate. Congratulations. No trivia needed. Who's next? Yaakov. Yaakov, good to How are you? Good. Good. What? what? Bar Hashem. Oh, you must be from Lakewood. Are you from Lakewood? Yeah. Oh. Kivan Shira Shashem Shamayim Shagur Befiv. Hu Yada Shahu Meir Hakodesh Lakewood. Okay. Let me ask you a question, Lakewood boy. What yeshiva do you go to? Cheder Rabbeinu Taira. Who? Cheder Rabbeinu Taira? Cheder Rabbeinu Taira. That sounds like a very chash of a cheder. No, I think okay. I got I think I got the name wrong. Cheder Rabbeinu Taira. No, I Here think we go. Bine. What? Bine. Say that one more time, very clearly. Cheder b'nei Torah. Oh, Cheder b'nei Torah. Sure, that makes more sense, actually. Excellent name, excellent name. Okay, here's a question for you, okay? Okay. Hmm. Hmm. Okay, who is the face on the $5 bill? Whose face is on it? Abraham. Um, Hey, no asking your mother. Abraham Lincoln. Abraham Lincoln. And who was Abraham Lincoln? A president. A president. And what number president was Abraham Lincoln? Which number president? Which number president? It's too hard. It's too hard? Yeah. It's too hard. Okay, so. Uh, forgetting the first two parts of the question, we will give you a wonderful five-ish prize. Stay on the line. Do we have some more Kinderlach ready for some five-ish trivia? Shifra, Shifra Devora, Shifra Gudvach, Shifra, Shifra, are you there? Shifra going once, Shifra going twice. And stage fright, it looks like. Yeah, it looks like. Oh, that happens. People are often intimidated when speaking with five ish. Okay, anybody else on the line? Who else do we have? <coughs> we have some more Kinderlach. And reminding you, Kinderlach, all the Kinderlach that are listening for the five ish hour, tell your mommies and tatties, aunts and uncles, fetters and fetternachs to call right now, 1 877 7 auction, one eight seven 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 auction or go online at ura.org to donate to help Ura do Kirov. Now from the makers of... Dr. <laughs> the Marvelous Midos Machine, Volume 1, Up, Up, and Away. Schnooky to the rescue. I will release the mighty power of the great Schnooky upon you and your tribe. And 
Does anyone have the time? My name is George. George Washington. Comes the newest episode of the beloved Marvelous Midos Machine, Schnooky's Bar Mitzvah. I've got to get my tefillin back on time. The United States government will pay anything to get their president back. Enjoy hours of excitement with lessons songs and more it's just about the biggest most stupendous humongous mitzvah in the whole universe now enjoy all four episodes of the marvelous midos machine available in an all-in-one value pack with your 100 dollars donation to the ura auction oh, and welcome back to the five-ish hour here i am five-ish himself answering or asking questions to all the kinderlach who are calling in. Welcome back to the Urathon, where we have a wonderful, exciting program this evening together with my dear friends, uh, Rabbi Elchanan Schwartz, a.k.a. Baruch, the Baruch Yanikov, and Rabbi Avraham Kravitz. And we have some more Kinderlach on the line. Elchanan, before we get to the uh, Kinderlach on the line, tonight is an opportunity, and this is for all the adults that are listening or trying to help your kids Call into the Fivish line. Tonight we have, a, we have an opportunity to send Joey and Mikey and Dean and, 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 and Howard to Yeshiva. We have an opportunity to get their parents involved in Torah mates. We have an opportunity to be Mabit's Torah. We have an opportunity to do Kirov and, 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 and bring them closer to the Kaddish Baruch Hu. And that's only going to happen with your continued help. Please call 877 877- 7 auction, 8777 auction. I'm here as I'm just a conduit or a vehicle to uh, get across the amazing things that we do here um, for these people that are within our mission. And again, sending kids to Yeshiva, that's something for $5 you can get in and help somebody get to Yeshiva. So join in, take part, get a chance to win these incredible, incredible prizes. Enjoy the uh, enjoyable evening that we have planned for you. But most of all, we look for you to support the cure of mission that we are doing oh excellent that sounds really really exciting i'm very excited for it myself and uh, reminding all the kinderlach if you want to see this live go to ura.org and you can view the entire auction happenings including seeing fiveish himself at ura.org online on the interweb uh, and all the Kinderlach who still want to call in and ask questions or answer questions to Five Ish, you can call 732 5 Ish. 732 F I V E Ish I S H. 732 348 3474. And do we have some more Kinderlach on the line? Do we have more Kinderlach on the line? Yes, Gitty's on the line. We have Gitty on the line. Gitty, hi, how are you? Yeah, hello. Hi, how are you, Gitty? Okay, where are you calling from? From um, Lakewood. Lakewood. What school do you go to? Beis Rif Karachal. Benos Rif Karachal, right? Beis Rif Karachal. Oh, be- okay, sorry, I didn't hear that. Question for you. What would you like to win? A five-ish cap or a five-ish tie, five-ish sacks, or a five-ish T-shirt? Um, a T-shirt. A T-shirt, okay, we got a good question for you. Question... Question, here we go. Which one, which, which is the best kind of kugel? Potato kugel, luxion kugel, broccoli kugel, apple, cranberry, raspberry kugel? Which is apple, cranberry, raspberry kugel. Apple, cranberry, raspberry kugel. That's the best type yeah. of kugel that you want. And you are correct, it sounds like. So we are going to give you... A, uh, uh, we're going to give you a T-shirt, and uh, we continue on with the next caller. Who's the next caller? Avi! <laughs> Wonderful. Avi, where are you calling from this evening? Passaic. Where? Passaic. Passaic? <laughs> in New Jersey? Yeah. Oh, that's just wonderful. And what yeshiva do you go to in New Jersey? Yeshiva on a Yeshiva Ketana of Passaic. Oh, that's just a fantastic yeshiva. I love that yeshiva. I was actually, I learned in that yeshiva for a year. Did you know that? No. No, you didn't. <laughs> okay, let me tell you, let me ask you the, uh, the following trivia question, okay, to win a fantabulous prize. Are you ready? Yeah. Okay, 
Can you sing me the five-ish song? The what? The five-ish song. I can't really hear you. Can you sing me the five-ish song? No. No? Oh, my. Oh, dear. At least he's honest. Uh, okay. Can you tell me how to make chillin? Yeah. Okay, how um, do you make chillin? How, how I do it. I cut up potatoes and onions. I put it into the crack, crack pot. Then I, I, I put in the meat. Uh-huh. And then I put in a lot of spices. Uh-huh. Butter and barley. Uh-huh. And then I, I put in water and I put in spices. And I put, and then I heat it up for like a day or two in the crack pot. And then I try this and take it out and eat it. Excellent. Ex very good. How how old are you? Ten. Ten years old, and you make a sounds like you make a mean chillin. So even though you didn't know the five-ish song, which by the way you should learn as soon as possible, uh, you will win a fantabulous prize because you told me how to make chillin. All right. Thanks for the advice what? about learning the five-ish song. Say that again. Thanks for your advice about winning the Fivers song. Oh, <laughs> well, uh, think nothing of it. Have a good bach. Thanks for joining. Who's next on the line? Zev. Zev is on the line. Zev. A good bach, Zev. How are you? Hi. How you doing, Zev? Where are you from? Lakewood, New Jersey. Lakewood, New And what yeshiva do you go to? Hey, sir. Toyras Aharoin. And I know Kravitz. You know Kravitz. <laughs> well, who doesn't, honestly? <laughs> and 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 can can you sing? My the cousin. He's your cousin, Rabbi Kravitz. Do you have a cousin named Zev? Zev, what's? Do you want to say your last name, Zev? Harry Bergman. Oh, he's my nephew. Oh, <laughs> well, you win automatically. No, you don't. No, you don't. Now let's see. Does Rabbi Kravitz? Can Rabbi Kravitz's nephew? From Tyrus Sahara in Lakewood, do you, can you sing the five-ish song? Uh, do you have a different question? <laughs> <laughs> do I have a, no, I have a different question. I want you to answer this one. <laughs> can you sing me the five-ish niggin? I don't want to sing any songs. Okay, I'll tell you what. For the next... For all the Kinderlach listening out there at 7325-ish, the one who can sing me the five-ish song nicely with hearts will win not just a five-ish t-shirt, a five-ish hat, a five-ish sock, and a five-ish, but a plush five-ish, a big time. Oh, how about this? They'll win a five-ish linen. Do we still have five-ish linen? Yeah, I believe we do. Okay, the next person who can call, who we ask, who can sing me the five-ish nigga? I'll sing it, I'll sing it. Oh, now I'll sing it. He for is the my, linen. He is my nephew. He is your nephew. For the linen, he'll sing it. Let's hear. Let's hear you sing the five-ish yeah. song. He's my cousin. Yeah, whatever. You guys can fight about it for the Yerusha. Now, what's the, uh, sing me the five-ish nigga. Five-ish, five-ish, everyone. Thanks to five-ish, you'll have fun. Five ish, five ish, your very own. Being five ish, home. Excellent! I Wonderful! Am, Congratulations! That was Rabbi Kravitz. Your your mishpacha can sing. What happened to you? We're <laughs> we're a total ur mishpacha. I am such nachas from Zev. You're unbelievable. I okay, so make sure Zev gets some five ish linen. Okay, five ish linen for Zev. Do we have any more Kinderlach on the phone at this time? Mordechai. Mordechai Agatavach, where are you from? Lakewood. Lakewood. Is there anybody uh, calling not from Lakewood? Uh, you, would, you wouldn't know. Okay. Um, I know I was asking the producer, really. Um, okay. Uh, Mordechai, what yeshiva do you go to? Lakewood Hater. The Lakewood Hater. Okay, this is a good question for a Lakewood Hater boy. What do you want to be when you grow up? A... A Tom and Do you want to hear the other choices at least? Uh, yeah. Okay, excellent. A five-ish macher. B, a huge tzaddik or tzaddikas. C, a fireman. Or D, five-ish is personal assistant. Five-ish is personal assistant. Oh, excellent. That's the right answer. Because five-ish is personal assistant can not only be five-ish is personal assistant, he can also be a Talmud Chacham. So you get to be both. 
Congratulations. That's a Lakewood Kitcher and Hater kid for you. You have won fantastic five ish paraphernalia. Oh, uh, Hanish, I read some prizes. Some prizes? Yeah, some some donations. I'm sorry. <laughs> We're not up to the prizes yet. Mr. Uh, I don't know what happened to Ohanan, by the way. You keep talking to him. He's not he's not here. <laughs> he that's true. He left for the for the next couple of hours. Mr. Iron Nahmani, Los Angeles, California, $105. Mr. Akiva Nimchinsky, Muncie, New York, $100. Mr. Jenny Nazowitz, Brooklyn, $150. Mr. Bayer Rappaport, Lakewood, $250. Mr. Yisrael Raskin, Baltimore, $150. Rabbi Avram Roeder, Oak Park, Michigan, $250. Mrs. Razel, Miss Razel Rothenberg, Lakewood, $150. Thank you. Mr. Mr. Gadali Ruby, Brooklyn, $100. Mrs. Y. Rock, Lakewood, New Jersey, $80. Mr. Ari Schwartz, South of Michigan, $250. Mr. and Mrs. Yisrael Shapiro, Baltimore, $100. Mr. and Mrs. Victor Shine, Brooklyn, $100. Mr. and Mrs. Aaron Siegel, Oak Park, Michigan, $345. Mr. and Mrs. Silva, Farakoe, $280. Mr. Tree Skates, Baltimore, $130. Mr. Zalman Summer, Miami, $100. Mr. and Mrs. David Tal, Valley Stream, $250. Mr. Lana Vogel, Pikesville, $75. Mr. and Mrs. Mordecai Weintraub, Brooklyn, $500. Thank you. Mr. Jason Weiss, Lakewood, New Jersey, $100. Mr. and Mrs. Yitzchak Weiss, Miami Beach, $108. Rabbi Mrs. Shlomo, Yaakov Shlomo, Rablowski, Lakewood, $100. Mr. Arye, we August, Brooklyn, $130. Mr. Elliot Wiesel, Edison, $100. Mr. Zev Wallman, Brooklyn, New York, $100. Mr. and Mrs. Usher Yavner, Brooklyn, $100. $100. That's amazing that uh, Elliot Wiesel donated, by the way. I don't know if you heard that. Well, That's I was I viewed too fast. Wiesel. The That's Nobel excellent. Prize, uh, Nobel, Nobel winner. Rabbi and Mrs. Yehuda Abadi, Brooklyn, New York, $115. Rabbi and Mrs. Chaim Abramson. $250, Rabbi and Mrs. Uh, Akiva Edelman, $100 from Yerushalayim, Mr. and Mrs. Yitzchak Al-Kahasi, $90, Mr. and Mrs. Jason Applebaum, $100, Mr. Egal Avshalom, $90, Mrs. Debbie Becher, $100, Miss Natalie Bilgeray, $240, Mr. Avrami Brezel, $100, Rabbi and Mr. Mrs. Dovi Chase, $105, Mr. and Mrs. Almond Cohn, $100, Matthew Davis, $108, Miss Esther Diamond, one hundred dollars. Mr. And Mrs. Shlomo Englard, one hundred and five dollars. Rabbi and Mrs. Benjamin Epstein, eighty dollars. Mr. Ike Irani, two hundred fifty dollars. Mr. Alan Ehrenthal, two hundred fifty dollars. Mrs. Heschel Pfefferkorn, one hundred dollars. Mr. Nate Feitman, one hundred dollars. Marco Fernandez from Northport, Florida, one hundred five dollars. Mr. Shmuel Fischler, my dear buddy from Baltimore, Maryland, eighty five dollars. Mr. And Mrs. Pinchas Frankel from Lakewood, New Jersey, one hundred and twenty dollars. And Mrs. Rachel Glass. From Cedarhurst, eighty dollars, and uh, now we'll go back to Fiveish. Let's see if Fiveish has some more Fiveish people for some trivia. I'd love to hear from uh, kids from some interesting places. Let's see. Uh, let's see if we can get some kids from some interesting places. Uh, uh, who's on the phone now? Who do we have? Zevi from Lakewood, New Jersey. Uh, good to talk, Zevi. How are you doing? Very good. Very. How old are you, Zevi? 12. 12. 12 years old. Let's see what kind of question we have for you, Zevi from Lakewood. Could you sing the five ish song? I'm not good at singing. You're not good at singing. That's what's gonna make this all that much more fun. Give us a little, give us a little uh give us a little niggin and then we'll we'll skip the trivia question. Just just uh, just give us the five ish song. A little a few bars. I can't sing. <laughs> oh, you can sing. If I can sing, anybody can sing. Go ahead. I'm just a five dollar bill. Come on, go for it. I'll help you out. Five ish. Five ish. Everyone thanks to five ish. You'll have fun. <laughs> Excellent. Excellent. Okay, now let me give you a quick trivia question as well, okay? Okay. Okay, name five states in the United States of America. Oregon. Oregon, yeah. New Jersey. New Jersey, yeah. New York. New York, yeah. California. California. Florida. Florida, excellent, excellent. How did Oregon get in there? I just know that state. Oh, excellent, excellent. Can you give me five more for a double prize? Nevada. Nevada. South Carolina. South Carolina. Ohio. Ohio. North Carolina. North Carolina. Iowa. 
Iowa. Excellent, excellent. Can you give me five more for three prizes? South Dakota. South Dakota. North Dakota. North Dakota. Connecticut. Connecticut. Mississippi. Mississippi. One more. Arizona. Arizona. Congratulations, Sevy from Lakewood. You are the winner of three five-ish paraphernalias. We Thank have you. a three for you, and congratulate you. Sing much better than you said, by the way. Excellent. I, I mean, I would call Ellie Gerstner right now and and try out. Thank you. Okay. Have a good evening. Who's next on the line? Simcha. Simcha from Lakewood is on the phone. Simcha, good evening. How are you? Good. How you doing? Good. Uh, what yeshiva you go to, Simcha? Lakewood Cheder. Lakewood Cheder. How'd you get in? My, I think my mother. Your mother got you into Lakewood Cheder? Yeah. Aha. Uh-huh. Why did she? What kind of protection does she have? Um, uh, what? How did you get into Lakewood Cheder? Is my question. I don't know. You don't know. Do you have any older brothers or sisters? Um, older sisters, I have. Uh, you're the oldest boy. Yeah. What does your father do? A rebbe. He's a rebbe. Ha <laughs> That'll do it. Okay. Uh, Simcha, you ready to answer some five-ish trivia? Yeah. Okay. Name the five boroughs of New York. I don't know. You don't know? You don't know the five boroughs? Okay, how about this? Name me four cities that have big Yiddish kehilos. Five, um, I mean. Five. Everything is five. Name me five cities that have big Yiddish kehilos in them. Borough Park. Borough Park. Williamsburg. Williamsburg. Crown Heights. Crown Heights. Lakewood Hater. Um, Lakewood? Lakewood. One more. Flatbush? Flatbush, correct. Excellent. Borough Park, Flatbush, Williamsburg, Crown Heights, and Lakewood, New Jersey. Congratulations. You, Simcha, from Lakewood Hater, have won a fantabulous prize. Do we have anybody else on the line this evening? We have Chaim. I go to Chaim. Where are you from? Lakewood. Lakewood. Oh. Lakewood, New Jersey. What yeshiva do you go to? Chagas Aryeh. Chagas Aryeh. And here's your question. Who was the parent of the year at the Chagas Aryeh dinner last Sunday? <laughs> Who? Wait a second. Wait a second. <laughs> Question is, who was the parent of the know. year at the Shakasaya dinner? You don't know. Ask your father or something. Gleberman. Gleberman, that is correct. You have won a tremendous prize. You have won a tremendous prize. Congratulations. Congratulations. Uh, the, uh, what was it? Chaim from Lakewood from Shagas Arya. Do we have anybody else on the line? Ben Yamin is on the line. I get to Ben Yamin. How are you? Good. And uh, what yeshiva do you learn in, Ben Yamin? Yeshiva Kol Torah. Yeshiva Kol Torah. In Eretz Yisrael? In Lakewood. Oh, in Lakewood. Okay, excellent. And and that's a fine yeshiva, if I may say so myself. Does your kinderloch go there? Absolutely. Oh, fine, fine yeshiva. Okay. <clears throat> Let's see. How many sides does an octagon have? Eight. Does it? <laughs> Can we, how come the answer is not everything's supposed to be five? A- octagon has eight sides. Yes, as an oct, as an eight. Correct? Congratulations, you have won. Any, a pentagon has five sides, like the Pentagon in Washington, D.C., <laughs> Excellent. The Excellent. five-ish octagon has five sides, so we're Yes, good. correct. And do we have any more Kindelach? Uh, who, who is on the line? Hi, it's Ellie. Ellie, and where are you from, Ellie? Uh, Philadelphia. Philadelphia! Congratulations. Five-ish, five-ish. Yeah, what? Can I tell you 
you a joke? Um. Very quick. What time did the Davin Mincha at Ura? What time? Five ish. Oh, <laughs> oh, that is just a. Oh, that is that. <laughs> that is just hit me on the head, slap my thighs. Funny. Good job. What's your name again? Ellie Zephyrin. Ellie, Ellie, could I ask you a question, or should I just give you a prize for telling me that wonderful joke? Or should I give you two good. prizes because you're the first kid called in, not from Lakewood? Okay. Okay, so we'll give you two prizes. If you sing the five-ish song, I'll give you three. Five-ish, five-ish, everyone stands for five-ish. You'll have fun. I don't know the song, really. You X. can dance from songs. The five-ish. Tune excellent, in. excellent, it's congratulations. You. you have won some fantabulous prizes. And now we go to a quick commercial break from our sponsors. We're under attack with the WMDs, uh, weapons of mass depression. We are in the final stages of developing something that, let's just say, rhymes with schmuckler schweppen. I think the only one who can help is uh, Fivish. You say it's enjoyable when grandparents come, but, well, what if I don't really like when they come? <gasps> Run away! I need your help dressing up as a Haredi. Do you want a uh, payas? Payas? What is a Chusid's favorite baseball team? The White Sox! Why was there a Shidduch crisis in Mitzrayim? I remember the first time I had Kugel at a Hasidish friend's house. The first time I went to the shul on Shabbat. The lions attack. The golden eagles have been expecting them. Standing before them are tons and tons of angry buffalo. Schmorg A! It's the new family favorite with over four hours of quality entertainment for all ages. Get your Schmorg today free with your $50 donation to the Ura Auction. Uh, I'm just a regular $5 bill. And we're back here at the Urathon. Don't forget, the lines are open. There are people here ready to take your call. 877-7-AUCTION, 877-7-AUCTION, and help everybody. Help get kids to yeshiva. Help parents get, help those kids' parents get story maids. Help them come for a chag in the zone. Help the kid come for the summer. Help our people here that we, uh, that we assist in our mission. 8777-AUCTION, 8777-AUCTION. As a new segment to the Urathon, hourly, we're going to be having Siyumim. Tonight is an evening of celebration. Throughout, to, throughout this evening, we'll be taking you live to join numerous Siyumim celebrated by our Torah mates. These celebrations range from Aleph Base to Shas, but we all share a common feeling of accomplishment. So, whether you are tuned in, streaming in, or with us here tonight, please join us along as we sing and dance in inspiration. We now take you live to the first CM celebration that is just about in progress. Um, I wanted to get back to some of the prizes here that we, uh, that we are, are uh, giving away tonight. $300,000 in prizes, but first I have a big uh, prize shadow to have to give. $250 donated by Mutti Berman in honor of his collar, Rina Gestetner, who works here at URA and has done an incredible job here with the uh, Urathon. Uh, he's quite proud of you and he looks forward to seeing you soon. Thank you very much for the donation. One of the prizes that we'd like to discuss tonight is the uh, five-ish cash. The five-ish ah, cash, five, yes. 1,000 genuine $5 bills tied up in a green bow just for you. I'm trying to think uh, what I would do with that money if I won. Well, well you know, well, what's something that's talking to me for the uh, $5 bills times one, $5 bill times 1,000. I, I think that's uh, just an, one example of the, uh, of, the, uh, of the fabulous prizes that we have over here. I always like the, I always like the trips myself. Uh, being a person of, be, being a person of, of great many chips, uh, they have the Eretz Yisrael, they have a week in the zone. Can you imagine that surprise? You can go up to the zone where apparently, according to this picture, um, uh, Rabbi uh, Ralph Suger, Heshi Forster, and Sh Rabbi Blobstein will drive you around. 
if you, uh, if you, uh, there we go. Can anybody get that? Anyways, so that's you know I like those kind of those kind of trips there. See, they have, drive you around in the zone. It's really really beautiful. Have and you been to the zone? I, I have Bar Hashem been privileged to be to the zone, but I like the you know priceless bracha. You can go away. They have a trip there to Israel, a vacation. That's what I that's what I always kind of like putting in. Uh, uh, putting in for when I have when I, I have the opportunity, and I'm more of um, I, have, I have trouble making you know decisions. So the jackpot prize really talks to me, where you can get 100 tickets into each of the 49 best prizes, and the law of averages tell us that we can actually win. And now we're going to go to our first live CM and take it away. <laughs> Welcome everyone, and thank you for joining us an evening of celebrating Siyumim. As we start with our first seum by our Toshiba Torah mates, Rabbi Mordechai Merk, together with his Torah mate, I'm sorry, Dr. Mordechai Merk, together with his Torah mate, Rabbi Tuvia Manaker. Keep in mind that as they are celebrating the seum on Masech des Brachas, they've been running for over a year. This is not just a seum on Masech des Brachas, and their seum on Masech des Brachas, which in itself is worthy of a huge celebration. But this is also a seum of over 6,000 Torah mates. It's a, a monumentous occasion of many, many seumim, hundreds, maybe even thousands of seumim of over 6,000 Torah mates that have been learning week in, week out with the Torah mate and forming that connection through the study of Torah to help each other grow together in, to live like true Emes Ibn Torah, Emes I'd like to call upon Dr. Merck to say a few words. Thank you all. Um, about a year ago, I uh, put in a request to uh, for uh, Torah Mates to uh, find a learning partner. Uh, and very quickly, Rabbi Mamelstein uh, got back to me. And uh, before long, I was learning uh, with my Cheshavar Cherusa here, Tovia Manukar here, who's... Uh, been instrumental in my Torah learning. We've been learning regularly Friday mornings, uh, 45 minutes to an hour every week. And my learning has escalated uh, so much. Uh, I'm so grateful for Rami Mamelstein and, and Tuvia for helping me so much. Uh, it's made it quite easy. The whole process was very easy and uh, enjoyable. And uh, I'm very grateful to uh, everyone for uh, being able to be uh, partake in the Torah Mates program. Uh, it's a wonderful program. I think all People, Jewish people, families uh, should uh, participate in such a program like this. It's, it's easy, it's accessible, and uh, very, very enjoyable. And uh, I'd like to just thank everybody for that opportunity to do that. Thank you very much for your inspiring words. I'd like to call upon Rabbi Tovia Manaka to say a few words. I'd like to thank everyone for for arranging this uh, tourmates program last year, I also I, uh, on the night of the Urathon, I got inspired to, uh, or at least I, I thought I toyed with the idea before, but I got inspired by the Urathon to uh, actually make the call. And I spoke to Rabbi Marvestein, and I called, and within days, of Marvestein called back. And I always said, Mordechai was a perfect Surah, and uh, it was a very enjoyable learning with Hashem. We learned Bamitzia. We finished that, and we, we finished Brachis, and we're making our way to Psalchim, as Hashem. And uh, I'd like to thank all who are involved, and uh, you know, to say the, you know, the encouragement of Marvestein uh, gives along the way, every, every step in the way. I feel like, you know, it's, uh, I have, you know, someone, to talk to, you know, in case any questions on on what to do, and it's uh, it's a wonderful program, and I encourage anyone to 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 join. It's very easy and it's uh, very rewarding as well. Thank you very much, Rabbi Manika. I would like to take this opportunity to thank Rabbi Marmestein and all our dedicated Kira professionals that toil day in and day out to set up Torah mates and help people through their journey as they study with the Torah mates. Please join us, the covered, the see him in some song and dance.
Take it away. Mazel tov, mazel tov on the sea, mazel tov. Okay, we're gonna, while we have these uh, singing in the background, we'll give you some more of the people that have given big donations. Mr. L. Kramer from Los Angeles, $140. Mrs. Darcy Lavandi from $100. Mr. Chaim Lieberman, Brooklyn, $160. Mr. Daniel Ogoruk from Houston, Texas, $100. Ms. Devorah Siegel from Clifton, $140. Gershon Voliger from Lakewood, New Jersey, $100. And all the Kindle who tried to call in and weren't able to, we feel really bad. Mirza Shem, Ezra Shem, next year, 
you'll be able to get through all the Kinderlach like like Shia Hershkowitz and Chayla and Goldie Gleberstein and uh, the Ferber Kinderlach from Riverdale, as well as the Goddessman uh, Kinderlach, Ephraim Hadassah, Yaakov Yecheskel, Avigail, Hillel. I'm sorry you guys couldn't get through and, and play some five-ish trivia, but know that five-ish... Fivish, not Al Khanan, supports your uh, supports your uh, uh, a wonderful uh, uh, appreciates your wonderful wonderful support. Miss Esther Altman Muncie one hundred dollars. Mr. And Mrs. Martin Martin Bluth one hundred dollars. Mrs. Regina Botnick Brooklyn one hundred dollars. Mr. Jacob Bergdia Englewood one hundred dollars. Mr. and Mrs. Avram Friedman. $500, Miss Shayna Goodman, $250, Miss Seema Kazin from Cleveland, Ohio, $250, uh, uh, Mrs. C.L. from Lakewood, $100, Mr. Yaakov Lustiger from Edison, $75, Rabbi and Mrs. Yossi Rifkin, $100, Mr. Joseph Rosenbach for Rockley, $100, Mr. Chaim Rothstein for Rockley, $180, Miss Aviva Rubanowitz, Los Angeles, $100, Rabbi Surly Schmidt, Lakewood, $250, Miss Rita Senderovitz, Brooklyn, $100. Rabbi Mrs. Simpson Singer, Brooklyn, $100. Mr. and Mrs. Norman Spector, Brooklyn, $100. Ben Sion Zuckerman from Baltimore, $105. Rabbi Mrs. Yehuda Body, $115. Mr. Simon Friedman from Lakewood, $150. Mr. Rachel, Miss is Rachel Friedman Breyer, Miami, Florida, $180. Miss Esther Gansby, Brooklyn, $170. Rabbi Shlomo Ginsburg, Lakewood, New Jersey, $250. Rabbi Mayor Greg, Lakewood, New Jersey, $85. Miss R. Cohn, Brooklyn, $250. And on, on behalf of, of everyone at the Urak here of Rechakim, this is five ish. I got to get back into my studio and start working on next year's morgue. Thank you to all the Kinderlach for calling in. Thank you, Sharashim. Thank you, Ura. Thank you, Hakadosh Baruch Hu. Good night and good luck. <laughs> Ura Auction on 570 WMCA New York, 1079 WMDI Lakewood, and our flagship station, 770 WABC New York. Also broadcasting live at Ura.org, your most trusted source for auction coverage everywhere. Welcome to Ura's 2016 auction, home of 50 awesome prizes. For the complete prize list, go to Ura.org, only $5 each. 6K MasterCard, lifetime tickets, classic jewels, grocery giveaway, 5 ish cash cam release, week at the Waldorf, it's a jewel, fine furniture, heat for speed, lifter, and mega bucks. one 877 Call now, only $5 each. Set to impress, it's a Dini, family vacation, shots from Geldish Ma, $36,000, your wheels, therapy, savings fund, Eric's and Strauss, save with her, dental care, debt free. Order online at Ura.org. Only $5. Surprise! Shopping spree, Art School Library, Big Fat Check, Pick Your Pet, Toyota, Sienna, it's a Jacqueline, a week in the zone, prices, product of filler up, five is checkbook, diamond necklace, two auctions. Seven, 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 auction. Call now, only five dollars each. Clothing, vacation anywhere, rent and mortgage shop, New York supermarket, insurance, circus in Israel, visa gift card, travel and tax, sterling silver, renovate your home, it's a kinky jackpot. Order online at Earth.org. Only five dollars a prize! One, eight, seven, 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 auction. Call now, only five dollars each. One, eight, seven, 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 so call now, 1-877-7-Auction. For a full description of prizes, go to Ura.org. 1-877-7-Auction. 1-877-7-Auction. The following hour is brought to you by Ura's Holiday Retreats Division, a rejuvenation for the body and soul, a yunt of experience for the family, the zone, so much more than just a camp. Ask the Rabbi Live where no question goes unanswered. And uh, good to welcome everybody and welcome back to the Urathon 2016 as we are with you for another five hours of fantastic entertainment and uh, inspiring stories culminating with the drawing of three over three hundred thousand dollars worth of prizes call in right now at one eight seven 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 auction one eight seven 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 auction or online at ura.org where you can also watch uh, live stream this uh, radio 
broadcast. I'm here with my co-host, uh, Rabbi Avram Kravitz, soon to be joined by the uh, esteemed Rabbi Moshe Mayer Weiss, who will be with us uh, for, uh, I believe, a few hours this year. And uh, we have some tremendous uh, Kirov interviews coming up, as well as just some inspirational singing and dancing, as well as some uh, interviews where we'll be tackling some of the hotter topics of the Jewish uh, world this day, uh, such as uh, political talk, also the siyumim as we had. There'll be a siyum every hour, I believe, Rabbi Kravitz. Is that correct? Correct. And Al-Khanan, for me, when Rabbi Weiss comes on, it always uplifts me and really brings the program to, to, uh, to a, a Dahoyben level, a very spiritual level. And, and we're very excited that he's going to be joining us shortly. And we have, some, uh, we have an incredible uh, Kirov interview that's coming up. Actually, quite an emotional Kirov interview but don't forget to call 877-7-AUCTION. While we were at the Siyumim, I actually walked the floor of uh, the call center of people accepting your calls. There are lines open, and people are calling. I'm looking at the screen now, and it looks great. But we, we need you, and we need you to help us send all these kids to Yeshiva and the rest of the work that we do. So please call 877-7-AUCTION. It's $5 a prize, and what's the worst? You may win one of the, th one of the prizes in the jackpot of $300,000 worth of it's prizes. It's tremendous. And there's all these wonderful ways that you can enter and donate and get extra things. For example, if you give $50, you get, first of all, you get the shmorg, which is just absolutely uh, amazing. Um, as well as, you know, you get 10 $5 tickets. Because remember, at the end of the day, we're not asking you for 30 It's still $5 a prize. You know, people don't understand. That's, what, that's where five-ish came from. You know, five-ish comes from the fact that that's the branding over here, that you know, five-ish has become larger than life. But really, it's about $5 a prize, every prize for only $5. You put in $10, $50, that gives you 10 $5 tickets, plus you get Schmorg egg. Or if you want to double your tickets, you give $100, you get double entries into each of the 20 prizes that you choose, plus Schmorg egg, plus the Marvelous Midas Machine, the entire collection, Marvelous Midas Machine, one through four. Or, 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 <laughs> it doesn't end there. You can give $250, you get triple tickets, you get Schmorg 8, Marvelous Midas Machine Collection, triple entries into each of the $50 prizes, Schmorg 8 plus the Marvelous Machine. I mean, it's just, you know, but again, $5, $50, $100, $250, double your tickets, triple your tickets, whatever you give, will go towards helping Ura do the amazing Kirov Rechoikim work that we do. And, 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 something, and something that's amazing, something that's amazing that, hasn't, that we, we take for granted, with the skyrocketing cost of, of, of life and the rate of inflation, the $5 prize has still stayed the $5 prize. It's, it's unbelievable. I don't, know how, I don't know how they do that. But the $5 prize is still the $5 prize. And we're just going to tell you a little bit. Oh, through the night, we're going to be highlighting some of the wonderful work that Ura does. One of them is uh, actually the Ask the Rabbi, which happens weekly. It's an amazing, amazing program. Here's a little bit more about that. Rabbi, how do you explain the discovery of 230 million year old dinosaur fossils according to the Torah? What's wrong with marrying a non-Jew who's a fine person? If you're on like FaceTime or Skype with someone and they make a bracha, do you get a mitzvah for saying amen? Why do we mourn Rabbi Akiva's students and not the Holocaust when more people died during the Holocaust? The question is that the world was created through the blueprint of the Torah. Why is the Yetzir Hara so much more powerful than the Yetzir Tov? An online question. Why does Rabbi Min say Shabbos and why does my rabbi say Shabbat? Does eating kosher bacon flavored Pringles violate the spirit of the law? Is it proper to pray to Hashem for the Mets, that the Mets should win, you know, the series? Is that, is that something wrong with that? How come women don't wear tefillin? What's wrong with having a television in your house? Is there anything wrong for a Jew to own a pet dog? If you have a sitter app on your phone, can you bring your phone into the bathroom? Yes. So Tuesday nights at 9 o'clock, that is the Ask the Rabbi. Some of those questions that you uh, just heard will be answered live by Rabbi Chaim Mintz. On Uru.org every Tuesday night at 9 o'clock. You could, you could ask, uh, you could see the Ask the Rabbi segment 
um, in, in, in person, and you can also uh, send your questions in to ask the rabbi at ur.org, and you can see your question actually be read. I actually tried that out last week. I never want to go on here and say something that I, I didn't try myself, so I sent in a question, and the question was actually answered. I asked a question about uh, the Harambe gorilla um, um, ah, in the news, oh, yes. what the Torah view on that is, and a uh, very insightful answer that I got, and I'm sure we'll discuss it later uh, with wh when um, Freddie, you saw Freddie Friedman comes, I'm sure he has a lot to say on all matters of the day, frankly, uh, but this matter as well. And don't forget to donate, 877-7-AUCTION, 877-7-AUCTION, and we go to a commercial break. In just a few hours, we will be drawing the winner of $36,000. That's right, you heard it, $36,000. Do you want to win $36,000? Now you can with a $36,000 cash prize from Ura, home of the five, 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 five dollar auction. everybody and welcome back to the URA Radiothon 2016 finally joined by Harav Moshe Mayer Weiss who has been a longtime host of the URA Radiothon I believe myself and Rabbi Weiss uh, we were the we were here the first year I don't know how many it must be 15, 15 about, years about ago, 15 years ago back in the old building and then you you were with him uh, with a different name right yeah in those days yeah. I had a different name then yeah, I legally was, changed my name to Ochan and Schwartz it, and now and now I'm, I'm back here. Rabbi Weiss has been a, a friend of URA for many, many years, even before that. Uh, is a warm friendship with URA, a close Talmud of Rabbi Chaim Mintz. He's a rob of Agudas Yisrael of Staten Island, a renowned speaker in Amar B'Tzterah, whose shiurim I listen to by thousands and thousands of people. And it is a big schus for us to have you with us here this evening. Agudtavach. Thank you very much. Agudtavach, Elchan. Agudtavach, everyone. We made a calculation uh, yesterday in Shul. Uh, in my shul in Agudah of Staten Island, that uh, I'm affiliated with URA for the last 40 years. Wow. 40 years, four decades. And I have to tell you, as I come here, you have to feel the electricity in the air over here. So many scores of volunteers, men and women in different rooms, all waiting for your phone calls, all waiting to hear from you to donate tonight to URA. And it's so exciting that this, every time, every year I come here, there's new programs. So you're going to hear tonight things about URA that even if you've been affiliated for 40 years, you never even knew about. That's how this organization keeps on growing. And uh, you can call now. This is the first time I'll be, not, I'll, I'll be mentioning it tonight. 718-557-0555, uh, Five five five, right? Those, that's the uh, outline numbers. Uroauction.org and one eight seven 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 auction. How could you forget that? You hear it in your sleep. One eight seven 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 auction. I believe there's a thirty six thousand dollar prize, right? Correct. There is thirty six thousand dollars. What could you do 
with $36,000. How could you up, upgrade your... Somebody is going to walk away tonight with $36,000. So call in now, one eight seven 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 auction I mean, we're here to let you know about all the ways that you could help people and get involved with URA and the wonderful things that URA is doing. But tonight is about helping this amazing global organization under the leadership of Rav Chaim Mintz of Yeshiva of Staten Island. So help out by calling now, one eight seven 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 auction And as you know, if you gave already and you give again, all kinds of magical things happen. You up your chances. So uraauction.org. Rabbi Wise, firstly, I just want to mention on behalf of all of us, thank you for joining. And like I said before, you came, you may have heard this in the car, you uplift the, the chashivas of the program by coming on. I think it's amazing that you come and you give the time for us here at URA. And you are an incredibly uh, close town of Rechaim Mintz. And it, uh, you, you, I, 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 I talk to you, I see it, and it's really, uh, it's a kid to Hashem. And we're very, very thankful for what you do. While we get ready for our next interview, don't forget 8777 auction. I'm looking at the screen, and there are some lines available. There are people here willing able and ready to take your call 8777 auction it's five dollars thirty six thousand dollars hundreds of prizes and now back to rabbi Weiss. Rabbi kravitz i just i just want to mention you know there are we reach so many people through streaming live and through being on so many different different venues that there are believe it or not some people that don't know really what ura is so first of all ura means to awaken and what this organization has been doing is been taking Jewish children who have not had an opportunity to know what it means to have a Jewish education, what it means to have a sukkah, what it means to eat matzah on Pesach, and Ura awakens them and takes them and, and puts them into yeshiva and then gives them a camp experience, which we know there's just making them a zoniac, which there is nothing like that, and then it sends them a, a package for Hanukkah and brings them for a holiday to, the, to, to experience what it means, a holiday, and, and, and just it mentors them through life. And this all starts with your donation, because all of these programs from sponsorship of a yeshiva to a camp experience, which is really a one-on-one -on -one experience, to uh, packages, to a sukkah, to, to, to help for Shabbos. All of these things cost oodles and oodles of money. And that's why we need your help, One eight seven 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 auction And, you know, people say, well, there's a shidduch crisis and there's a tuition crisis. You, you need help with a shidduch? Help another child. Hashem will help your child, our children. You need, you, need, you need help having a child? Well, I've heard countless stories of people that have got involved with Ura and then had children because they helped awaken a Yiddish child and Hashem blessed them with a child. So 1877 auction. If you haven't called yet, now's the time. Get on Ura.org. You see, look at those boards. They're really lit up. But you, you, could, you could go URAauction.org. And uh, is there anything special if they go on uruauction.org? It's, it's really a whole night of, of, of specialness, of, of abilities to, uh, ability to, to, to support us here at URA. And again, the mission, like we say, and Rabbi Weiss, um, I told Ochanan before, incredible that it's still $5 a prize. In today's day and age, where all the expenses go up, it's still just the same old five dollars and you would think that the prizes got and less the prizes keep on Adorado, going up. the prizes every year after year those that work on getting the prizes i mean there's a safer tire tonight there's thirty six thousand dollars you know when i started the auction maybe if you added up everything on the auction maybe it came to thirty six thousand dollars now it's one prize for thirty six thousand dollars i mean there's great stuff over here Trips there, it's Israel. What is it? Trips there, it's Israel. Multiple trips there, it's Israel. That's right. That's, that's right. That's an amazing prize. I did try it, to get a, a prize. They, I didn't get approved to be a weekly trip to Eretz Israel. No, but isn't it a yearly trip? Yeah, to yeah, Eretz yeah, Israel? yeah. Something on that I nature. Mean, I mean, I mean, you know, you know, you, but you got to be in it to win it. Right. So one eight seven 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 auction. 
and uroauction.org. And and uh, what are the cutting edge prizes? We have our, our guests. Yeah, yet? sure. What are the cutting edge prizes? Of course, this year is the therapy prize, which is which is day. which is a uh, which is a new prize here. And now we're going to go. We're going to introduce Rabbi Rabbi Mordechai Beer, who is a Torah maze coordinator here. Rabbi Weiss, oh, take it away. You, you should know, Rabbi Isai, that one of the most exciting programs of URA is the Torah mates. I mean, we have we 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 develop a relationship between a Torah mate and somebody who is a greener, somebody who hasn't had the experience. And as Rabbi Beer will tell you much more than me, the, the, ben the beneficiaries of this program are not just the student of the Torah mate, but the Torah mate himself, Rabbi Beer. Well, tonight, tonight we're going to talk about a very, very special Torah mate volunteer um, who was nifter a short time ago, very, very hush person by the name of Ramosha Rabinowitz. I'll, I'm going to start, I'll tell you a little bit about him first, then we'll get into it a little bit. Ramosha was a very, very busy person. Um, he was a Talmud Chacham Muflik. Uh, he was constantly learning. He was a menial of a very prestigious yeshiva here in Lakewood. Uh, he was a rav of a shul. Um, he spoke many places. Uh, his advice was sought after everywhere. But yet with all this, with all the business that he was involved with, about 10 years ago he called me. And he said, he, sa he said to me, Rabbi Beer, I want, I want very much to volunteer. I want to be involved in Torah mates. And that started our 10 year long connection with Rav Moshe. Um, he learned with all levels of, of people, from the most advanced to the most basic. Uh, he taught people how to read Hebrew. He taught them olive base. Nothing was beneath him. Uh, and you know what? Everything he did was always with a smile. I remember uh, after a particular tough procedure he had maybe like five years ago, uh, he called up and, he's, and he asked me, he said, what could I do in that same cheerful voice that he always talked with, what could I do to help the cause? Um, he didn't just learn with people. When he got involved with somebody, he became their friend. And he read them Shaduchim. Um, he got involved with the children. Um, he did as much as he could for them in every way. He was involved with the Shalom Bayes. Uh, he helped them get involved with the community. When he got involved with somebody, then he made a real impact on that person's life. The last time I talked to him was before this past Pesach. He called me from, uh, from Sloan Kettering. And at that point, um, if I'm correct, he, was, he wasn't even on painkillers. He was, he was in excruciating pain. And he, he asked me, he said to me, he said, please, you have to do me a taiva. What, what's a taiva? Uh, I'm not able to learn with, uh, with my tar mate so consistently anymore. I'm just not able to do it. Uh, please find, pl find the right type of Torah mate for my Chavrusa. And he started describing to me exactly what he needs, and he went into detail. And I remember, I was, I was like totally astounded. I mean, this is a man who's enduring incredible suffering, and he's able to compose himself and, and talk about uh, how to benefit others and, and, and how to come up with the right type of Torah mate. It was, it was incredible to me. What an amazing person. And uh, what even was more amazing was that shortly after, I got a call that, uh, that his son, Rav Yisrael, was going to take over. Rav Moshe gave over this uh, Avodah HaKodesh to his son, and he put, it, put him in good hands. And we're very honored, and it's our covet to have with us tonight, Rav Yisrael Rabinowitz, who will share with us some memories of his father and his connection with the Eternal Mates program. Rabbi B, I just want to add, yeah. um, I think it's incredible that, that, that we have uh, Rav Yisrael here to speak about it. I just want to say something that popped out at me while you were talking. It's these incredible people, somebody like Rabbi Rabinowitz Zatzal and somebody like Rabbi Belsky, who uh, just when he came to camp, the, 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 what they effused was such a spirit of warmth. And to think that, that, that somebody you know, li like Rabbi Belsky will come to camp and impact that kid's life forever, or somebody like Rabbi Rabinowitz, who was busy, and trust me, I have a personal connection when I was in uh, Silver Lake uh, years ago, Rabbi Benowitz was, 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 uh, was a mashkiach there. And really, I always told him when I saw him that I think some of the white beards, some of the white hairs on his beard was from me. And he just diffused warmth. And, and he was just such an exciting person to be around that you wanted to, you wanted to be like him, okay. ev even, even as a kid. And I think it's incredible. A role model. A, a role model. I think it's incredible that he found the time and he 
he found the time to um, have a Torah made, and mostly that he gave it over is really something that's extremely powerful to me, and I thank uh, his son Rabbi Yisrael for coming here and, share, and sharing the story, but it's really, it's, it's, it's if, if people like that have the time to have Torah mates, and people, they understand the importance, and, and Rabbi Bruno Satsal, somebody who had people knocking down his doors to talk to him, yet he found the time to call his Torah mate, and of course that he was busy, you know, when he was sick, giving it over, it's incredible stuff, so I'm, I'm, I'm Marker to, 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 to Rabbi Yisrael for coming on, and I'm extremely Marker Toiv to his father Satsal for really uh, taking the time to be busy with me and most of my chaverim. Before you start, uh, we have to do business tonight. 877 auction. 877 auction. Rabbi Beer, take it away. Okay, so Rabbi Yisrael, so if you could share with us something about your father and his memories and, and the way he connected with the Torah Mates program. As Rabbi Kravitz said before, that uh, my father, even though he was so busy, he, knew he had a very tight schedule during the week, all, year, all, week, all, all week, all year round, gave from his time. To, uh, to teach, like Rabbi Beer said, anybody on all levels. Now, I must admit my faults that it took me 15 years to get a Torah mate since I got married. That's why I figured it's, it's the right opportunity to come out here and tell everybody, don't wait so long to get a Torah mate. I got my Torah mate when my father was in Sloan Kettering in the hospital. He was deathly ill a few months before he passed away. When he couldn't handle it, that's when he just actually gave it to me. That's what it took for me to take a Torah mate. I think everybody out there listening should make it their business, make it their time and effort to call and volunteer their time. Everybody knows how Chashev Torah is and how Torah could change a person, the Ne'imus and the Geshmak of learning. You learn a Gemara and Baba Kama, and that takes a person from any level and will make him closer to Hashem. Everybody knows how important Torah is, and everybody knows how important Chesed is. And when you have an opportunity to do Torah and Chesed at the same time, and Make people better and change people. Don't procrastinate. Don't say tomorrow because today is the tomorrow of yesterday. So call Uri right away. Offer your services. It's a half hour a week. It's not a lot of time. You'll feel good about yourself that, that you could sometimes change a family, a little investment in a half hour a week. Call Pruto, Pruto Mitzvah Refes. Every little bit counts. And you, you gather it and eventually you change your children. You could change over the whole family. There could be an, an abundance of Klal Yisrael from that phone call of a half hour a week. Um, I wish everybody had slacha. Call no, right Rabbi, away. Rab Rabbi Rabinowitz and Rabbi Beer, as a Rav, I will tell you that I hear from a lot of people, you know, I'm lonely, I have too much time on my hands, I don't know what to do, I don't feel fulfilled. I want you to know you're listening out there, you could make such a huge difference in someone's life now, another thing that we've heard, we've heard throughout the years on the Radiothon, on the Urathon, is, well, I, 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 I'm, I'm, not a, I'm not a teacher, and I'm not an expert. I, I, I can't do this. I, you know, it's, it's for somebody that has key of experience. I want you to know, uh, Ura will pair you off, even if it means teaching somebody Aleph Bays, if it means learning Kitzvah Shulchan Aruch, if it means reading Rejoice O Youth, if it means learning Mesil Yasharm, if it means learning Kitsa Shulchan Aruch, whatever turns you on and whatever you feel you could do, believe me, you could make a difference. And the way to do this, write it down. Tomorrow, like Rabbi Rabinowitz said, Ein va'ata lalashin tshuva. You want to help somebody do tshuva? Now, don't procrastinate. You dial 732-730-1000, and ask to be a Torah mate, but not, not now. Now you have to dial one eight seven 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 auction. And now we're going to be joined. We're going to put through uh, Dr. Martin Fried, who is the Torah mate that we're talking about. And who better, who better yeah, to uh, to join this conversation yeah. than the uh, than the, who is who is Rabbi? Uh, I'll let Rabbi Stroll take it away. And Rabbi Beer, Dr. Fried, are you on? Yes, I am. Can okay, you hear well, me? well, I do. Welcome to the Urathon 2016, and I'm going to give you over to some familiar people that you know, and I thank you for joining. Thank you, thank you. Dr. Martin, how are you? Good, good. How are you, Rabbi Beer? Good, good. So, what can you tell us about that wonderful, wonderful person, Rabbi Rabinowitz? I had the pleasure of uh, studying with Rabbi uh, Rabinowitz for three years, every Sunday. I would drive down to Lakewood. I would meet him. He, he was the rub, the yeshiva there, and I would meet him in his office. 
and we would study. He was he had the unique uh, talent of being able to relate to me. I don't have a, a very religious uh, background, and we would study Baba Masia, and uh, it, it was he was an inspiration. He was kind, understanding, uh, and it was just a pleasure to always go down. I always looked forward to uh, the time that I spent with him. That's a hard subject yeah. to learn, Baba Matsya. Yeah, well, yeah. He, he explained it. I mean, he was very patient. He, he explained it uh, in a way that I could understand it. And your Talmudic experience was a, a game changer for you, correct? Yes, yes. And um, I think I was the person he may have uh, asked you to set, up, to set me up with somebody else um, when he was at Sloan Kettering. I have a feeling that I was the person. Wow. Um, we, we hadn't studied for a while because he wasn't feeling well. Dr. Martin, I want to see yes. an interesting question. Um, you ever remember him not smiling? Always smiling. I, I, always smiling. Always pleasant. What? O always. Even, even when I knew he was, uh, you know, in pain and, uh, you know, always pleasant. He smiled I, even over like the phone. I visited him at Jersey Shore Hospital. He, uh, he was at Jersey Shore Hospital um, uh, for um, some surgery, and I came to visit him. Pleasant, even 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 in the hospital as a patient. Well, there you have it, Rabbi Isai. Look at look at the memories of a man. We're talking about a man who dedicated himself, and now we are remembering him here on live, maybe in front of and listening. A, a million people maybe are listening to the accomplishments of this great man, Rabbi Rabinowitz, Olav Shalom, Zichron Levrach, Eskusa Yagen Aleinu. And uh, you could have this skus too, and right now you could support such projects as the massive Torah Mate project by calling 1-877-7-AUCTION. tough life out there and it's very hard to determine for yourself the rules and guidelines that you want to follow and to keep yourself connected to Judaism. Coming from a public high school and, go, and planning to go to a religious seminary in Israel, I felt like I wasn't prepared enough for it and I, I really was looking for something to fill in the gap. Discover You is a program that helps you retain your strong route to Judaism. Not only do you have fun activities like ATVing and ziplining and going on trips, but you also find a mentor and you learn. Discover You is my first encounter being in an all-girls environment, and I'm so thankful for that. It changed me spiritually, it helped me emotionally, it gave me inspiration for the entire year until I came back again to get some more. Everyone is unique and special, and in Discover You, what we do is we figure out what makes us unique and special, and we figure out how to make it apply to our lives and to learn. Here we are, welcome back to the Urathon 2016. Avraham Kravitz, as we are continuing to hear from some of the wonderful uh, programs to hear about some of the wonderful programs that it has, reminding everyone to please pick up the phone and call now at one eight seven 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 auction that's one eight seven 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 auction or online at ura.org. Thank you, Ilkhanan. Uh, I want to remind everybody that what's really special about Ura is that Ura is a soup to nuts organization. I mean that when when you get involved in URA, URA doesn't just, you know, some organizations, they help you a little bit, and then they drop you like a hot potato. Not URA. Once URA gets involved, I mean, I've already been by weddings that um, Rav Mintz were Masada Kedushin by weddings of a child that he went to the door with a Hanukkah present and said, maybe you'll send this little girl to yeshiva. And then Ura took her all the way to the chuppah and beyond. So, uh, and Ura is always adding to its exciting ways to help people from Little Star, from Torah Spot, from the zone, from now, and Ura helps people in Eretz Yisrael. It's, it's amazing what Ura does. And I know that Rabbi Mintz gives 
Eitzah Mamish along the way, helping people how to deal if their parents are slower to them in coming around in Yiddish guide. I mean, the Rebetzin's program, helping with Shiduchen. So now, it, it, it is a new amazing, it's actually three years in the run, but I never heard of it before. But there's a new thing that is called an Ura's internship program, where Ura helps people after they went to yeshiva. Now they want to be able to make a parnasa, and it, it connects these exciting young men with uh, professionals to help them get into the uh, job market and help them make a parnasa. Um, so joining us here are some individuals that are involved in this, together with Rabbi David Kronglass. First, I'd like to say good to to Yaakov Stern. Shalom Aleichem. Yaakov, tell, tell us, what does an intern do? Well, uh, on the first day, they kind of just ease you in. They tell you what the company is about, and they kind of just show you around the different parts of the company. And they also include, like, the Torah and the learning and the davening with your daily schedule, just like they you do. You see, they always sneak that in. <laughs> yeah, that, that's what Ura is about, you know. Um, so a typical day, you know, we'd wake up, we'd come to the company, we would daven, we'd eat, they'd always give us good food. And we would, we would work with our mentor and we'd get down to business, just like uh, any other, like, work schedule would. And throughout the day, you know, they give you, you could take breaks on your own, it's very relaxed, but they push you. Um, they, they, you get to listen to like people in the higher ups of the company speak to you and give you some advice of what the real world's like and they and break more, you in. Yeah, from 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 like all all the higher ups in the company, it's really nice. Like w throughout, like maybe three or four times throughout the few weeks, you know, we even got to sat, sit down with the CEO and he would really like shed some light on our entire lives, more than just what the company is about. Like he's a genius man. Um, yeah. So I mean. For in my case, I had an amazing mentor, Yisrael Union. Uh, I worked with like the programming aspect of the company. I was uh, given the goal to create a database backup for like uh, just safety purposes, and I came in with some knowledge. Like I was studying in like high school and college, and so and they give you the practical experience, right? That's what it is. Right. right. They, it, it, what I knew wasn't enough. It, 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 I was required to learn on the job and, and work with that. It was, it was a great experience. If, you know, if you're listening to this now and maybe you're just joining us, it's just amazing that a minute ago we were talking about Torah mates and somebody having a chavrusa, and now we're analyzing yet another aspect because Ura is very practical and how Ura is helping their children because Ura regards all of these thousands of children as their children, how they could prosper in the workforce. And if you want to help out, one eight seven 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 auction And now we turn to Gabi. How are you? Shalom Aleichem, Gabi. Shalom, how are you, Rabbi? And, uh, well, tell us how the intern program helped you further your career. I mean, really, the, it helped me for life with, I'm saying, like, life skills in regards to leadership and whether it was how we had to interact with our coworkers and other interns and especially working in a religious environment, seeing people with real poised personalities and well-mannered and people, you know, it's, it's a very warm work experience. You know, you have people coming to you in the morning, good morning, good afternoon. You come in, make your coffee, people put out a cup for you and whatever it is. Um, especially I'm seeing for life how it's helped me. It's given me work experience and especially office field work and and, and like a, I and said, a, and a work experience in a Torah point. environment. In correct? a Torah environment, which wow. I feel which, was, which not yeah. everybody gets the benefit to yeah, have. Yeah, for sure. And yeah. exactly, well, that's an amazing point. Don't don't you feel like you're so fortunate that you got involved with Ura? One hundred percent. I mean, I I don't know how how lucky I even was. I, it's hard to appreciate. That doesn't really sink in so much. But even how much you do know that you gained from. Whether Rabbi Yao Mintz, he would give us a class every day. As like a CEO, we would learn about how running a company works, and especially, like you said, especially put in with the religious environment. It's just you an know, interesting you, you, know, you know, it's interesting, Gabi. People think that tonight that the winners are the ones that walk away with the thirty-six thousand dollars and the multiple trips to Israel. It's nice, but the real winners are the people that Ura helps. 
I mean, they're the real winners. Uh, yeah, you've got to see the smiles on these people's faces. I mean, uh, if you're not watching, you can't see it, but it's just amazing. And, and you know, th this program didn't exist years ago. It, it's a mark of a successful uh, company like URA, a successful organization, that they're always coming up with new ways to help people. But we need your help. One eight seven 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 auction. One eight seven 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 auction. Now uh, we have over here one of the mentors. I want to say a special shalom aleichem to Rabbi David Krongrass. Shalom aleichem. Welcome. Is this your first time on the Ura Radiothon? Well, a, a royal welcome. And am I correct that you're a grandson and anecdote of David Krongrass from Baltimore? Yeah. So uh, I want to tell everybody that. The, the, of course, the, the place where Ura started was at the Yeshiva of Staten Island. And together with Harav Mintz, working hand in hand for almost now a half a century, was Harav Gershon Weiss, the Mashkiach of Yeshiva of Staten Island, who I believe was a Talmud of your Zaydi. Yeah. Now, I, I wanted to get this in, it's very important. Of course, Rav Gershon Weiss worked hand in hand with Rav Chaim Mintz all, all the time. Uh, you know, because if the Bachram needed to do things for Ura, Rav Mintz would always clear it with the Mashkiach as well. Right now, Rav Weiss is just recovering from tr emergency triple bypass surgery. And Baruch Hashem, he's back home. But uh, I got permission to ask from the maybe a million listeners out there that we should have in mind that Harav Gershon Yaakov Ben Rachel should have a complete refur shalem of the Yisrael from Hashem. I remember Rav Weiss used to say over from Yezeda when he talked about Shiduchin, he would say that Yezeda would say, more important than whether you like the girl is to see if the girl likes you. Yezeda said that. He also said another thing. He said, you can't keep a girl on ice. He used to tell the boys that, you know, you gotta, you're gonna, you know, you can't string it along. You can't keep a girl on ice. Rav Weiss, but, it seems like a timeless advice yes, that uh, we yeah. could... Yes, it, it definitely, does. it seems like uh, Rabbi Krumla Zatzal foresaw the Shidduch crisis, uh, in my opinion, and this is really timeless advice. David, first of all, David is the uh, controller here at URA. And is, he, it, is it controller or comptroller? Uh, Which one is it? Depends on the day. Yeah. Yeah. Depends on the day. <laughs> yeah. Depends on the day, yeah. but uh, David, really, um, how did you, working on the office end of things, how did it bring the Kirov uh, mission home to you? having the opportunity to work with your uh, protege or your co-worker or your internee? Well, first of all, I got to work with Jonathan, who's a wonderful individual. Uh, this year, I worked with Danny Katz in, in the prior year. Um, now, I look at it, obviously, from my responsibility, strictly from a professional technical, is you want to help the Jonathan, in this case, uh, learn the skills. And I'm sure it wasn't just me, every mentor, the skills, in my case, accounting, financial statements, IRS, 990s, and whatever it may be. Obviously, though, on a much higher level, me personally, what I felt great doing, I felt great giving over. Here are boys who grew up not from or less from. Whatever thoughts they may have had on being from, I don't know. But here now, they, they got to this point, they became from. And they can come here, work in a from, a terrific environment that is real, a real professional environment, a real work situation that can be emulated and, and they can look and say you know what I'm somebody who maybe I won't learn my whole life but I'm able to s work in a, a professionally in a great 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 environment right. it's not theoretical anymore this is the real real correct. stuff Cor yeah. correct now yeah. you know I don't know for sure but certainly if you look at media and based on that the portrayal of the from world the work environment is games and sticks and whatnots and really you can come here on the books everything clear professional what really if I would sum it up what I felt great I said we can show somebody that you can be from you can be really from we have sure me here Dafia me here Mignon me here and we can be normal you can still can be normal it's it's not a contradiction I don't know that it, it's it's great but it's very important what Rabbi Dovin Gronglass is, is is saying and that is that there there could be some kind of a feeling that uh, maybe we're bending rules God forbid or anything no this is this is a Torah company where we do everything according to the letter of the law, and when we have interns, we show that to our interns. Absolutely. So, uh, so Jonathan, uh, what were you expecting when you joined the internship program? Uh, well, 
I've been affiliated with Uro for many years. I attended uh, their camps for many summers. And um, I've only known Uro from the perspective of a you know, religious institution, but I was really unsure what to expect when I came here for an internship. Uh, I, was, I wasn't expecting it to be so robust. It was, it, was, uh, it was very impressive. I came here and I didn't expect to be working for the Comptroller either. It was really pleasant surprise. Well, right to the top. Straight to the top. It was, I was uh, given uh, uh, mentorship well, straight from the well, Comptroller. So. Thank you. <laughs> I, I, I want to just say, as we have to wrap up this interview, and we can speak about the internship program for hours and hours. First of all, Ura is Baruch Hashem a growing company and there are jobs yes. available at Ura. You can, uh, you can look what's available at ura.org and uh, it's really a great professional very, company. Very quickly, and yeah. and uh, as well, um, just that um, it's a great idea, just on another end, that the people that work here in the office, we have a culture here at Ura that you're working for a mission. And no matter what your job is, I work yes. in camp, so I see the mission maybe clearer than others, but really the industry program brought the mission here to our doorstep in the office, and I've heard from countless of the, 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 the team members here at Ura that they really, all the ideas that, that, that they heard about, whether it's Torah made or Chill Zone or camp, in their discussion with these unbelievable uh, guys, it really came through. So we re we have about 30 seconds left, sadly, for this interview. Just just a couple of seconds each guy. If yeah, you can Gabriel, just give Gabriel. give you a little, uh, Gabriel, Gabriel, give a little, Gabriel. give give a little thing. You've been part of the Ura family for a long time. What was the highlight of the program for you? The highlight of the program, um, I believe, the highlight of the program for me was really uh, when uh, every day we would get a shear from. Uh, I mean, every once a week we would get a shear from Rabbi Yahu Mintz. And he would uh, he would um, take time out of his schedule to give us uh, like chinuch about how our office runs, how everything goes, um, and how the environment and it's a delicate ecosystem and everything else. But really, uh, also all the other uh, staff members who taught us how to. Thank you, Gabriel. Thank you, Gabriel. And Ben, I know that uh, you went to camp. You went to Israel to learn. You got a great job. What's next in your Ura connection? It's true. I went to camp. Baruch Hashem, I got a great job. I went to Israel. Uh, what's ne I'll, I'll never lose uh, grasp with the uh, with the Ura family. I'm gonna. I'm working on signing up with the Torah mate. So now, <laughs> while I'm working, I'm gonna have uh, Torah in my life. And I just want to thank. Do Rabbi I see the Rabbitsons program uh, in your future? <laughs> uh, well, not at this time. Not at this time. I have. Uh, soon, soon. Ben, uh, don't rush. Ben, there's no rush. Get, <laughs> could, could we try something a little, a little on the cuff? Can we get 10 seconds from each guy why people should donate to Ura? Take it away. Ura does amazing things for people like me and everyone here at us at this table. I mean, really unique things that they do for. I, I've never seen any other organization provide the same kind of opportunity. Okay, you're hired. I'm kidding. Go ahead. 10 <laughs> seconds. I mean, you should go because it's simply awesome. I mean, you're never going to have this kind of experience anywhere else. But why so should I people donate to URA? You should donate simply because it's awesome. I'm saying. Okay, I'm I convinced. Mean, go ahead. Yeah. If you want to put your money uh, where, where it actually matters, which is bringing on the next Jewish like generation, this is where it's at. Okay, I'll come in. You want to You want to join? Ten seconds. Why we should donate to Ura? Um, because Ura is, you have the ability to take your money and <laughs> anything that you're into in the Kirov world, some people are into this stuff, that stuff, whatever, Ura is doing that. Ura is doing it all. Anything that you can possibly imagine. Go ahead, Gabi, ten seconds. Being part of the Ura family and everything, uh, they've really helped me out with, uh, with uh, my life and they've really put me at the pedestal of, of my of being the best that I can be, and I, and I really appreciate everything that they've done for me. Okay, and finally, Ben, 10 seconds. Why should the people listening or watching, whether it's, it's online or listening, why should they donate to Ura in your words? Ura changes lives, Ura gives people a second family, Ura gives people a chance to uh, learn more about themselves and become better people, and I think it's a great thing. How many, how many of you guys have been affected by what we do here? But at Ura and the program, show of hands, how many guys? 
Okay, same thing, same thing. So you okay. heard it, 18777 auction, 18777 auction. And besides all these 10 seconds, which is all true, you could win $36,000. You could get multiple trips to Israel. You could get a car and a lot of goodies. 18777 auction. Uh, you can't even get through here. So go to uraauction.org. Go to auction.org. Thank you, everybody. And now to a commercial. What if you only had five minutes to shop till you drop with no price tags attached? Would you grab the swing set in aisle four or the iPads from aisle seven? Perhaps a gift from your schwigger from aisle six. How much could you accumulate? $5,000, $15,000. Now you can with a shopping spree prize from Ura, home of the five, 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 five dollar auction. And welcome back to the Ura Radiothon uh, 2016. Call it now, 18777 auction, 18777 auction. We're doing something a little bit different this year. Uh, we always kind of try and focus, besides for Anura and the Kirov and the prizes, on some of the hot topics affecting the Jewish world. Uh, and really nothing is hotter than the upcoming uh, presidential election. So it's, it's been incredible. It's unbelievable. Been, it's, been, it's a whirlwind. It's a whole new world out there. We'll get into that, of course, with Rabbi Gernak. And now joining us on the phone is Rabbi Nachem Gernak. He's the Rev of Congregation Shari Muna and CEO of the o OU and has been named one of the 50 most influential Jewish people in the United States according to the Jewish Daily Forward. Rabbi Ganak serves as the executive on the executive committee of the American Israel Public Affairs Committee and he is a close friend with the Clintons. Rabbi Ganak, are you on? Yes, good luck. Good luck, Rabbi Ganak. Well, thank you. Clear, Rabbi Ganak is not here in his position. Uh, he's here as an individual. And here at Ura, we are not, we're, 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 we're interviewing people. We're going to talk a little bit about the different uh, presidential candidates, really just focusing on Hillary Clinton and, and Donald Trump. But no one is endorsing anybody uh, from an official capacity. Ura certainly is not endorsing. This is just to kind of hear some different perspectives, talk about a little, open our minds, and uh, you know, maybe take some calls to hear what is on people's minds regarding this important election, which is facing the country and, and the Jewish people, but not here to endorse any candidates. Right. Rabbi Ganak, you got the ear. Take it away. Rabbi Ganak, shalom aleichem. It's Rabbi Weiss. Okay, Rabbi Ganak, you you are a close friend of the Clintons, and just a, a question: How did you form that uh, relationship? And tell us a little bit about the Clintons. As we know, Hillary Clinton is running for president. You have an uh, insider view that most of us don't have, and we'd like to just give us a little uh, you know, personal interaction that you've had with them and how this relationship came to fruition. Well, um, the relationship really began initially when Bill Clinton, then, was, was then Governor Clinton, was running for, for the president for the Democratic nomination, and I was at an event. And I introduced him, and at, at the time I, I said, you know, if you recall, George Bush, uh, the first, said there was an article in Time magazine sort of criticizing him about his lack of vision, and he's responding to, oh, that vision thing again. And playing on that, I, when I introduced President then Governor Clinton, I said that the Bible tells us in Michelet that where there is no vision, the people perish, and that vision is an essential ingredient of of leadership, and he he told me you know he liked the comment, the, the remarks, and he would he was then he had just at that time clinched the uh, nomination. It was clear that he was going to get the nomination, and he said you know I'm going to use that in my acceptance speech at the convention, and and he did. And if you call or play it back, you'll see with the used it as a rhetorical pivot for the for the speech coming back to it. It became for at least for the first part of the campaign the sort of slogan of the campaign where there's no vision, the people perish. And from that, um, we became friends. He used to invite me off into the White House, and we began a correspondence 
about Tanakh, about the Bible. You know, Bill Clinton's a Southern Baptist, but he's extremely familiar with, with the Bible. Um, and we had this correspondence. I got other people to write as well, and ultimately I published it as a book, Letters to President Clinton, and I published both his letters in response, and he wrote the forward to the book. Oh, wow, that's amazing. Did you actually believe that he would say it at, the, at, at his speech, or you thought he well, was... Well, when he first told it to me, I wasn't sure whether he was joshing, but then he sent me tickets to the convention, and, uh, and yeah, I was happy to hear it. You're, so you're a seasoned uh, a veteran in these matters. Uh, could you have predicted the, this whole new political whirlwind that's going on, and could, 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 could you give us a little bit of your understanding of, of, of just the... There's an earthquake... Um, I'm out there of what's going on, and, and did you see this coming? I think it was extraordinarily unpredictable. Um, one would have thought, um, both on the Republican and on the Democratic side, you know, that Sanders would have been still in the race um, and that he rep would have represented a movement and a force, I think, was astonishing. And they must add, I think, a very unfortunate negative um, development, especially for Israel. And uh, and also the, the advent of Trump. I think when I heard his speech initially, his introduction, I thought he was going nowhere. And the Republicans had, I thought, a very deep bench between Jeb Bush and, and Rubio and, you know, Cruz, Casey, those are all serious candidates. And that Trump would have ended up with the nomination, I think, was unpredictable. But the route between the two, um, the common denominator is a sense of, um, of anger, concern, especially amongst young people, dislocation in the economy, and, and the sense that uh, people are, you know, are young people are concerned about the, um, what, what kind of jobs they can get. So that anger sort of bubbled up both in the public and the Democratic side to, you know, to, to, in terms of these two candidacies, both Sanders and Trump. So my, my question is, on the, uh, and I'll, I'm going to ask this to everyone who comes on, on the show tonight about, on the political angle, is our Jewish political establishment, meaning the people um, like yourself and others who are in this field, you know, um, 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 most of a guy like me or others, we're just armchair quarterbacks. We don't necessarily understand, you know, all the implications. But but it, the, is our political Jewish establishment missing what the establishment um, um, of the Republican and the Democratic parties um, missed? And if we are, are we are we going to uh, uh, so to speak pivot and move and try to get the feeling of what's going on? Because ultimately, this uh, anger or feeling has to um, 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 infiltrate, so to speak, our circles as well? Well, I, I would say this, that I think there's a reason, let's say, speaking about the pro-Israel community, there's, I think there's a reason on both parties for a real concern um, in this respect. I mean, we know that within studies shown with the, the Republican Party, or at least its constituency prior to this, were pretty solidly pro-Israel. There was strong, strong erosion within the Democratic Party. We saw a, a, a you know, a, a siren to it in terms of the last convention, when when the Jerusalem plank was booed. That was booed actually not by delegates, but other people who were present. But it was still a warning sign, and um, and so that's a, a real concern. Sanders has picked that up. You know, it's terribly ironic that the only candidate running for president the beginning of this, uh, you know, primary season, who is anti-Israel, is, is a Jew. But um, that's something that we have to be concerned about um, because we can't afford that Israel become a partisan issue. It has to be bipartisan support from both sides. And we have to be careful, you know, to try to develop those relationships on both sides of the aisle in support of Israel. But I, I want to hasten to add, even on the Republican side, you know, the, the, these Pew studies have shown that you know, the, the, one of the core areas of support, the anchors of support within the Republican Party have been evangelicals, back to Jerry Falwell and before. And, and the studies have shown that their children, the next generation, are not committed to the same 
ideological, both on social issues and other and other political issues, as the uh, as their parents, and and within that community also there, there could be a shift in terms of support for Israel, and that's and you see, I'm not speaking about Israel now, but that evangelicals voted for you know for Donald Trump, who you know on his face is not wouldn't be the poster child for an evangelical candidate or for support for him shows this kind of a shift. Um, as I said, it's rooted in this kind of, of concern and, and, and anger and um, you know, the, the crushing of the middle class, all of those things. But it has implications for Israel as well, and we have to be sensitive to it and build relationships in lots of different communities, especially in the emerging Hispanic community, which continues to grow, and, um, and amongst young people. So it, it's something that we have to be sensitive to. Rabbi Ganak, it's uh, Rav Wai. Shalom Aleichem. Aleichem, Shalom. Uh, you know, it's reassuring to us that we have somebody of your uh, Torah caliber that is out there to be able to make a Kiddush Shem Shemayim in this arena. Um, may you be zeichet to continue to do so and represent us properly. Okay, and now, now we're going to Rabbi Ganak. Um, I want to thank you for joining. We're we're very appreciative that you have taken the time to come and join and uh, I wish we had more time and maybe we'll maybe we'll get the producers to call you back next hour because I have a lot more questions that I want to ask and now now um, we're going to uh, continue um, with, our, with our with our with our siyumim and don't forget while we'll go to our next team quickly 877 auction 877 auction and now we're going to go to the siyum room Wherever you may be watching from tonight, I wanted to welcome you to a very momentous occasion. As a Torah Mates coordinator, I have the honor of working with many amazing, amazing holy women. Tonight, I want to introduce to you two women, two of my Torah Mates partnerships, that ha are making a seum on Derech Hashem. It's a tremendous honor to introduce Shelley Newman. I feel great privilege to be part of URA. Uh, I've been an, um, a tour mate for almost three years. And I want to say that I thought I'm going to be the one that's giving, teaching some knowledge, teaching things that I've been receiving from my rabbis over the years. And wow, I was such in an amazement when I started receiving, not only giving. I received the most amazing person as a friend, and our ties are beyond the phone calls once a week. We became friends, we call each other, we see each other during the holidays. Um, my first, uh, my second tour mate was a person that needed more chizuk than just giving in and out information. And every time she tells me that there's a little change in her life, my heart drops a beat. And I'm very happy to be part of changes in, in this person's life. It's not only my life that's changing, it's also her life that's changing. My children are part of my uh, kahal. They see what's happening to me. They see what's happening to the people that I'm involved with and they're in awe. So I, sh I thank HaKadosh Baruch Hu that brought me in connection with Ura, with amazing people. I want to thank especially Ms. Sarah Feldman that made such amazing connections. <laughs> and thank you for this opportunity. Thank you. And now, Chaya Marazzo, Mrs. Chaya Marazzo. WABC 770 AM and WMCA 570 AM. And our flagship station, 770 WABC New York. Also broadcasting live at URA.org. 
your most trusted source for auction coverage everywhere. Welcome to Ura's 2016 auction, home of 50 awesome prizes. For the complete prize list, go to Ura.org, only $5 each. 6K MasterCard, lifetime tickets, classic jewels, grocery giveaway, 5 issue cash camera release, week at the Waldorf, it's a jewel, fine furniture, need for speed, lifter, and mega bucks. One, eight, seven, 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 auction. Call now, only $5 each. Set to impress, it's a Dini, family vacation, shots and gelder schmuck, $36,000, your wheels, therapy, the savings bond, everything straws, save with her, dental care, debt free. Order online at Ura.org. Only $5. Surprise! Shopping spree, art school library, big fat check, pick your pet, Toyota Sienna, it's a Jacqueline, a week in the zone, prices brought up a filler up, five is check, book, diamond necklace, tuition. One, eight, seven, 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 Call now, only five dollars each. Hi everyone, I, I was told I have less than a minute to, minute to speak, um, and with everything I want to say, there's really not much time to say everything, but what I do want to say is thank you very much to Ura to Tormates, to Sarah Feldman, to everyone for giving me this opportunity, first of all, to be able to make us see him in Derech Hashem. Um, it was very, very, it was not an easy safer to learn, but Baruch Hashem, we were able to get through it. And I very much have gained a lot from Tormates, um, from my partner, Shelley Newman. Um, and I really, it has really changed my life, and, and I really advise for whoever is listening out there, if they don't have a Torah mate yet, it is really something so special. It makes a, it makes a connection, and I can never thank Ura enough for, for giving me this opportunity for this new meaning in life. Thank you very much. Have a good day. Mazel tov, mazel tov, amazing accomplishment, not only for these partnerships, it's such an honor, but for Jewish women everywhere. And I just want to say mazel tov, Am Yisrael Chai. Are you guys ready? Am Yisrael Chai. Seven 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 auction. Don't forget eight seven 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 auction. You can donate, and the lines are open for you. It's 12 a.m., but we are ready for you as you listen to this music. Eight seven 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 auction. Eight seven 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 auction. Rabbi Mrs. Yehuda Abraham, Rabbi Rex Adler, Pearl Becker, Yaley Becker, Brochi Birnbaum, David Birnbaum, Razi Brisman, Yaakov Ehrlich, Lawrence Fast, Chaya Fine, Mira Fisher, A. Franco, Eliezer Frischman, Benjamin Gluck, Abraham Gottesman, Basia Grola, Moshe Greenberg, Chaim Gross, Nathan Halpern, Malka Hariso, Zukna, Isaac, Devoiri Katz, Nama Kenig, Kana Kafif, Moshe Kitovitz, Yol Clark, Hani Klein, Mayor Coleman, Senderer, Lerner, Yossi Lesser, Chevy Miller, Rabbi and Rebbitson Mintz, David Neuwirth, 
David Pareti, Roeswager, Alexander Rochwarger, Jessica Schwartz, Michael Schwartz, Patricia Shaffrey, David Simkowitz, Rabbi and Mrs. Shmuel Suslowitz, Liba Weinberger, and Mr. and Mrs. Weinman from Lakewood, New Jersey, and Rabbi and Mrs. Michal Yardley from Lakewood, New Jersey, one hundred dollars. Welcome back to the uh, radio. Hi, money guys. Okay, let's go. Hola. All right, let's go. Ivane, Amida, Ivane, Amida. Welcome to Ura's Shark Tank, the battle for a cause. You are wrong. Stop yelling and listen to what I have to say. These program directors are fighting to win. You'll get the most for your money when you invest in my program. It's clear that my program is the program. And win big. Why give your money to something good when you can give your money to something better? My dear friend, my dear shark, you're about to make a $500 mistake. Welcome back to the Euro Radio Thon 2016. And, uh, nah. My name is Rabbi Moshe Meir Weiss, Rabbi Chaim Schwartz, and Rabbi Kravitz. And uh, you tonight, listening out there all over the world, I don't hear can uh, help us, 1-877-7-Auction, 1-877-7-Auction, and ura.auction.org. We just heard a siyam uh, on Shabbos Chazak, and now, and now we, uh, in, a, in a way that we show you that there are just so many things that we use our money for over here at URA, we have our Shark Tank debate. Yes, the uh, Shark Tank debate is one of our most exciting features here tonight on the URA Radiothon, as uh, three members of the, uh, of the, URA, of the URA staff uh, compete with our shark, our dear shark today, Mr. Chaim Lax, who has a dedica been a dedicated supporter of URA for many years, uh, and tonight, you're finally going to get a chance to decide what Ura's going to do with your donation. He, so look, we, he like, looks more like a nice guy to me. Oh, know. he's a shark underneath. Underneath, He looks nice on the outside, but inside, oh, he's a shark like you wouldn't, like you wouldn't believe. And we have here Rabbi Kravitz, Rabbi Biederman, and Rabbi Reichman, who each have two minutes to sell you their cause, and you get to decide which one of those three Ura programs gets the money. Sound good? Sounds good. So... Uh, I can start off with $1,000, and I'd like to hear what each one of you can do with that kind of money. Any, uh, any specific order that you'd like us oh, to we'll go? Just, uh, why don't we start with Rabbi uh, Reichman okay. and go down the line. Okay, okay so I'm going to advocate for the Rebetzins program. That's our Shatkin program. And I first want to explain to you why this is such an important program. 
if the from communi community is having a shidduch crisis, then those that, were, that, were, that grew up not from and became from, they're having a three alarm fire emergency. The from community, we have family, we have friends, we have a network, siblings, aunts, uncles, cousins, extended family, so many friends, a community that we grew up with, friends from school. And still we are having this yoyness of finding our, our true shidduchim. Allah has come and come all the more so someone that was brought up not in the from community and he becomes from or she becomes from. Sometimes their own family is not on board. Their own parents don't want them to marry a from, a from mate. And all the more so, and they don't have the family and friends that we have. So most definitely they're going to have a hard time. So that's why it's so important. That's one reason why it's so important for us to have this program for you to support it. And more than that is that when someone marries, that's setting his foundation. That's anchoring him in to his lifestyle. So someone that became from over the last couple of years, it's so important for them to find that right shidduch and make sure they get the support and they need from the Uruz Rebetzin Shatkin program to find that right shidduch to help them to continue their commitment that they've made to become from and to anchor in their commitment to Yiddishkeit and to build a bias Nevin Be Yisrael. Sounds good to me, boy. Sounds good to me also. What is... Uh What's the next one up? So, uh, hi, it's Avram Kravitz here, and I am representing the Ura Yom Tovim. Firstly, I want to thank you for donating, and it seems like you've been donating for a few years. So, to take your donations to the next level, you actually came down, and you're making one of us here work for our donation. And uh, we have a little bit of an elevator pitch. We've got a few seconds to be able to pitch to you why our program, but on behalf of everybody that URA services, we thank you for your donation, because at the end of the day, somebody's going to get the donation. And it's, it's gewaldic that you're doing that. URA Yom Tovim. I want you to think about, in your family, or just think about the memories that you have of all the Yom Tovim that you got together with your family. Be it Rosh Hashanah, Sukkot, Chanukah, Pesach, Shavuos, where the family all got together and you spent time, whether it's with your married kids, or whether it's with your in-laws or parents, whatever everyone's family dynamic is, we at the Zone campus, we host every single Yantav of State. I'll be heading upstate this week to set up for Shavuos in the Zone. 600 plus people will be going for a three-day Yantav in the Zone, uh, uh, the, the, the Frum side of the Ura uh, team and the Kira side of the, of the Ura team. And there's, there's, there's nothing better than seeing the families commingle and get together and they're having, our Kira families are having the same exact experiences that we have when we go to our family and that creates a bond and really the most, most important facet of Ura is we are a conduit to create a bond between a Frum family or a Frum staff member and a Kira family and a Kira staff member and that bond, the building block for the bond happens at a Yom Tov, and that increases to every other program of URA. I'm getting told that my time is uh, done. I'm not used to this, <laughs> but I'm not used to this, but I thank you for, for really giving the donation to the URA Yom Tov. It's a state uh, thank of the you. art Yom Tov. I mean, it's not, you know, URA is not, you know, some shabby Yom Tov. Oh, everything no. everything there yeah. is, you know, they're knocking down the doors to join this. The Lachem and the Lahashem yeah. is uh, in the Yom, Yom and Tavim. So that's Rabbi Kravitz. You've heard Rabbi Kravitz. What do you think about Rabbi Kravitz's it's pitch? A, it's a very nice pitch. It's, it's a nice it's pitch. It's a very it's, nice pitch. How's he looking right now just between Rabbi Kravitz and Rabbi Reichman? Where, oh, it's where a very there. close call there. Very close very call. Close rabbi call. Friedemann is going to make it even more confusing. Go ahead, Rabbi. Okay, we're gonna, my life? Yeah. <laughs> uh, we're going to confuse, confuse things even more. 36 locations around the country every week. Kids get together and meet with counselors. They have a great time in our national chill zone. Throughout the, throughout the country and in Israel, we have another center. We have hundreds of kids, nearly a thousand, nearly a thousand children. The United States, America, and Israel, we have nearly a thousand. Yes. The United States. It's in a American. little bit of a thunderstorm here in the studio. I'm sorry, I apologize. You said there are thunderstorms. They always notice. give me the mic that doesn't work. Yeah. That's what I noticed. It's happened last year. It happened I now. think it was I actually, think I saw Rabbi Kravitz taking the batteries playing. out of your microphone. Before I just want to mention that the time is running. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's not. It's not home. And Listen, your thing sells itself. Every week, every week, nearly 1,000 kids get together with their counselors from camp or other volunteers in 36 locations across the United States, across in Canada, and in Israel. To get to have fun, it's called Chill Zone. They they have a great time. They study together. 
they party together, they play together, they have refreshments, they have fantastic raffles. Many of the locations have children's for moms and dads too because the parents get involved. There's nothing better that you do with these kids. They belong. They no longer feel, they, 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 a lot of these kids are coming from homes that aren't from, a lot of them are coming from homes that are moderately from. This gives them a weekly boost, this gives them role models that they can connect with on a weekly basis. It excites them, it gets them involved, and it gives them a support system throughout the entire year. So whatever they get in school is very nice, but they're in school. Here they're having fun, they're having a great time, they're hanging out with kids their own age, they're getting refreshments, they're, having, they're playing games, they're learning, they're coming home with something. They're bringing home the message. We're engaging the parents. We're engaging the kids. It's total involvement, and that's what Ura does best. Mm, so you've heard three very compelling things. What, what, how are you going to make your decision? Okay, I heard three very, you're correct. I heard very uh, compelling arguments from all three um, contestants, I guess. And um, I wish I had the kind of money that they had on the Real Shark show to uh, be able to give. Oh, this and is not the real shark show? That's not the real shark show, from what I understand. So I, really, I've never, the <laughs> there's the real one. Well, and the, one, the other one, that they give a lot, a lot more money. Um, but considering, you know, I forgot to tell you, I want to offer you a 50% um, ownership in the Uri Yom <laughs> uh, He's going to invite you for a Yom Tov. He's inviting you for a Yom oh, He's inviting you for Yom Tov. Right? If my wife was here, that may actually put it over the top. Um, <laughs> and if you want their children to go to the chill zone every night, every once a week, then make sure you set up their shidduch and make sure you give your, you allocate your money so they can have the proper shidduch to be able to do that. You see, it's good, it's good. It's you have 600 good. singles yeah, cards, 40 good. active shadchanim. I think when I, when I heard the arguments for the shadchanim, I said, you know, that's, that's, the, that's where I'm going. And then uh, when I heard about the camp, I said, that's where I'm going. It's just very hard to say. So, but... Um, I think I am going to go with the chill zone and I'm going to raise it to $1,800. Whoa. Whoa. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Let's tell you. And what, what was it about the chill zone? Why did that draw you? What's about the chill zone? The chill zone, it's just, it seems to be, um, I think it's where the money can do the most good. Uh, I understand about the Shad Khanum and the, sh uh, and the Shad Khan crisis. Actually, I have a personal uh, experience with that. Uh, and the uh, Yom Tovim is very nice, but that's only, you know, it's, it's, um, it's by the Yom Tovim. This is every week that it's a connection, every week that the people are coming down. And I just think that this is um, where the um, most good can be done out of the three. Not to say that the other two couldn't, you know, aren't important. But of the three, this is the one that I think would do the most. When they grow up and they become Shidduch age, we'll still help them with that Shidduch okay. I think our attention just got so riveted by this debate that people are not calling. one 877 auction you could help the chilling, you could help the Shadchanim, you could help the Yamim Taivim, and so much more. I want to say, I'll be gracious in defeat, you did very well. Oh. Yes. <laughs> Thank you very much for your donation. Thank you. You can also uh, uh, donate if you want to be a shark. You can call now at one eight seven 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 auction or online at ura.org. We have some very, very exciting interviews yet to come. But first, here's a word from our sponsors, Garnish mit Garnish Hangout. Can I leave now? Philadelphia <laughs> Saturday Night GMG Hangout. In collaboration with Gornish Mid Gornish Hangouts all over the U.S., thanks the Jewish community for its unwavering support since 1968. Unfortunately, since the opening of over 40 chill zones throughout the U.S. and Canada, we have barely been managing to keep afloat. And so, next week we'll be shutting our doors once and for all. Thanks again for spending your time with us, and we'll be back if Chill Zone ever shuts down. Hi, I'm Gabby, and I go to Chill Zone Philly. I'm Michael, and I go to Chill Zone Mill Basin. I live in Highland Park, and I go to Highland Park Chill Zone. I go to Toronto Chill Zone. I go to Chill Zone in Boca Raton, Florida. And I go to Chill Zone Brooklyn. I look forward to Chill Zone because I want to see my chabrutas so I could learn with them. We get to learn with our friends. We learn more about our history as Jews. There's great prizes and free food. Everybody is like so spirited and treats you like family. Because at Chill Zone, everyone's accepted for who they are. In just a few hours, we will be drawing the winner 
of $36,000. That's right, you heard it. $36,000. Do you want to win $36,000? Now you can with a $36,000 cash prize from Ura, home of the five, 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 five dollar auction. Welcome back, everyone, to Ura Radio Thon Ura Thon 2016. And we are listening on WABC 770 AM, WMCA 570 AM, Lakewood 107.9 FM, streaming live so that uh, the Ephes family, if you're not nervous, don't worry about it. It's only a million people listening. And uh, we, we have here a family that has been involved with URA for a very long time. And I good to uh, and uh, welcome uh, Yefe to the program. And we want to give us a little background how you're involved with URA. Okay, so our story starts back in 1999. Um, I was in the midst of a very nasty divorce. And, um, it was Sukkot time. My son Daniel was seven years old. My daughter was, my uh, other son Tal was four years old. And um, I wanted to get them a sukkah, and I, have no me I had no means of getting a sukkah. So somebody, someone told me to call Rabbi Mintz um, in Staten Island. That's what I did. And um, so, Someone from the office told me that a day later, a sukkah is going to be delivered, and that's really what happened. Um, two guys came with a brand new sukkah. They set it up, and uh, I tipped each one $20. And um, I told them at the end of the holiday, come pick up the sukkah. They, said, they told me, no, ma'am, it's yours to keep. Of course, the tears start, started rolling down my eyes, and when I picked up my boys that day, they were jumping up and down to see the sukkah. Um, that was the story of the sukkah. And, and, and then... And from there, it just kept on growing, right? It kept on growing. When my son, Daniel, was uh, in 2006, when the first boy zone opened, um, he went to, to the girl, uh, boy zone, and Tal... After, to, between Tal and Daniel, it's three years, so Tal went with him um, after that, when he reached the age of nine. They attended Discover You. They attended um, two years in Yeshiva at Nativ Arya in Israel, and Ura helped me with that as well. Um, and my son Daniel just graduated Yeshiva University. Mazel tov. Mazel yes, tov. thank you. And they went and to the Ur Ur Citadel in Yerushalayim, right? Yes, yeah. yes. And, 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 so, and my son So this is already, let's see, 1999. It's 17 years that yes. you're involved. 17 yes. years is gematria type. Uh, you know, if you're watching, you see that this is a family whose children's lives, together with their lives, were absolutely enriched in so many different ways. Um, and, and this is your daughter, Amy? My daughter, Amy. My, your daughter, Amy. Amy, uh, what, what do you have to say about what Ura did for you? Uh, my first year of camp was 2012. So you're, you're a Zoniac? Yeah, I'm a Zoniac. Yeah. Woo! Go Zoniac! Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> not, not a maniac, a Zoniac. Yeah, yeah. Um, I came to camp in 2012 not knowing anyone. When I got off the bus, um, they did a, bri a bridge to greet everyone. You, you feel like you're family, basically. And w when, a, when a few days passed, I got to know a lot of people, um, my tour mate. Um, and it's just a family. Well, one second. You know, before they had the shark tank and the chill zone one, you're a chiller also, right? <laughs> you're a chiller. So, so, I mean, between, between the zone and, and, and the chill zone, I mean, it, mommy, it really enriches your whole life, no? Absolutely. And, 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 and Daniel, how was Daniel involved in, in URA? Daniel started with the first Are boy we zone. Him on the phone? And um, he goes, he's very close to Yahoo Mins. He's invited. I, I believe we have him on the phone. Could you patch him through? 
Danny? Yeah, yeah. He's in L.A. now. He went to a... Danny, I think Danny went to a wedding. A friend's wedding. Uh, an Ura yes. wedding. He went an to an Ura, Ura wedding. wedding. Rabbi Mintz was With there. Rabbi Mintz. Uh, uh, yeah. One of the Shemesh boys got married in L.A. and Rabbi Mintz, uh, Rabbi Chaim Mintz was right. there. Right. And uh, he went to L.A. How is, yes. is he on the phone? Yeah. Hi, Danny. I got to work. Welcome to the Urathon. And, uh, and uh, your family is sitting over here. Uh, Danny, you've been a Zoniac for how many years? Too long. Um, from 2006, I've been involved with Ura, yes. Wow, uh, that's 10 years. No, that's not too long. You're just getting started. <laughs> That's it. I mean, you're going to become a Torah mate. Who knows? You know, you might, you might, you might work in the camp and uh, attract other young Dan Daniels for many years to come. Amen, amen. I actually already have uh, gotten my internship at Ura, so I have a little bit of work experience. Oh, oh, there you go. Yeah. <laughs> there you go, Danny. Danny, what is your single best camp memory? Single best camp memory would be. Um, Danny, it's got to be one that you could say on the ear. <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> okay, I just threw out that thought. <laughs> um, single best camp memory is uh, the friends that I've made in, in, in Ura, uh, the different counselors that I'm still in touch with that, you know, as the years went on, got married. But, like, I have different networks of. of of people that I can always I can always be in touch with, and and as long as you keep those relationships, it just becomes more than a camp, and it's an, an extended family of, of mine. So that's that's I guess single best memory of uh, of meeting those people originally, and uh, and where where it takes me today. Uh, we we have sitting over here Aaron with us as well from the family. A royal welcome to the uh, Urathon, and he's watching proudly. <laughs> as he hears his family on the phone. And um, to wrap up, uh, Mrs. Yefes, what would you say to people here that are thinking about giving money to URA? Uh, what would you tell them? I would tell them that it's a wonderful investment, that this is a, an organization that deals with so much chesed and keruv and, and unity, and this organization must grow and um, every, every dollar that you invest is, is, is wonderful. It's, it's just a wonderful, wonderful organization. Um, and, and you could do that right now and invest in scores, scores, hundreds, thousands over the years of families like the Yefes family. And of course, this just keeps on growing. Amy, you have big plans with uh, Ura in the future, no? Of course, of course. Yeah. And stay family forever. One more thing. Yeah, sure. Um, a big applause to my Torah mate for seven years now, Pessy, Mrs. Pessy Lezevnik, uh, who has been a great shidduch for me through Sipi Summers, our uh, Torah mate coordinator. So, and whoever doesn't have a Torah mate doesn't know what they're missing. What they're missing. Um, she gives me chizuk. I give her chizuk. She's a wonderful lady. We, we learn every Thursday night, and it's just a pleasure. And I also wanted to thank everybody in Ura for be, giving us a schut to be part of the Ura family. Okay. So you, we have to understand what's going on over here. You have to understand, you have over here a family. By the way, these are not ac actors. This is a real family. No, I'm you know? not an actor. You know? and, no. and, and here you have a family that's involved in, in, in the zone, in Chill Zone, in Jerusalem Citadel, in the intern program, in Torah Mates. It in the started mom, in Mom's Chill Zone, too. <laughs> yeah, it, and it started from. A sukkah, a sukkah that Ura boys go yeah. and deliver, yeah. and and probably over the years you did mechiras yeah. chametz and you and you got yeah. a lulav and esrig and you got right. a matzah right. package. Right. I mean, right. and you got a Hanukkah package. So this is all. It's the wraparound Ura 
And please understand that we just can't have this, not enough time in the night to give you enough people. This is just one example, one success story of URA. You want to be part of it? There's room to call right now. You might also win $36,000. 1-877-7-AUCTION, 1-877-7-AUCTION, or uraauction.com. Robert Kravitz, tell him a yeah, good prize. I, I want to just tell you that uh, we keep on mentioning the $36,000 prize. There are... Uh, 40 plus prizes that are here and uh, whether it's a Carly's or whether it's five-ish cash or, or an actual car. Or, or, or classic yeah. jewels or, or, or a grocery giveaway a hundred dollars to spend each week or it's a shaitol or a weekend or a trip to or, Eretz Yisrael or, or a weekend at the world off the mega blocks to find furniture I want to just give a 30 second shout out to the Ura volunteers what's an Ura volunteer that's somebody that picks up the phone and says I want to be a Torah mate uh, we have Ura volunteers that help us um, 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 with, with Torah mates, with, with Cam, with Sukkis, whether it's a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a yeshiva guy that goes builds a sukkah. Recently, uh, a few Ura volunteers, actually one of the Ura vans broke down and a few, a few they, they, we anointed them as Ura volunteers. They helped the, they helped the, the car get back on the road. And we thank them, the, those Ura volunteers. What about those that go for Yom Tov to uh, of course, away from their uh, family? Uh, of course, okay. those that go. So 8777-AUCTION, 8777-AUCTION. And now, and now, Ura.org, and now we go to a commercial. Okay. Thank, Thank you. you so much, guys. Thank you. Guys. Thank you. What's going on? Thank you. Nice oh to meet you. I'm crying because my wife went shopping. No. Is Voss? I think it's hopeless. No, it's not, Getzel. Didn't I tell you? Didn't you see all the Givaldiga prizes in this year's auction? The $10,000 shopping spree, and the Givaldiga Shaitel prizes, uh, four Shaitels, and the jewelry prize. But Hashem, I thought I'd have to take out a mortgage. <laughs> well, for that. Now you can with a rent and mortgage prize from Ura, home of the five, 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 five dollar auction. Welcome to Ura's Shark Tank. The battle for a cause. You are wrong. Wrong, wrong, wrong. <laughs> Rabbi Kravitz, that's the best you got. The tension. Rabbi Biederman, it's clear you're not listening. The excitement. It's clear that my program is the program. The yelling. I'm not going to raise my voice at you. It's simple logic. You can believe in your mission, but can you sell it? Welcome back to Ura Radiothon 2016. And uh, if you're joining us first now, if you want to give to URA, please dial one eight seven 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 auction And as you know, we have a way of presenting you to different programs of URA in an exciting, thrilling way, and Elchanan will tell you how it's done. So our next shark this evening, uh, who Rabbis Kravitz, Biederman, and Reichman will again be competing for his donation, is uh, Rabbi Matt Hoffman, who is a super lawyer, Rating is one of the top 5% lawyers in New York City. He runs a Kirov organization called The Flame, and he is a certified mar marriage education and a divorce prevention coach. And he and his wife have spoken on over, at over 50 college campuses and shuls around the company. That's wonderful. This That's is a wonderful. shark who won't let our fish off the hook that easily. A good fuck, Rabbi Matt Hoffman. Gentlemen, what? I have given Ura $500. What I want to know tonight is which one of you should get it and why. Okay. Rabbi Biederman. I'll jump in. They make this mic not work now? Okay. No, I this saw Rabbi Kravitz work. fiddling with it before. Yeah, I know. Um, okay. Imagine 600 kids moved from public school to yeshivas with a retention rate of over, of close to 90% or more of them sticking to yeshivas through 12th grade many of them beyond, a budget of nearly 
of nearly $2 million that's allocating, that's allocating over $150,000 a month that's going to help kids in yeshivas. 900 plus, uh, 170 schools, over 600 kids, all ages. That's what we do. We put them in school and we mentor them throughout the whole, throughout the whole process. It's not that we throw them into school and they just stay there. We are there, we're involved, we're engaged with the schools, we're engaged with the kids, we monitor their progress, we make sure they go to the right schools, to a school that's appropriate for them, we make sure the fit is right for them, for their family, and we lead them all the way through, from preschool through 12th grade. That's what we do in our tuition program, and that's why you should put your money there, because we succeed in putting kids through the school, through the education process in a way that they can handle, and a way that will help them grow and retain their Jewish identity forever. Do I ask my questions now, or do you want me to hold them to the end? Uh, why don't everybody kind of do their two-minute pitch? Okay. And then skewer them. Rabbi Reichman. Okay, I'm going to advocate for the Torah Mates program. That's a Kavrusa program of learning once a week over the phone or through Skype or in person, however we can work that out. And the reason why I think you should invest in the Torah May program is threefold. First of all, it's the most cost-effective program from all the programs that we're talking about. It costs $50 to set up a, a Torah May partnership, including us sending them books, Svarim, to learn from. It's also the most diversified program because it's from, it's from young uh, children through adults of any age. And third of all, this is the easiest way to get people involved in Ura, to be interested in Yiddishkeit, because it's not a large commitment on their part. All they have to do is study with someone once a week. They, don't need, they can do it over the phone from the comfort in their house. Any, any, any subject that they choose at the time and pace that they choose. And we'll set them up with someone that, sits, that suits them to, exactly to their needs. So therefore, if you want to get involved in the tuition program and in Rabbi Kravitz's camp program, the way to get them in the door and the way to get the most for your money is to get them in through Torah mates. Rabbi Kravitz. Hi. Camp. The Zone Camp. Why would I ask you to support the Zone Camp? And I'll, I'll be glad to explain. How do you reach a family unit? How do you get them in one place to be able to get the message across? How do you build the building blocks or a foundation to get a kid interested in going to yeshiva? So you could do a cold call and call uh, uh, somebody affiliated and call a parent and try to convince them to the yeshiva. If you get a kid into the zone camp, a couple of things happen. Number one, the kid gets inspired and he becomes interested in yeshiva. Number two, and here's the focal point, the parents come on visiting day and visit the kid and they see a kid that is different than it was two weeks ago. They see a kid that's inspired, a kid that is, is, is joyous in his, in his Judaism and his Yiddish guy, and they say, I want to have a little bit of what that is. And then you tell them, meet with Rabbi Mintz who's sitting in the, in, in the tuition tent, and he'll help you get your child to go to yeshiva. Or join us right after the summer for Rosh Hashanah, and you too will be inspired. And when you come for Rosh Hashanah, you're going to get a Torah mate that's going to learn with you. And this is inclusive of the whole entire family. So of course, tuition is important. And of course, uh, um, um, Torah mates is important. By supporting camp, you will get everybody in, and that will then branch out to the other programs within their organization. So if you want to be a, uh, uh, if your investment wants to lead to other things, now of course, if you support tuition, you may be able to get the kid to come to camp. But it's not alive. Camp is alive. The parents see it. They see that kid, and this, is a tried and true formula to get the kids inspired, the family, Chagim, Ura, the rest of the programs, and I hope you join us in our effort. Okay, we ready? Uh, we're ready, yeah. I'm sorry, so we are Kravitz first. You know, I do a lot of cure of work and I see a lot of people, and the vast majority of them have had no camping experience whatsoever, and they're becoming from. So I want to understand why your camping program is so special that you're going to show me that people are going to become from or become more observant because that's not what I'm seeing in terms of the Bali Shuva that I see. I don't see people who became from through camps. Imagine a Disneyland where everything is positive, 
We suffer from it in today's society where even in the firm community we find sometimes Yiddishkeit burdensome, not explained. Imagine a place where everything is fun and exciting, where everything is joyous, where you're accepted for who you are, where, you're, where you come to a campus that looks like Disney World, has anything okay, and everything. Okay, I got that, but let me ask you this. Life is not always, unfortunately, joyous, and life is not always summer camp. So how are we preparing these kids to confront the challenges if they're going to become observant? Because it's not all fun and games. Each camper that comes to camp, let me finish, each uh -huh. camper gets a staff member that becomes a Torah mate. Uh -huh. But, the, uh -huh. but, okay. but, there but, you go. That's there's the always point. a but. The... But you know why we have them come to camp? Because as opposed to just connecting them on the phone where they never met each other, they live together for 30 days. They establish this okay. incredible bedrock of a relationship that ultimately could continue when they go on the different ways. But the, the, the emphasis or the part of the relationship that starts, and that's the key to the camp, this Torah mate concept. And it starts when they live together. They see each other for 30 days straight. They study every day. They learn every day. They learn each other's quirks, what works for them, what doesn't work for them. And ultimately it builds and it lets them continue hopefully forever. I'd like oh. to interject something, Rabbi Dr. Hoffman, and that is that if your Bali Chiva would have had the ability to go to camp, they probably would have become Bali Chiva earlier. Uh, I, I don't know. My reservation about that is as one myself, I say to myself, if I would have had to go out there in the wilderness, I'm not sure I'd become well, from at all. But this camp is not a wilderness. Right. That right. I can tell you. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't look like such a wilderness. Yeah, no, that's for sure true. <laughs> let me go on to somebody else. Rabbi Rackman, let me ask you a question. Now, you know I'm the gay of a dover since I'm involved in the Torah Mates Project. But I'm also involved in two other organizations that provide learning over the phone. And what I want to know from you is, what's so special about this? There are other organizations I can support that provide learning over the phone. I know they're wonderful like you are. Why should I give $500 to Torah Mates when I could do something else with my money, including giving it to these other two guys? Okay, so you being involved with two other organizations, you could probably answer the question better than me. But let me just say that all organizations that are setting up Chavrusas to learn are amazing and Halavai, we should have more of those organizations. We need many, many more. There are so Amen. many people that need, that need to be reached. Amen. I can tell you what's, what Ura does when someone joins the Torah Mate program. Ura has many different programs that in each program in their own right, they can be their own organization. We have a camp department. We have a tuition. We have chill zones, as we discussed before. We have Rebetzins. We have Yom Tovim in the zones. We have Shabbatones. And, uh, and they interlock. And they, right. That's special about Ura yeah. is that once someone joins yeah. our Torah Mate program, if their children are not in yeshiva, then we will encourage them to send their children to yeshiva. If their children have not been to a from religious Jewish camp, we'd encourage them to send their children to camp. They, and we, we would help their, their children or them themselves, if they need Shaduchim, help them get Shaduchim. We encourage them to join us for a Yom Tev or a Shabbaton at the zone. We have a uh, Torah Mates retreat at the zone coming up in about a month from now, July and 4th weekend for the men, and the week after that for the women. So it's not just about Torah mates. We supply the books. We have a professional kid of staff that is on call day in and day out to help people, to be mad with people with any questions they have, to encourage people on both ends to take the next step that is needed to help them form that relationship, that shaykh is with their Torah mate, to help them move to the, ne to the next level. I hope I answered you your question You guys are making this very difficult. But Rabbi Biederman, hopefully you'll give me a bad answer so I can at least narrow it to two. So let me ask I'll you... I'll try my best not okay, to. Okay, thank you. <laughs> let me ask you this. How much money are you giving per kid to go to yeshiva? Depends on the kid, and it depends on the following. As you've heard, Ur is about total engagement of the family and total and getting the most, getting the most, using each program to leverage the most effectiveness in general. And what happens is when a kid there's a base there's a base tuition subsidy, depending on the age of the kid and depending on the school, and then. If the parent, if the kid has a Torah mate, it gets up. If the parents have Torah mates, one parent has a Torah mate, two parents have Torah mates, the, it's a sliding scale because depending on the engagement of the family, that's how successful we're going to be. And our point is to give the parents an incentive to be engaged, to give the parents an incentive to have Torah mates, to give parents an incentive to be involved in their kids' education and in their own personal growth and their own personal connection to with Yiddishkeit. Because if the parents are connected, we're going to have a much more effective kid a much more effective educational uh, educational process for the child ready i don't know i i i, I, I count in an envious position over i there. am in an extremely envious position and i'm going to tell you why because i spoke to a colleague of mine rabbi dr roth and rabbi roth said to me 
Anyone who would sit up there and decide among three such worthy programs is incredibly arrogant. So I said, you picked the right guy. But <laughs> aside from that, I thought of something else. I'm cheating. And here's how I'm cheating, okay? You already have $500 of my money that to give to one of the worthy causes. But I decided that there were three worthy causes. And so what I'm doing is giving you two more checks so that I don't have to choose. I'm Fair enough. A Solomon's decision. So what I decided is, like, we have, you forced me to choose first place. I'm giving it to Rabbi Biederman only because I have to. But on the <laughs> other hand, what I did was give you checks for the other two for $180 for each one of the other two. He didn't two. show you the check I gave him before. And so <laughs> there are checks for the other two because as far as I'm concerned, everybody who participates with Aura is a winner. There are no losers. The work you're doing is L'Shem Shemayim and a beautiful thing. Well well thank you very well much. Well thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Well thank thank you. Well and, and the audience out there now can also give by calling one eight seven seven. They could triple their donations. Auction. They should triple their donations. Yeah. 877 auction. 877 auction. Oh, Here we go. Let's get rid of it. 877 It is a great privilege to be involved in such a special mitzvah, to take part in the writing of a Sefer Torah. This is a mitzvah that most do not have the opportunity to acquire in their lifetime. It takes months of time and a lifetime's worth of concentration. Each letter is written with great precision, according to our Mesorah. The expenses involved in having a Sefer Torah written in your merit are astronomical, but the mitzvah gained is surely priceless. Now you can with a Sefer Torah prize from Ura, home of the five, 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 five dollar auction. a Torah Mates coordinator and day in day out I have the opportunity to try and connect Yidin from all across the world to be able to learn on many many levels and even if it's only a half hour a week and tonight we have with us Baruch Hashem one of the many siyumim and accomplishments that we have are three Torah Mates Mark, Arkadi and Boris together with their Torah Mate Dovi and they, about approximately a year ago, they started to learn a Sefer on Hilchas Shabbat. And Baruch Hashem, we are here to commemorate the completion as they move on to more and more areas of learning and growth. Dovi Mizrahi. Mazel tov, mazel tov. Um, I want to say how this all started. Actually, I was working here in Cars for Kids, an amazing organization. And I said, I want to see Cure of Live. I want to see what Ura does. So I actually, I said, I, I asked my wife, can I go to the men's retreat? You go with the kids to your mother. I'm going on vacation. My wife said, gave me the green light. I said, I'm going to take this opportunity. I went up there. And as we're going there, we're there Friday night. We went to learn the base medrash. And I met these three fellow Sephardim, and I said, how about let's learn? Let's learn something about Shabbos. And uh, we sat down for the first time, and I, it were with Boris and Mark and Avraham. Already Avraham has a beard. Unbelievable. And uh, Boris already started keeping Shabbos on a high level, and he's sending his son to, to yeshiva next year. And we have uh, and, and Mark, also unbelievable. And we learn every single Sunday. Uh, sometimes, you know, we learned at 8 o'clock, 8.30, we learned for a half an hour, and we hope to continue. We're learning Rabsim Chabanim's book on the radiance of Shabbos. We just made making a siyum on it, and we hope to go to the next book. And we told Michael and Chayel to do many siyumim and to grow together. And they think that they're growing from it, but I'm growing more even from it. And I just want to say that, and thank you very much, Ura. I want to thank my Torah mates. Uh, you guys have been uh, reliable partners in studying every week. And a special thank you to Dovi, who, uh, who really made this happen. Thank you very much.
Mazel Tov again. Thank you very much for giving us the opportunity to do this. Uh, thank you, Dovi. Thank you, Ura, Torah Mates. And this was just a really uh, uh, surreal event, meeting the author of the book, Rabbi Simcha Bonin. Uh, and hopefully it will give us, us inspiration and everybody else in this room inspiration to continue learning. Thank you. Shabbat and Shabbos. So let's do a little from Shabbat. You ready? Give me harmony. Welcome back to our Urathon 2016. And it's hard to believe that uh, I'm I'm already uh, finished my part of the program over here. The big skia that I look forward to to talk to all of you out there to tell you. In the name of Rabbi Mintz and all of the wonderful men, women, boys, and girls that volunteer to help out this organization, help bring children into yeshiva, help give them a camp experience of a lifetime, help to change their yomtiv, help to give them a family, have the Rebetzins program marry them off, have people there that will help with circus, help people with... Uh, with uh, uh, selling the Chomets, 18777 auction. It's always been my pleasure to be able to tell uh, a thank you to Rebbets and Kitsia Mints and to Rebbets and Gitti Mints. It's uh, my pleasure to thank ZK for running the boards. It's my pleasure to thank all the men and women out there tonight that are burning the uh, midnight 1, 2, 3 a.m. oil helping thank you all so much of course all of you that are giving to this organization and i want to conclude with a story it's a story about an ura family it's a story that happened to me this year 
And Rabbi Mintz, I always ask Rav Chaim Mintz, I didn't ask him this year, but I ask him, tell me uh, what message I should give everybody out there. And he says, let everybody know that they don't have to be a Kirov specialist to do Kirov. Let them talk to somebody at work about keeping a Shabbos. Let them talk to some, a neighbor about lighting candles. So I want to tell you a story. Uh, about a year ago, it's a true story, someone from an Ura family, we needed something repaired in our house, and we called him up, and he came, and he repaired the window, and, he, and I said to him, Jake, so are you thinking about Shiduchin? He says, yes, yes, I'm dating. So I said, Jake, tell me, where are you holding these days? So he said, well, Rabbi Weiss, I'm not going to lie to you. Uh, I eat kosher at home, but when I go out, not always. Uh, Shabbat, I do mostly, except if it's very hard. So I uncharacteristically lashed into him, and I said, what kind of a schizophrenic life is that? I mean, tell me something. When you do your construction, do you sometimes do a good job, sometimes not? Do you sometimes uh, charge the right money and sometimes not? So tell me, are you going to look for a girl that sometimes going to be keep Shabbos and you're going to teach your children that? And then I thanked him and uh, he left. About a year later, a few weeks ago, he came over to my house and he said, Rabbi Weiss, could I have a few minutes with you? And I said, sure. He says, remember you gave me an uncharacteristic tongue lashing last year? And I said, yes. He says, you know, I decided after I left you that I'm going to try for two weeks to go all the way, to keep kosher, to keep Shabbat. At the end of two weeks, I get a call from somebody. He said to me, you know, I have a girl for you. She's beautiful and she's great, everything you're looking for. There's only one problem, and that is, there's only one problem, and that is that uh, she wants Shabbat all the way and kashrut all the way. So he said, you know, it happens to be that I just accepted it. You know, let me try. And he said, Rabbi Weiss, I've already dated over 100 girls. So I want to tell you something, Rabbi Weiss. I became a Khatan last week. There's no way that I would have gone out with this girl if I didn't try. So here's just a simple thing. You try to tell somebody, try to keep kosher, try to keep Shabbat, and magic happens. I'd like to thank Ura for allowing me to join and my co-host, Rebel Khanan and Rabbi Kravitz. And I want to leave you. Try to help people and get involved, get a Torah mate, offer to put up a sukkah, offer and call now 1877 auction. And thank you and have a good Tava. Thank you so much, Rabbi Weiss. Thank you so much for Rabbi Weiss going on uh, 15 years, Mr. Shem, we'll see you again next year at the Urathon in Yerushalayim. Amen. And we'll keep going. And thank you, everyone. Good to Thank you. Good to Fana 
Hashem b'simcha, b'lefana b'nana, lefana b'nana. Hey, I'm the lay 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 lay. Hey, I'm the lay 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 lay. The lay 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 lay. The lay 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 lay. Oh. On 570 WMCA New York, 1079 WMDI Lakewood, and our flagship station, 770 WABC New York. Also broadcasting live at URA.org, your most trusted source for auction coverage everywhere. Welcome to URA's 2016 auction, home of 50 awesome prizes. For the complete prize list, go to URA.org, only $5 each. 6K MasterCard, lifetime tickets, classic jewels, grocery giveaway, buy Mr. Cash, camera release, week at the Waldorf, it's a jewel, fine furniture, need for speed, lifter, and mega bucks. 1 auction. Call now, only $5 each. Set to impress, it's a Dini, family vacation, shots and gelder schmuck, $36,000, your wheels, therapy, savings bond, error to sauce, save with her, dental care, debt free. Order online at URA.org. Only $5. Surprise! Shopping is free, Art School Library, big fat check, pick your pet, Toyota, Sienna, it's a Jacqueline, a week in the zone, prices brought up a full rub, fibers, checkbook, diamond necklace, tuition. One, seven, 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 Call now, only $5 each. Clothing, vacation anywhere, rent a mortgage shop, New York supermarket, insurance, circus in Israel, visa gift card, travel and tax, sterling silver, renovate your home, it's a kinky jackpot. Order online at Earth.org. Only $5 a prize. One eight seven 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 auction. Call now, only five dollars each. One eight seven 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 auction. So call now, one eight seven 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 auction. For a full description of prizes, go to ura.org. One eight seven 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 auction. One eight seven 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 auction. This next Urathon segment has been sponsored by Ura's Tuition Fund, because public school just may not be the best place for a Jewish child. URA's Holiday Packages Division, making Yuntiv in thousands of homes. Ask the Rabbi Live, where no question goes unanswered. And welcome back to the Ura Radio Thun 2016. Please call in now to donate at 1 877 7 auction. 1 877 7 auction. This hour, we're really going to get into the political discussion. We started it a little before with Rabbi Ganak, but upcoming this hour, we're really going to try and get into it. We're really kind of focusing on that this hour. Uh, both uh, Rabbi Nachman Kahler and Ezra Freelander will be here. One will be in studio, one will be on the phone, and we'll really discuss some more of the, uh, about this critical election upcoming and what the ramifications are for the Jewish community and for the American community uh, at, at, uh, at large. All that time, though, don't forget to call in and donate at one eight seven 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 auction or at online at URA.org. Oh, you know, last year, everybody heard after, we, they, it went viral, all the calls about the prizes, the famous lady with the car who's probably listening to you now and still might be on the floor plotting that her son won the car. We should, have follow, we should follow up with them. But don't you want to get that call, that 2 a.m. call? You know, in election season, they say, who do you want to take that 2 a.m. call? Is it Trump or is it Clinton? I'm asking you, do you want to get that 2 a.m. call from uh, Al-Khanan or myself saying that you have won 
uh, one of these incredible prizes. The time to donate is now. The time to time to donate is now. Eight seven 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 auction. Eight seven 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 auction. Twenty-five tickets to end up to school. Who needs to go twenty-five times? Well, there's lots of reasons to go. Like what? Visit your Saba and visit the Baba and visit the Mama Rachel. The Shuk and Geula and Mid by Yehuda pray each day at the Kotel. The birth of a baby, a cousin's bar mitzvah, a few hours at Yad Vashem. Pitzuchei Mashiach, Mara Samach Pela, and visit a daughter in Sam. Oh, I want to learn Hebrew, I need a vacation, I'm going because Israel's my home. For Sukkot, for Purim, for Hanukkah, Pesach, for my Bohemer in Rome. Jeeping and hiking and wine tours and cheese tours, gotta go check out the Waldorf. Spend Shabbos and Svas, your shidduch, amuka, another round at tunnel tours. Azman in the mirror, or stay for the year, a bracha from the great Reb Chaim. A Friday night tish, a Shabbos day walk, and don't forget the Rebbe Shrayim. Falafel, shawarma, chumos, chinos. And then you who dug me. Take the train, I get bus, hit the cab, rides on us. Five dollars a ticket, be in it to win it. A million of reasons, a lifetime of tickets. Ooh, auction.org. When an individual reaches the stage of shidduchim, it can be a very challenging time. It can be a very scary time. It can be a time of doubt and fears. The Rebbitsons Network was established to help guide individuals through the process of Shaduchim. As a Balash Tshuva, the Shaduch process can seem a little daunting at first, which is why the Rebbitsons program is there to help us and guide us with our questions and our challenges. For instance, we might not know how to approach Shadchanim or who to approach, the proper questions to ask and what to say, and the Rebbitzins program can guide us through that. It really is a privilege to be a mentor in the Rebbitzins program. I've had the pleasure of getting to know some very special people, and the joy of seeing that I really helped navigate this very complicated process. Many singles tell us that they would never be able to manage this whole Shidduch process without their Rebbitzin. And sign up to join the Rebbitzin's retreat, which is in two weeks. If you're an eligible single that fits into the program, please note that we have a Rebbitzin's retreat upstate the weekend of June 17th. Go to Rebbitzin's, R-E-B-B-E-T-G-I-N-S dot org slash retreat to apply to join the Rebbitzin's program. Okay, let's get right to it now. Uh, we have with us in studio, again, I want to kind of emphasize that any of the opinions given by the hosts or the guests regarding the uh, political uh, ele the elections or is not an endorsement by URA uh, uh, at all of either of the candidates and is the a sole um, opinion of those aforementioned guests. I think we got that right. But we have with us here uh, in studio Rab Nachman Kaller, who is a veteran real estate attorney and a devoted community leader. He is a strong advocate of family values and a strong advocate of Donald Trump. Rav Kaller has authored numerous svarim and is the Republican district leader for Borough Park and Flatbush. Rav Kaller will be explaining tonight why the Jewish vote uh, belongs with Donald Trump. A good vach, Rav Kaller, and welcome. Good vach, uh, the hosts at uh, Ura. I really appreciate what Ura is doing for the Jewish children. I'd like, you know, I, I came up with my wife tonight. We actually have a home here in uh, Lakewood, so that's why I'm here. Uh, uh, Ezra is a good friend of mine, I guess he's in New uh -huh. York. But, uh, you know, uh, either way, it's a mechlech of Shem Shemayim, like says in the, in the Tariq this week, it's, we're going to both try to figure out what's the best for our Jewish community. Okay, I've been campaigning for uh, Donald Trump, I guess, when, soon you'll hear a jingle, which was played in the in the Borough Park uh, during the primary day. But I think it's, it, won't do, it won't need a lot of convincing, because we have a great record in 1908, and I'm sorry, in 2008 and 2012, 75% of Borough Park and Flat was voted against Barack Obama. All we have to show is that Hillary Clinton is an extension of Barack Obama, and we will get the Jews' vote. Fortunately, I only had access to Borough Park and Flat, which I believe now I have access to the entire United States, and I guess everybody should know that our Orthodox Jews' vote resonates all over the country, so it made of Baltimore, Florida, so guys, campaign guys, listen. Okay, okay let, me, let me give you first start the reason why, I'm going to start positive, why we have to go for Donald Trump. Donald Trump, I guess his motto is, we will make America great again, and we will explain what it means, America great again. For the last eight years, during Barack Obama, the country has stagnated 
and the morals and the way of life degenerated where marriage and family life has been ridiculed. This is the, the way of Barack Obama and his radicals. Donald Trump has a vision and plan to restore America to its former glory as the leader and not the follower of the world. We have started being the follower of the world. During the Obama years, we have begun to lead from behind. That's, that's, the, that's what everybody's saying. And we basically, the recent poll says that we lost the respect of the world. Everybody, Democrats, Republicans all say that we have lost the respect of the world. And we always worry what the decadent Europeans will say. We have become slaves to political correctness and we cannot act decisively. Donald Trump has a history, he has a drive, an ability to restore America to its glory and prosperity. When New York City and its agencies for 70 years were unable to replace the long neglected Central Park skating ring, everybody knows that story, Donald Trump stepped in, he puts a little pressure on everybody and says in a year I'll, we'll put it back. He, he, I was listening to a story of this, he says when he started, he went back and saw they had copper pipes and every, every, every night they stole the pipes. Uh, that's, that's why they did it. He also said they ordered, they ordered ice from Florida and, and he went and he ordered from Montreal Canadiens. Anyway, he's the epic of actually getting things done. What's, mis what's, wrong in the, what's wrong with America is very simple. I mean, everybody knows. I'm a lawyer. I know I can't get anything done. There's so much regulations. For any little thing, it takes forever. He's going to cut right through it, knock out the regulations, and, and really, the United States will have a boom as soon as he comes in. Now, let's go back on the negative. Uh, Hillary Clinton and Barack Obama are cut from the same cloth. I'll give you some information, which is, is astounding. They're both from Chicago. They're both disciples of the radical professor Saul Alinsky of bless of memory, whatever, Shemesh Shem Yerkev, the radical you know, community organizer who advocated for a revolution in the United States and published the book of 12 Rules for Radicals. They're both, they're both disciples. Bar Barack Obama and Hillary Clinton have never created productive businesses. Barack Obama was and is a community organizer whose main purpose is to radicalize the American people. Hillary Clinton has been in government for most of her life. She has been earning a living by giving speeches at $200,000 a pop to Wall Street firms, and she accepted millions of dollars of contributions to the Clinton Foundation from foreign nationals. Hillary also wrote a book, a very interesting book. Her book is called, It Takes a, uh, takes a Community to raise, uh, to raise a Child. I mean, everybody has the question, why community? Everybody re responded, it takes a family to raise a child. Well, this is the mindset of these radicals, that they want uh, the children taken away from the parents, raised on their own, like in the kibbutz. Where do you think Bernie Sanders came? Bernie Sanders came from a kibbutz, and he's bringing the, that's where he's getting all these social and communist values in the United States. So I guess it's the same mindset for all the Democrats. My friend has coined a, a, a phrase, it's called the tale of not two cities, three cities. We really consist of three cities in the United States. First, it's the wealthy and the government operators that feed from taxpayers' money. Then there's the middle class. There's, unfortunately, there's no middle class anymore. It's actually the struggling class who struggle to make ends meet and support the family. And, uh, and, the, and the third class is the, uh, is the class of the poor. What the radicals are doing, what's happening is they're moving, they're, they're gutting the middle class. We have no middle class left, pushing us all down to the lower class. And the lower class happens, they all become dependent on government, and that's how they get their vote. So that's their modus operandi. And you also help the radical, the radical teachers' union to teach and inculcate, uh, inculcate with radical ideas. Well, those are some very interesting points, I guess, to got, get us started, really, in this discussion, speaking with, uh, regarding Mr. Trump. Clearly, you have many, uh, many different reasons and many specific areas in which you feel that he is... Uh, he would be the better choice, and as well as the negatives that you mentioned, where uh, Mrs. Clinton would uh, would be lacking. Uh, on the for a bit of the other side of the perspective, we have on the phone right now Reb uh, Ezra Friedlander, who is the CEO of the Friedlander Group, a public policy consulting group based in Washington D.C. and New York City. Reb Freelander has managed many complex public relations campaigns over the years, earning himself a reputation for his diverse skills and broad range of knowledge. 
Tonight, Reb Friedlander will be explaining why the Jewish community should consider uh, Hillary Clinton for president. Good to and how are you? Good to good to Thank you so much for having me on. Good to Reb Nachman. Look, it's, uh, we're, in a, we're in a crossroads here. The election that will decide the presidency will determine the next four years of the United States. Donald Trump, simply put, is not qualified to be president of the United States, let alone a candidate for president of the United States. For us Jews, we have a special responsibility to elect someone because of the following reason. I heard everything that Rav Nachman articulated, and I'm not, I cannot respond because he, 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 he brought so many different points. Some of it is relevant to a presidential race, and whether Donald Trump uh, rebuilt Walman Park and Central Park, if you're going to, if that's the criteria to elect the next president, what about how many companies that he bankrupted, the Taj Mahal? So if you're going to weigh his credentials based on repaving an uh, 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 ice skating ring, then you must evaluate his, his business career in its totality. And believe me, he would get an F, a fail. But let's not, let's not discuss that right now. Donald Trump has engaged in demagogic behavior. What do I mean by that? We Jews have a special responsibility when we voice our support for a candidate as a community to understand what does that mean? What message are we sending to the world? What message are we sending to our fellow citizens when you have a candidate that has managed to insult, to, uh, uh, to, to, to uh, put down? Only recently, several days ago, he made a statement that Newt Gingrich, that Paul Ryan came out after the, they endorsed uh, uh, Donald Trump, saying we will have nothing to do with the statement that he made that a judge who's of Mexican heritage cannot rule on Trump University. So when we vote for a candidate, we stand with a candidate. When Rav Nachman Kahler stands with a candidate, are you telling the tens of millions of Americans that are turned off by Donald Trump that we Jews embrace that candidate? Okay. Doesn't that doesn't that invite doesn't that invite the animosity of tens of millions of Latinos, tens of millions of African Americans? The person is a demagogue. He okay. has no place in in, Ameri in in American political life. Most Republicans who dislike Hillary Clinton, and let me just make something very clear. I brought John Kasich into Baraba. I was I'm very comfortable with some Republicans, but Donald Trump has no business being president of the United States and, and us as a community, we have to understand what are what are the ramifications, what credentials does Donald Trump have? Platitude statements that anyone could make make America great again. What does that mean? Okay, as now you, you you bring in you bring in so many diverse points and yes, some of it I agree with, some of it I don't. But what does Donald Trump have to do with it? And we, we must take stock of ourselves. And just because a candidate is, 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 a, is, is glamour and promises and is a businessman, does that mean that person could become president of the United States? We have a, a responsibility. We have a responsibility as a community when we stand beside a candidate. Look, we can support a candidate that we disagree with on certain policy points. But when a candidate has alienated tens of millions of Americans and we stand with that candidate, we are inviting, we are inviting potentially for, for large portions of the population to portray us, to, to view us and say, wait a minute, the Jewish community supports the positions of Donald Trump after he so vocally insulted our communities? How does that look for us? How, does, how, do, how, do, how do we how do we progress as a, as, a, as a community when intergroup relations are so important, are so important? I, I don't understand it. Okay. We cannot even bring in, we can't, I don't even want to discuss the positions of Hillary Clinton. You, you mentioned Barack Obama community. You made a whole chuland here. I mean, no, I'm not going to defend Hillary Clinton. I'm not going to defend Barack Obama. I'm saying as a, a, a community, 
we have a responsibility to take a, an election very seriously. And electing Donald Trump would be a disaster, not only for the United States of America, but for the community at large. Okay, Rebez, uh, firstly, thank you for joining us. <coughs> and we got to take care of a little, <coughs> sorry, a little bit of business. 877 7 auction. Don't you want that 3 a.m. phone call from Elchanan or myself telling you that you won? Right now, I'm looking at the board and I'm, I'm asking you to pick up the phone and call 877 7 auction, or you could donate at ura.org. Uh, there's $300,000 worth of prizes as, as we continue with this political debate. Of course, Ura does not uh, take sides uh, um, on the political debate, but I'm really here to push the prizes. 8777 auction. And I, when I call you, or when Elkhanan calls you, we want you to say that you actually called because we, we told you about this 3 a.m. phone call. And I would advise you all to look in the mirror and practice the receiving of the phone call. What are you going to do? What are you going to do when you actually win? Of course, Ura.org. You can, you can watch this at Ura.org. You can Donate at org 877 7 auction, 877 auction. Reb Ezra, I gotta just tell you, I got first of all, thank you for your points and thank you for joining. But I, I gotta tell you and I gotta ask you a question. Your 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 point of view uh, very eloquently stated. And as a neutral moderator here, um, I have to ask you, and I'm gonna ask Rabbi Kyle the same thing. Are you guys missing the boat? You could stand um, on, uh, on principle, and we could talk about uh, uh, de demagoguery and things like that. But at the end of the day, this seems to be in, in the American culture, it, they are, people are buying into this. And if people are buying into this, do we, do we, is it possible that we will just miss the current that's in this political, um, epic political season, and we will not take a stand either way because we're, we're not being... Um, um, open-minded to the facts on the ground. He, uh, 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 the, the candidate that you're speaking about, s could speak down to many uh, uh, eth uh, ethnicities or people, and his numbers seem to rise. And are we, are we assuming that the American people aren't smart enough to realize that? And maybe there's a different playbook. And I'm, I'm, I'm not in your field, and obviously this is your profession. I'm merely asking as a, as, as a novice or an outsider, or somebody looking in, and being a, a you know a, a cash quarterback, are, is our political class, whether it's Republican or Democrat, the Jewish political activists, so to speak, are are we missing what's going on? Uh, I'll defer to Reb Nachman to respond first, in, uh, in light of my uh, admiration. Okay, <laughs> that's that's very political. Go ahead. Thanks, uh, thanks, Ezra. We've been together a long time, so let me give you my perspective on the Jewish vote. Uh, we have to start, begin to vote principles. We've been voting for Democrats all the time because, because the Democrats are in power and things like that. I and mean, as you know, I think this is a dispute. Uh, we have to vote for, against the Democrats because Democrats are all against our principles. We, should, we don't have to foresee. That's because Rahi will already decide what's going to be. But Rabbi uh, Victor Miller said, Rabbi... Rabbi Belsky of Blessed Memory said, you cannot vote for people that espouse degradation of morality. We have to stand up for that. That's really, I wish, I mean, I was a Democrat uh, five years ago, ten years ago. We were all Democrats. It's not we left the Democrats, the Democrats left us. We have to, if, if Ezra, if you can get rid of the progressives in the Democratic Party, I mean, we'd all come back to the Democratic Party. So at this let, point let, in time... Let me respond to that, Rabbi Nachman. If, you, if, you, if, if that's going to be your criteria, and obviously... I, I will never uh, contradict what Rabbi Victor Miller's position was, but how could you support Donald Trump when his personal life and in his political life he supported everyone who you cannot even fathom supporting? Okay, well, that's the guy, a dis the, and, 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 uh, In terms of, are you, are you aware how Donald Trump has referred to, to women? Are you aware how Donald Trump... Uh, as uh, engaged in behavior that is that is not what what you're uh, uh, espousing. So on that front alone, Donald Trump should be disqualified from receiving your support. Now, in in terms of uh, uh, the moderator's question, look, as Jews, we have a special responsibility. Not that's what I would think Rabbi Kahler would agree with me on that. 
is to evaluate a candidate not just based on who the general population, the wind of the day, and which direction is the wind blowing, and that's who we should support. Because, no, we have a, a, a higher authority that we uh, 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 claim to aspire to. Uh, that we, that, that Donald Trump is a phenomenon. And I agree that there's a certain, the large portion of the population that is angry, and he's tapped into that anger. But along with that anger, he has managed to bring to the surface the anti-Semites, and you see that. You see that across the board, and, and I'm not saying you have that in Bernie Sanders' camp as well, but Donald Trump's candidacy has brought to the surface tens of thousands of angry individuals who have hatred and who have hatred for the Jewish community as well. And you see that on Twitter. You see that on social media. You see that if there's a, a, a Jewish reporter that questions Donald Trump's credentials, they espouse anti-Semitism, and he has not condemned it. He knows what he's doing, and he, perhaps he's a lot smarter than, than a lot of, other, of, the, of his fellow candidates because he has managed to uh, uh, blow everyone away, and he obviously is the Republican nominee. But what's most troubling is that in his own party, in his own party, the hierarchy doesn't want to see him elected. Paul Ryan gave him a very lukewarm endorsement, and only today has disassociated himself with the statement of his own nominee. So if that's the way the Republican Party is treating him, what, should, what message does that send to the world? Where should we stand as a community? If you don't want to support Hillary Clinton, fine. That's, I, I, have, I have no problem with that. But don't support Donald Trump. Okay, Rabbi Ezra, I want you, Rabbi Ezra, I want you to hear something, and then I want to hear your comment after I play this, uh, after I play this, uh, th this little uh, jingle, uh, and then we'll t we'll pick Rabbi Ezra after this jingle. Go ahead. Mit dos dem historischen Gelegenheit, sie huben nach Heilig in der Weilen ab Präsident Kandidat. Ob sind die Registered Republican, Geiter ausstimmen für Donald Trump. Donald Trump ist der beste Kandidat für ins Haredische Jeden. Trump versteht ihn sie gebrochen. In Trump wird. Uh, Rev. Ezra, any Rev. Ezra, care to comment? Look, it's a it's a jingle. <laughs> It's a nice jingle. It's a, it's, a, it's a fine tune. But look, Ed, what has that have to do? <laughs> nothing, nothing. I'm just being cute. But I'd like yeah. to know if you think there's a, a uh, Democratic Clinton jingle coming out soon as a response to Reb Nachman Kahler. Look, I, I, am not, I am not part of the Clinton campaign. You would have to Correct. ask them that. The question Correct. look, the bottom line is Donald Trump is a divisive figure. The Jewish community should not stand in solidarity with a divisive divisive figure. It's not good for the community. It, we're living in a very diverse country. It's not just Borough Park and Lakewood. We have to be aware of our surroundings. We need the cooperation. We need the goodwill of all communities. And you can support a Republican. I have, uh, I, I have many close uh, 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 contacts, and I work very closely with members of the Republican caucus, both, both in the House and in the Senate. And uh, I have respect for many Republican positions. Uh, I'm working on a project now with Senator Orrin Hatch and others. So I'm not your, I'm obviously a registered Democrat, but look, I'm not speaking now as a partisan Democrat. I'm speaking as an American. I'm speaking as an American Jew. Donald Trump does not bring to our country uh, a pride. We are a laughing stock. Okay, All over some the very, world. Yes, very, very uh, strong words from Rev. Freelander. Uh, we're going to go for a quick commercial break, reminding everyone as we go to that commercial break that you should donate. It's coming up. We only have a very short time left where we'll still be taking donations. And you can put in for at 1877-AUCTION, 1877-AUCTION, or online at URA.org. Quick, we'll be wrapping up. <laughs> 
300,000 worth of prize, dollars worth of prizes very shortly. We'll be back with Reb Nachman Collar and Rebezer Freelander very good in with a few minutes. Okay, I don't know if you know that about me. I am an excellent predictor. I am a prognosticator par excellence. I can predict anything. There will be elections in America. That's not by prediction. That's, that's a fact. But you know which party is going to win? Ahasuerus' party. And now, you know why Ahasuerus will win? Because he has a great slogan. Tired of the tea party? Try the wine party. <laughs> President Bush. Uh, he was a man. He made the first Hanukkah party in the White House. You know, President Obama, you know, made the first Seder, uh, Pesach Seder in the White House. President Ahasuerus will make the first Purim Suda in the White House. <laughs> and, and, and President Ahasuerus will get so drunk, he won't be able to tell the difference between Ar Osama and Barack Obama. <laughs> that reminds me of a joke. Richard Shima did Osama bin Laden Lan and go to after he died. Waterbury. <laughs> oh, I could see people <laughs> taking offense to that. Okay. Ah. Okay. Uh, welcome back here. One, remind you to call in at one eight seven 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 auction. There was some five-ish with a little uh, comedy to, uh, I guess, break the tension. One eight seven 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 auction. Let's talk a little bit. We have uh, Reb Nachman Caller and Reb Ezra Friedlander on, on the on the line. Reb Nachman Caller here in the studio. Uh, obviously, when it comes to the elections within the Jewish community, one of the first things that everybody wants to talk about is uh, Israel and how the candidate will affect um, Israel. So I'll start with Rev, uh, Rev Nachman. Um, how do you explain or understand Donald Trump's comment that he will be neutral between Israel and the Palestinians? Something that bothers, I think, a lot of people within the Jewish community. Let me just uh, make a little comment. Uh, 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 who was that? Uh, predicted the Chesveris to win. And we know the MW Purim party. We have the other parts to the party we have. Uh, the, the, uh, we have the Queen Esther already in the house. Of course, we have Ivanka Trump. She's a Jewess, and she's sitting in the kingdom, so she'll be there. By the way, everybody should know what her Hebrew name is. Her Hebrew name is Yael, but uh, Yael is a big figure in, uh, in uh, Jewish history. The, she, def she defeated the king of Sisera, and, they, and the Nevi'im, uh, Devorah said, Tavarich Menoshem, Yael, Eshoshkei Be'kainet, Tavarich Menoshem, that she's bigger than the Mars. So hopefully, we get the first part. Because Rock is doing something which is extraordinary. I mean, just go with the facts. It's never in the life. Okay, let's get back to Israel with the explanation what uh, neutral means. Uh, there's no question in the world that uh, Donald Trump and his family loves Israel. Uh, they said that in, in 2014. In 2004, he said uh, you know, that uh, he was a grand marshal. So he loves them. He, he works with even his... Uh, his, uh, I guess J Jason Greenblatt is very close to him. He's, he said that he's going to be his Israeli thing. What he means in neutral is, I mean, he's a deal maker. He's dreaming, and he, I should help him. He should, he should do it. He's going to make peace in the Middle East. The first thing you got to say is, I'm neutral. Neutral means he's fair. That's all he means. He's fair. There's no way in the world he will let Israel down. He'll give them the weapons they need to support him in the in any forum. He will not pressure. Not like Obama would just pressure or or Hillary on the other thing. She was. Uh, she was a tool of Obama, and she pressured, uh, she kept on pressuring to not be honest. So he, won't, he, will, he will not do that, so we don't have to worry. And what he will do for Israel is the be best thing in the world. I mean, what does Israel need? Israel doesn't need any arms from the United States. They can send arms to the United States. That's no problem. They need the pressure off. They need ISIS away. As soon as he takes over, I think we will see the end of ISIS. Well, uh, Reb Ezra, what are your thoughts on that, both on uh, Donald Trump's uh, commitment to the state of Israel as well as uh, uh, Hillary Clinton's, um, which a lot of people are saying she's an extension of the Obama administration that has clearly moved away uh, and the relations between Israel and the United States have deteriorated under Obama. People view Hillary as an extension of that. What are your thoughts both of Mr. Trump and uh, uh, Hillary's uh, positions as it would be regard to Israel? Well, first let me let me respond to, to what Rev. Nachman just, uh, just stated. Uh, Israel does require the, uh, the defense uh, cooperation with the United States. So that, that statement is totally false. As a matter of fact, Israel is now negotiating with the United States to uh, on another um, uh, memorandum of understanding, the 10-year uh, agreement. 
Uh, the United States uh, Senate just included $600 million in the defense appropriations bill. Uh, hopefully, God willing, that will be passed by the full Senate. So Israel very much depends on the United States. That's just a fact. Now, in terms of Donald Trump's uh, commitment to, to the security of the state of Israel, he has no track record. I mean, that's it's simply childish to even allude to, you know, marching in a, as a grand marshal in a parade. I mean, that's it's ridiculous. Donald Trump doesn't have a track record. Doesn't have a, uh, a history of working with the pro-Israel community. So there is not there's nothing to judge him. That statement that he made is just indicative that he doesn't understand U.S. foreign policy. Uh, he's clueless. Uh, it's rather insulting that someone who is a serious candidate and is now the Republican nominee never took the time to actually read up. Now, in terms of uh, his Israel advisor, I did meet Mr. Greenblatt. He is, comes across as a very good, sincere person. But again, I, I don't know... He's a real estate lawyer. He advises him on real estate transactions. What, does, what qualifications does he have? I don't know. I mean, he may have, he may not have, but he works for the man. So obviously, he's, 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 he's a, again, it, it, it's really, it, we, have, we have no idea how Donald Trump will be on U.S.-Israel relations. Now, every president, every candidate running for office tells you that they will be pro-Israel, and the security in the state of, of the state of Israel is in the U.S. national interest. Some have better relations. Some don't have such good relations. Obviously, President Obama uh, does have a, uh, uh, a uh, history with, with Netanyahu. They don't get along. They don't see eye to eye. We're not getting into that whole discussion. Whether Hillary Clinton uh, uh, will have a good relationship with the state of Israel, we don't know. I personally feel that she knows the history. She was a, uh, let, let me put it to you this way. There hasn't been a candidate for, for the presidency that has the unique experience set of qualifications. That's what I call it. Someone who has had a front row seat, uh, eight years as, as first lady, eight years as a U.S. senator, and four years as secretary of state. Now, we all know that the Clinton and the Obama administration made mistakes. Every administration makes mistakes. They all walk in with blazing guns. Then they realize that the sobering facts that are on the table. Should Hillary Clinton be able to learn from the mistakes of the administrations that she was privy to, she could actually end up being a pretty good president. So... I believe that she understands what national security needs are of the United States. Right. Now you don't you don't sound you don't sound uh, it's, uh, you know you don't sound so. I, are you supporting Hillary because you believe that Hillary will be the next uh, will be a good president, or are you more concerned about Donald Trump being president, and therefore you feel that Hillary, Hillary is a better option? Uh, Hillary is a better option. Look. It's very clear that, you know, Hillary has many flaws. Look, that, that, the facts are what they are. But there is, there is no question that if I have a choice between Hillary Clinton and Donald Trump, I will vote for Hillary Clinton. There's no, there's no, there's, there's no choice. Look, uh, uh, I, w I brought John Kasich into, into Borough Park. I welcomed him. I took him around. I would have preferred that he would be our next president. I just feel that we don't understand the significance of a, the potential damage to the United States that a Trump presidency would bring. He Re is a wild card. Re Rev. Khaled, do you have any, any I mean, I, uh, you know, there are a lot of, I guess, cons concerns people have about Donald Trump. You seem to be very comfortable with it. Uh, do you have any reservations? I think what Rev. Freelander is saying, he's looking at the choice he has. He's more concerned about uh, Donald Trump brings to the table, and therefore he feels that Hillary's the better option. Are you, I guess, the same question to you. Do you, feel, uh, do you have any reservations, any concerns about uh, what Donald Trump would be uh, like as president? Well, let's start. I would say never Hillary with that phrase, but let's go back. I do feel Donald Trump came from no place. He's not a politician, and he doesn't know how to deal with it. What he's saying is off the cuff. I agree with it. He's saying 
silly things. You think it'll be like that as president? No, 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 not as president. I think that what, what's happening is Paul Ryan has criticized him. He will get criticism from his own party, and hopefully he'll get a campaign campaign that's uh, sophisticated. He doesn't have one now. He doesn't react to you know anti-Semitism calls. I hope that within the next month or two, you'll see a new uh, Donald Trump that even Ezra will be able to work for. Uh, um, I mean, I don't, I don't know. What does it mean, a new Donald Trump? Do you know what it means that you have a candidate for president of the United States that refused and that acted dumb? He said, I have a faulty earpiece. Ku Klux Klan, KKK, I have no idea what you're talking about. Where is the outrage? Where is the outrage? His supporters have managed to engage in, 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 in behavior that is reminiscent of, of, of uh, the worst kind of intimidation uh, uh, that, that has no place in the United States of America. And okay. we, we, yeah. we've, seen, we've, we've seen this time and time again, and we understand why Donald Trump is egging them on, because that's the source of his support. So I'm not going to call Donald Trump an anti-Semite. No, I won't do that, because I'm sure he's not an anti-Semite. But he understands very, very clearly what he's doing. He's, and he's a very shrewd person. He taps right. into a reservoir of anger and an animosity, and he's bringing that to the surface to, fur to, to further his candidacy. And he did that very effectively. Look, he's now the Republican nominee. You know, Ezra, do you think when he says these extremist uh, statements that he actually means what he says? Or he's just doing showmanship and things of that nature? I think partially he, he agrees and partially he doesn't. Uh, there is some, look, uh, he, he, it's showmanship to a point, but uh, he is not someone who clearly understands the role of the United States. I mean, he talks about the, the, the leader of the free world, and how the world laughs at us. He doesn't understand NATO. He, he has no clue about how to conduct U.S. foreign policy. I so, mean, you see, you see the reaction to the war of world leaders. They, they're flabbergasted. They cannot understand how the Republican Party has as its nominee someone who's a TV talk show, I mean, and a semi-successful real estate developer. Yes, he's a genius at branding and marketing, so maybe he should become the chief branding officer of the United States. But just for him to be commander in chief, it's okay. scary. Okay, I want to give Rebez. I, I want to give Rabbi Collar some time to respond. But before we do that, I got to tell you that they're starting to crank up the computer that tabulates all the URA entries, all the auction entries, uh, before we start drawing. And I'm advising you. I'm watching the screens now, and I'm, I'm advising you to pick up the phone and get in, even if you donated already. There's $300,000 worth of prizes that we're going to be giving out tonight. And if you are sitting on the fence and you're a procrastinator by nature and you're not sure if you should donate or not, I'm advising you, pick up the phone, 8777-AUCTION, 8777-AUCTION. Some say that if you put in the uh, raffles a little later, that maybe your stuff will, uh, will, will, will be at the top. We are giving 300 thousand dollars worth of prizes and don't you want to be on one of the uh one of the, the the viral phone calls that go around monday morning with us calling you um that you have won so eight seven 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 auction i see people are starting to call we like to hear that get in while you can and now for final thoughts um, um rabbi collar take it away for some final thoughts you got the ear to hundreds of thousands of people take it away Okay, I have no reservations of supporting Donald Trump. I think we go back to the Reagan Carter years. I, I guess when Reagan was running, everybody thought he was an actor. He had, not, he had nothing to give. And when he came to the presidential debate, he actually defeated uh, Carter. It's the same thing with uh, Donald. It, it doesn't make a difference. You, don't, you know, you're executive. You don't have to know everything. You have to have the gut feeling what the United States is all about. It's we're the leader of the world. We have to protect freedom. We have to fight the Muslims. Of course, as long as, he, as long as he does that, that's all we need. Everything will fall into place. Thank you very much, Rick Collar. Well, let, let, let me just uh, make a closing statement. Ronald Reagan was governor of the largest state before he was elected president. So I don't think you could compare Donald Trump to a Ronald Reagan. 
Uh, look, it's a uh, it's an election year. Everyone is very passionate about their candidate. I would urge everyone to, if you're if you're considering voting for Donald Trump, think very very carefully what the ramifications would be. If you're uncomfortable voting for Hillary Clinton, fine. Stay home or write in a third-party candidate. That's, that's your right as a citizen. But voting for Donald Trump is not an option. Thank you and good luck. And everyone, please support URA. Thank, Thank you. you very much, Thank Robert you. Freelander. Thank you very much, Thank Robert Collar, for some very, very interesting points. Hopefully, uh, this, will, this uh, kind of uh, conversation will continue ongoing as this is a very uh, crucial and critical election for the Jewish community. Of course, keeping in mind that ultimately, Lev Malachim Vesorim, Biyad Hashem. Also want to remind everyone that uh, this is not an endorsement by URA or any of the uh, hosts of this program of either presidential candidate. And now I think we have another CM coming up. Isn't, is that correct? How many CMs? Yes, we you. have a lot of CM. We, we do have another CM. And while we're getting to the CM, 877 auction, 877 auction. Thank you for those that listened to me before and actually started calling. I see the phone lines are lighting up. This week, Klai Yisrael, many members of Klai Yisrael who learned Daf Yoimi, they celebrated a tremendous simcha. They finished the entire Seder Nashim. Tonight, we have a much smaller siyam. However, I think it is an equal accomplishment. You see, Greg and his wife, Robin, have been on a tremendous journey over these last couple of years. They've grown so much, and we are so proud of them. And they have used the lessons of Pirkei Avais and put them into place. It is a Lilmoid Almanas Lassois, and it is something which we can all learn from. It is my great pleasure to introduce Greg to tell us a little bit about his learning with Rabbi Aretz. Thank you, Rabbi. I discovered Ura through my son's uh, yeshiva, Shalom Torah Academy in, in Morganville. Uh, they suggested we contact Ura, talk to them about some scholarship, and Ura said, let's talk about learning. So they introduced us to Torah mates. Um, currently, I have two Torah mates, Rabbi Ura is at Mammoth Torah Links, and my friend Scott Tal, two brilliant men. And when we study, we don't just read and turn a page. We drill deep into the books. With Rabbi Oritz, I finished Bruchos uh, some time ago, and we just finished uh, Perkei Avos not more than one or two weeks ago. And yeah. with Thank you. It's amazing studying with Rabbi Oritz. We don't just turn a page, as I said. And when we got to chapter six of Perkei Avos, we actually spent 45 minutes discussing the meaning of one word on the page. It was, it was very intense. My friend Scott Tal and I bonded on a four hour drive to the Ura men's retreat uh, up in the uh, Catskill somewhere. Uh, it was a nice drive, and we study. We're studying uh, sukkah. Uh, we just finished a small seum for uh, in the merit of our friend's uh, mother who had just passed away. So the studying for us is just a way to to talk about Judaism and bring the Gemara and the Talmud and the Torah into the 21st century. Three years ago, I hardly knew what the Torah was. Today, I have some idea what the Gomorrah is. I have a long way to go. There are a lot of books, but I'm very happy to be studying with my Torah mates. Thank you. Well, I really didn't plan on saying anything, but I want to wish a mazel tov to my husband and all his learning, and I as well do a lot of learning. And thanks to Ura and Torah Mates and their scholarship program, which is a wonderful program, is allowing my son to have a wonderful Jewish education. And he's going on to high school yeshiva in September at Meor. And, and Ura, again, is making that possible for him. So I just want to thank you, and thank you for the wonderful learning we do. 
Today we said in B'chukaisai Telechu that we should toil in Torah. 45 minutes on one word. That is something to celebrate. Let us all celebrate together this Simcha. We will be celebrating here and you should celebrate at home together with us with the Pumpadisa Band. in the background, we will uh, read you some of the names of the people who've donated $100 or more. Well, we have a whole stack of them here, so as the band plays in the background, we remind you to call 1-877-7-AUCTION, 1-877-7-AUCTION, or online at ura.org. Get in while you can. Mr. Yankee Abramson, Rabbi Mrs. Aaron Aush, Sivya Bilus, Dove Blau, Abigail Brog, Yonason Charnas, Binyamin Chesney, Pesach Eli Daum, Matis Yehudir, Mr. Dovidal and Brindy Demitzer, $360. Yasher Koach, you're the best. Mr. Aaron Gold, Rabbi Moshe Heimowitz, Rabbi Mrs. Moshe Hyman, Mrs. Miriam Horowitz, Maishi Jacobs, Mr. Joseph Kazaranovsky, Rabbi Joshua Lintz, Miss Malki Mintz, $250. Mr. And Mrs. Jason Mizrahi, $100. Rabbi Mrs. Usher Moskowitz, $100. Mr. E. Plummer, Mr. Henny, Miss Henny Ritterman, Mr. Mordechai Samuel, Mr. And Mrs. Yitzchak Saposh, Rabbi and Mrs. Mordechai Schiller, Rabbi and Mrs. Aaron Schwartz, all over $100. Mr. Panina Silberman, Mr. Panina Silberman, interesting. Rabbi and Mrs. Shmuel Simha, Mr. Yitzhak Soche, Mr. and Mrs. Levi Steger, Rabbi and Mrs. Shmuel Greenis, Rabbi and Mrs. Shia Weinfeld, Mr. and Mrs. Mordechai Weiss, Nehemia Weiss, Joel Wurzberger, Nissen Beckerman, Mark Breiner, Levi Danziger, Gitti Gertz, Yaakov Goldberg, Kerry Grunbaum, Sarah Kaufman, Yidel Klein, S. Krohn, the Sorrel Maya Leader, Benjamin Lehman, Joseph Legitman, Nina Lieberman, all over $100. Yossi Lowinger, Yehuda Margolis, Dina Mendelwitz, call now, 1-877-7-AUCTION, 1-877-7-AUCTION. Yossi Mizrahi, Rifki Oppenheim, Chaim Pachtman, Aviva Pluchuk, in honor of Rabbi Shua Weinstein, for, from the 
Pluchuk, Weinstein, Mendel families, Nechama, Rellis, Henny, Ritterman, Necha, Rosenberg, Elio Rothkopf, Mordechai Schiller, Yuda Schwartz, Moshe Sokoloff, Moshe Steinhardt, Chaim Wadichi, Shlomo Wichenkoffel, Mordechai Zekutunsky, Shlomo Weitz, Mayor Zolti, Simcha Goldenberg, Jonasen Goldfinger, 1877, 7 Auction, 1877, 7 Auction, Eliyahu Goldstein, Uncle Dan, Moshe Gottesman, Yaakov Greenwald, Yeshua Greenwald, Yossi Gross, Shlomo Hammer, Joel Hockman, Aaron Hamnick, Aaron Koff, Yvonne Kale, and Rabbi Ian Khalifan all gave over $100. Mr. and Mrs. Daniel Kiss, Mayor Klein, Yechiel Klein, Betzal Lambert, Naftali Landau, one 877 7 auction 1877 7 auction or online at ura.org Yehuda Letterfine Yossi Levitin Zalman March Rachel Mark Mordechai Mayer Merrill Goldstein Jonathan Myers Samuel Monderer Robert Friedman Nachum Futuristak <coughs> Matis Gluck Hershey Grunfeld David Halpern Malki Jacobus Chapsi Kenig Mordechai Klarbarg Svi Kohn, Yossi Lesser, Leia Levine, Yaakov Moseson, Rachel Newhouse, Pinchas Rosenbaum, Lima Rosenberg, Shlo Shlo Shalom Sassoon, Herschel Scher, Chaim Shoup, David Silverman, Mayor Unger, Shmuel Walken, Menachem Weissman, Yeruchem Yablonsky, Menachem Bosch, Aaron Blugenheyer, Aaron Blyer, Sarah Erkus, Shmuel Fischler, Meira Fortininsky, Yehuda Friedland. Mr. David Bender, Lakewood, $250. Mr. and Mrs. Nathan Berger, Lakewood, $100. Mr. Yosef Edeltuch, $100. Mrs. Kayla Glantz, $120. Mr. and Mrs. Avram Greenberg, $100. Mrs. S.T. Hefster, thank you. Pikesville, Maryland, $165. Mr. Michael Herzog, $250. We have a Mrs. Chaim Zev Katz, Lakewood, $100. We have a Mrs. Mrs. Dina Kainam. $100, Mr. and Mrs. Mizrahi, Tzvi Newman, Rabbi Mrs. Chaim Paneth, Mr. Tzvi Platt, all gave $100, Mr. Joseph Schechter, $100, Mr. Ms. Avi Rosengard, $175, Rabbi Mr. David Sukanik, $125, Rabbi Mr. Yossi Teichman, Lakewood, $100, Mr. Yechiel Wilomowski, Lakewood, $100, Miss EZ, Lakewood, $130, Mrs. Amelia Vidavov, uh, Brooklyn, $100, Mr. Don Zalewski, $75, Mr. Sarzada, $100, Mr. Mr. Avram Zoberman, Brooklyn, $85, and now back to the music. <laughs> Mrs. Shalom Bressler, 18777 auction, 18777 auction, ura.org, Yonatan Coleman, David Goldenberg, Ora Grady, Mayor Grossinger, Yossi Kass, Yoel Cohn, Moshe Lipschitz, Yitzi Naisov, Moshe Chaim Palak, Mordechai Retek, Ephraim Shur, and Ani of Benny Benelo, and his engagement to Yaakov Mendelssohn. What? <laughs> I don't know what. Ellie Schwab, Shlom Shapiro, Esti, Esther Singer, Lawrence Spitz, Mendel Greenwald, Thomas Grimaldi, Ellie Hirsch, Here's Matthew this. Hoffman, Kep Benzion Kaplitsky, Nathan Klein, David Kresh, Dove Kurlander, Nadine Kuttner, Leia Landau, Caroline Liff, Goldie Link, Fagi Loria, Jakob Shimshin March, Shmuel Mushler, Shmuel Newman, Mayor Nissen, Moishi Polotnik, Shulam Reichenberg, Naftali Rosenberg, Chaya Rubin, Akiva Schoenfeld, Simon Schwartz, Yisrael Shapiro, Chaya Shulman, Sarah Siegel, Mayor Spira, Michal Stavsky, um, Pessy Abramson, Moshe, A Moshe 
Abers, Joseph Atlas, Penny Bergstein, Yankee Bochart, Menachem Bressler, and Rabbi and Mrs. Chaim Brisman from Lakewood, New Jersey, $250. Oh, this is it? Yep. Let's just talk about this one. On 570 WMCA New York, 1079 WMDI Lakewood, and our flagship station 770 WABC New York. Also broadcasting live at URA.org, your most trusted source for auction coverage everywhere. Welcome to URA's 2016 auction, home of 50 awesome prizes. For the complete prize list, go to URA.org, only $5 each. 6K MasterCard, lifetime tickets, classic jewels, grocery giveaway, 5 issue cash cam release, week at the Waldorf, it's a jewel, fine furniture, heat for speed, lifetime, and mega bucks. one 877 Call now, only $5 each. Set to impress, it's a Dini, family vacation, shots from Gelder Schmuck, $36,000, your wheels, therapy, savings fund, Eric's and Strauss, save entire dental gear, debt free. Order online at URA.org. Only $5 a surprise! Shopping spree, Art School Library, Big Fat Check, Pick Your Pet, Toyota, Sienna, it's a Jacqueline, a week in the zone, prices, product of filler up, fibers, checkbook, diamond necklace, two auctions. Call now, only $5 each! Clothing, vacation anywhere, rent and mortgage shop, New York supermarket, insurance, circus in Israel, visa gift card, travel and tax, sterling silver, renovate your home, it's a kinky jackpot! Order online at Earth.org. Only $5 a surprise! One eight seven 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 auction. Call now, only five dollars each. One eight seven 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 auction. So call now, one eight seven 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 auction. For a full description of prizes, go to ura.org. One eight seven 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 auction. One eight seven 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 auction. The following hour is brought to you by Ura's Holiday Retreats Division, a rejuvenation for the body and soul, a yunt of experience for the family. The Zone, so much more than just a camp. Ask the Rabbi Live, where no question goes unanswered. And uh, good to welcome and welcome back to the Ura 2016 auction. We have one half hour left. That's right, ladies and gentlemen, one half hour left to get in your auction tickets. So don't hesitate. If you've been waiting, now's the time to pick up the phone and call one 877 auction or online at URA.org. In the meantime, as we do our final auction push, we have here with us in the URA auction booth uh, a very noted uh, and esteemed uh, Rabbi Yisrael, a.k.a. Freddy, a.k.a. Freddy the Fred, a.k.a. Shadchan Freddy Friedman. Uh, he is a Shadchan that has made hundreds of Shaduchim, and uh, we called him up a few minutes ago and asked him if he would join us on the year. Literally. Literally a few minutes ago. And he was only, uh, he came running. <laughs> so, uh, so we're really happy to have him you, here you, with us. You did have to ask me twice. I did. I did. Yeah. I did. Because there was a bad connection on the cell phone. <laughs> yeah. So it's really exciting. And I think, you know, one of the things, as I was talking with Rabbi Kravitz before and Rabbi Mintz, and everybody was really talking about this. And that is that, you know, as a shatchan, I think... You know, the shidduch, the shidduchness of things is where kind of every issue facing the Jewish community kind of intersects, whether it's parnasa, whether it's, um, whether it's, you know, being at risk or not, whether it's um, education, you know, what yeshiva you went to. I feel like as a shatchan, that kind of gives you a really unique kind of perspective on that. And that's, I think, we felt it was so important to have you here tonight to discuss some of those that's issues. That's why you called me 10 minutes ago. Yes, yes, we just had this, this, uh, this brainstorm recently. I feel like this is a really important slot here at 2.15 in the morning. Well, this is actually right mm -hmm. before, actually, people don't believe this, but this is when we have our highest uh, listenership. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah because okay. it's Matzah sure. Shabbos, you know, everybody's kind of done, you know, having a little Malko, working out, doing their things, you know, and now they're kind of cuddling up in bed, you know, under the covers. You know, listening and to the to or radio talks, and they have to, yeah, yeah. Uh, so, how, so first of all, I guess you know we we did the shidduch thing for the last couple of years. We talked about shidduchim. <laughs> uh, we had you here. We had Rabbi Tzadik Binyamin here with us. Uh, Moshe Pargro was here. Give us, I, I guess, just a wish quick. Tzadik was here to make me look good. <laughs> he always does. <laughs> uh, so, so, give us kind of a what's the state of the, the state of the shidduchim? How are things going? Have we solved the shidduch crisis, so, or uh, not yet? I don't think we've solved it quite yet, but I do think that we've made tremendous inroads. Mm -hmm. 
And I give a lot of credit to Maji Pagro at NASI for moving this uh, fourth year initiative, which is uh, amazing. Getting guys to date younger. If you're out there listening right now, which I'm sure you are, especially the people in Israel, who it's like nine o'clock in the morning right now, you should probably be thinking about perhaps starting to date if you're in fourth year. And uh, I think that the entire uh, mindset of dating early has suddenly come into the picture. People are starting to listen. You know, when you go, used to be you left uh, Rabbi Azban Shir like in fourth year Pesach and then you went there to Israel and it took you a year or nine months to get into Avram Yeshua Shir and then you, you know, it took you another year to get into the room that you were Zitz and Dreisen and now you're Zitz and Inside and then like in seventh year Beis Medrash you started contemplating but then you went into the freezer for six months so, like, the average start time was, like, 24 and a half. Now, I really believe that there are boys that are really seriously interested in dating at 21 years old. I think it's a beautiful thing. And uh, I encourage everybody to try to speak to their people because we're closing an age gap and we're making a big difference over here. So you believe the needle has been moved to younger younger guys willing to date older girls and the like, and, and, and that's incredible. That, 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 that's something. That. But the fact that it's not spoken about or that it, it, there is still... An issue. It hasn't it's been solved. No. It, it hasn't been solved, and, and no. uh, we need the good works of you and Sadek and Pagro and everybody else and Eshes Lapidus and all these, all these programs yes. to continue working on this. Avram's wife works in Eshes Lapidus. She does, really? that Excellent. she does, yes. yes. That's a nice little yeah. plug you gave there. That's correct. Yeah, great. Yeah. So, so you, feel, you feel like what I'm getting here is that uh, not necessarily has the crisis been solved, but there has been a legitimate kind of shift in mindset at least which may have not yet translated into the results we want, but hopefully Bezos Hashem Yisbarach will. 8777 auction, 8777 auction. We have about 30 minutes left to, for you to get your uh, uh, prizes in and $300,000 worth, $300,000 worth, worth of prizes here. And uh, I think Freddie's having an earpiece malfunction a la Donald Trump as we speak. Uh, but um, you got to call in, and I'm imploring you to pick up the phone and call in right now. 8777 auction, Freddie, any plugs for the URA auction? Any plugs getting people to call? If you look right across here, we have this. I just say this much. I just spent a week in the Waldorf, and boy, oh, boy, I would put in for that prize again. Because my bill was like 57. Do you guys cover uh, in-room incidentals as well? <laughs> Because it's I, a, it's uh, my goal is fifty-seven hundred dollars, and I had like three things from the mini bar. It's all first of all, it's all in the fine print. It's all in the fine print on the bottom of that uh, of that of that uh, that that ticket of that prize. But but uh, in truth, in truth, um, talking about the Waldorf or talking about uh, things of that nature, uh, we Achana, we we spoke about to maybe have like an ask the the Freddie segment. No, so people actually as as soon as they heard that we were coming, so people started sending in uh, uh, questions that we would ask Freddie. We called it the Ask Freddie segment, and people started asking a lot of questions. So I have some some questions over here. This one is is from uh, Sara in Staten Island. She says, <clears throat> "Dear Rabbi Freddie." Thank you so much for all the work you do on behalf of Klal Yisrael. You're so wonderful. You give so much chizik, et cetera, et cetera, yada, yada, yada. Um, what do you think the top ten news stories of, have been in the Jewish world since last year's Ura auction? Good question. What do you Great think the, the top ten, and anybody is free to uh, kind of chime in and, and WhatsApp Freddy uh, as we speak. But uh, what do you think the top ten news stories would be? In, this in is a should have related question. <laughs> yeah, well, I, like I said, I think we feel that as a Shatran, you have a, a unique kind of perspective on the news. Well, well, well Freddie, you, I think part of the, the question is, there's a shift in culture. You've been seen by a lot of different um, interesting venues over the last year. <laughs> have I? <laughs> yeah, you have. And okay. with, with the advent and, and the, 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 po the, the popularity of WhatsApp, seriously, um, there are people that seem to be interested. I know you for a long time. Um, I'm not that interested, but there are people that are very interested, and they want to hear... You can come out and say that you're interested, too. Right? No, no I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm not. I'm not. I mean, uh, maybe. Yeah. But, but, but top ten, someone asks this question. They want to hear your insight. In your, walks, in your, in your work, what do you think the top ten... Um, um, top, get a top ten list. What do you think it is? And we could discuss it, obviously, and debate it. And, and, and I, I think I think one of the big uh, the big big news stories uh, is definitely 
the speech. I'll call it the speech. Definitely the, the speech. speech. Yeah, definitely. Uh, the, uh, just the speech. The speech. The speech. Yeah. And we're assuming we're not, that, we're, we're, not we're, we're assuming that everybody knows what that means. I think there's still like three or four people out there that might not know, so maybe you should clarify. And no, uh, I just I think we'll just leave it as as the speech. And, is there uh, any is there any behind the scenes you can give us um, on this speech on the speech, the the impetus the 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 push the the, the speech uh, behind the scenes? I mean, everything that was in the speech was pretty much right out there in the front. There was nothing behind the scenes. I mean, everything that was uh, on his mind was clearly stated, and nothing was left out. But I do think that the impact was tremendous, and I think that uh, at the end of the day, I think right now every single girl in Lakewood has received an acceptance letter. And I think seriously that deserves a standing round of applause. I really yeah. mean that. I really mean that. Because, because you talk about a monumental shift, that's a monumental shift that people promised will never happen, and we heard examples of parking in, park, <laughs> parking, down. parking in. Down, we, we heard things about yeah. parking and borrow park and things like that, and yeah. he said it would never yeah. happen. And uh, I, I agree, the speech, you know. The, the speech was very, 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 very big at one eight seven 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 auction one eight seven 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 auction uh, also online at ura.org, one eight seven 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 auction Please call in. We're closing down the phones in around 20 minutes. So you really want to call in now you know, and make you know your selection. another big news story? What's that? Is Rabbi Ozeri's initiative. Rebbe Fund. Rebbe Fund initiative. The Rebbe oh, could, Fund. So explain a little bit about that was. That he got story. up at uh, the Aguda Convention and then again at the Torah Mosaira Convention. And, and at the Chavetz Chaim Heritage Foundation. The Chavetz Chaim Heritage Foundation. And There's then at the Chaim Dinner. And at the Pesach. <laughs> w at the Pesach. W in the Florida. And uh, he pushed this initiative to give Rebbe raises. And I think... It's working in like at least two schools already. Someone just told me, or maybe three schools. But I, I think there's a definitely a mindset shift. What, what would you say, Elhani? Uh, I, I definitely think so. I'm not so familiar, honestly, with the, uh, with the, uh, with this initiative. Uh, it seems like it's a good idea. I know there's, you know, there is kind of an issue with whether or not I just did it. Seriously, one eight seven 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 auction. One eight seven 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 auction. Ura.org. They really, you know, they want us to keep kind of, we, we, we need people to keep calling in. And, and obviously that's the point of this evening keep over here. Money. To, give, to give the, to make the donations so that they can win a prize. To, like, a, like a week in the Waldorf, which is, as he said, is such, a, such an amazing uh, prize. So we have so far the speech, Rabbi Ozeri's uh, 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 tuition, um, salary. Uh, initiative. What else would be a, a big story uh, in the last you, year? You, you tell me. You got. You got to have some good ones. Oh well. <laughs> well, the Chavetz Chaim video. Did that come out in the last year? I think I so. I think that came out. And right. I, I don't know what Chaim that video. changed, but that's I'll a big news story. Yeah. I'll tell you what it changed because at every dinner, the guest of honor now gets a picture a still of that video. Mm -hmm. You're probably getting one tomorrow. Freddie actually is being honored tomorrow. Really? By one of the elite uh, uh, institutions. <laughs> And, and, RJJ, my home, Edison, and I would assume you should leave a space on the mantle. And the ad deadline for that is also still... <laughs> That's uh, on Monday. Uh, oh. <laughs> you could still call in your ads for that. one eight seven seven edison Seven auction. Edison. Oh, seven auction. You can give them your ads for Edison. How about Rechnitz ordering falafel without hummus? Yes, that was a big, a big story, story. And it made a big impact on people. And I think, uh, you know... And, and then there, much talked about, and then the story was then reneged, and it turned out it was the wrong. He, he actually it. made it. He made it. Uh -huh. in, he, he's in, in a couple of the big stories uh, of the last uh, 12 months. You know, ordering the, the the meals for the soldiers. Yes. The possibility of maybe someone who worked for him winning the Powerball. Yeah, well, that was, turned out to be not true. It, is that not true? Because no one's claimed the ticket yet in California. So. I have. I don't know. No I've been, comment. <laughs> <laughs> so, so that plus plus obviously the speech and and other and other things. So he's he's, he's really he's been doing uh, he's been doing a lot of good things. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so we have so we have that. Uh, what the else? The Tira of Ravelsky. The also, also related to uh, also related a huge, to, to a huge to news Slumira. story. Correct. Correct. Obviously, a big story, more of a, a sad story, yes. actually. Yes. So, so I got a question, not necessarily pertaining to him, and it seems like some of the list actually pertains to him. But as a shachin, you see this more than anybody else. By the way, eight seven 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 auction eight seven seven. 
7 auction, we have phone lines available <laughs> to you can pick up the phone and donate to Ura as as uh, Freddie Freddie as a shatchan how do how do we deal with this issue on the fixation of money there, there, there seems to be some fixation on the people that have money, where they go, whether it's, it's to sporting events, uh, the Super Bowl, or where they stay. I hate guys like that. <laughs> yeah, what's with the fixation of money, and how's that, how do we... Is that a problem? I mean, you see it a lot. It's obviously a, a, a relevant in Shadduchim as well, kind of this kind of very big emphasis on that, you know, uh, and, and, and how, how much of an issue do you think that is, if at all? I think people were always fixated on money. Not I in mean, Cleveland, though. <laughs> say, like, you know, not in Chicago, like, right? Yeah, out of town, it was not a... No, but I, I think people were always fascinated by money, and I think people were always fixated by money. And, and to answer your question as far as in, in relating to Shaduchim, uh, people with money have always, you know, somehow been prioritized, whatever you want to say. And whether that's our fault or that's, uh, you know, society as a whole's fault... Um, the, the bottom line is this. I think it really depends on where we put our focus on, you know? If, if, if you as a parent are fascinated by who went to the Super Bowl or who's in Lagbeimer in the Waldorf or who is, uh, you know, go, flying private to Chesterfield, then ultimately <laughs> that's what your children are going to be focusing on, not just in life but also in who they want to get married to. They're going to want to be that. And, there are many, many people out there that have no focus on that whatsoever, and they're not fascinated by money, and they, their priorities are much more so in who is a solid Ventura or a solid human being or just a, a great person. And, uh, you know, I don't, I don't blame WhatsApp. I know people have been blaming WhatsApp for all this sort of paparazzi and, you know, anybody, any, any, anywhere you go now, you know, you, get, you take a picture of it, it boom. But ultimately, you have to prioritize yourself. And I say you, Ochanan and Avram, uh, what you're, what, what you're going to give over to your children as what the real importance are. And, 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 that's, the, and that's the bottom line. People with money uh, will always, you know, there will always be that fascination. But we got to, you know, try to keep it. I don't see why you are not a panelist on the Chinuch round table on the Yad That right, is very be. well. well. I've always been known to be a Machanach, so. Uh, uh -huh. that's what they say the website is closing in five minutes, and that so means in Ura. five minutes. So Ura.org. So go on the website right now at Ura.org to make your donation. We will be giving away $300,000 worth of prizes. One of them includes a, uh, that includes a, uh, a week in the Waldorf, where, as Freddie could tell you, uh, that's a that's a wonderful uh, wonderful experience. Uh, another prize is a as a lease of a Toyota Camry. We have a bunch of uh, sheitlach that we're giving away. Uh, we have uh, furniture, leichters. How about the shachin gelt? I want to read you this oh, prize. Oh, interesting. Freddie, tell me what you think. Shachin gelt. Brace yourself. What number is that one? That is number sixteen. Brace yourself for those long-awaited phone calls with shachanim, neighbors, and friends. Find out if you've got $25,000 to spend on Shadchanis if they make a Shadchan in the coming year. Prize can be designated to a single of your choice, be it a relative, friend, or yourself. And then they have a screen grab of your, of, of, of your uh, WhatsApp where it says, Freddie F., why can't I get a hold of you? But, that, but that's me saying, why can't I get a hold of the person? That's correct. Yes, correct. That's correct. That's because okay. it's a, so $25,000 to spend on Shadchanis. So that means if someone... Uh, if someone makes a, shat, a shidduch, that shadfin would get $25,000. We're going to... Donate 18 of the 25 to Ura. Well, there is a, uh, there is a luxury tax, a Ura luxury tax, <laughs> yeah. as well as... But we're going to give you... The so who would you say, like, for 25 grand, that's like a Lewis State well, kind of, well, like... You get 25, Sadek, in, Sadek, in, Sadek in, would do it for, in, for 25. In card cash uh, and cucumber cards, or do I actually get it real... Uh, 25,000, I believe it's... Uh, these are all... These prizes are legit. We've had people... I, mean, I know people yeah, that have won. this is not a prize for the person. This is really a prize for the shot. Well, the, the, the person gets a shit up. Yeah, but the person's trying to attract your attention. You are busy with a whole cloud you saw. Clearly, you see from the Chinna questions that Freddie has become a, a person, not just in Shadduchim. So the $25,000 is for you to focus. But let's call. If you'd like Freddie to read you a Shadduch, please call 877-AUCTION or ur.org and pick prize number 16. And we're going to uh, we're gonna start tabulating how many prize 16s have been called 
from 2 to 9 in the morning. I wonder how many Lishma got called. Um, out, I, I know that I'm a big Lishma guy. And uh, that's something that, something that I put in for. You know, some of the people you were talking about before, the people that don't want all these kind of extra things. You know, they don't want a week in the Waldorf. They don't want a Toyota Camry. They don't want Shaduchim. You know, they just want stuff. So they, they, but they also want to donate to Ura, so they feel more comfortable giving for Lishma. Well, I'm going to give, and there's no chance of me getting anything back. How about 3500 <laughs> for therapy? Yeah, I'm looking at that, I too. I would have switched this around and done 25000 for therapy and 3500 for therapy. I would, I actually would very much appreciate <laughs> yeah. that. Dude, I would appreciate that. Dude, by the way, the therapy has to be by me. That's the... <laughs> that's the LCSW. Uh, yeah, that's uh, the, Are you uh, into the savings bond? Or how about the... Uh, what happens if someone doesn't need therapy? Like, how does that work? With so, the, uh, as, as a therapist, I'll tell you, everybody needs therapy. You're a therapist? Yep. I did not know that. Yep, I'm a, I'm a licensed... Uh, licensed uh, what? How about a safe attire? How about a safe attire? Anybody want a safe attire? That Freddy, would be wonderful. You, I, Freddie, do you need a safe attire to travel with you on I don't need one right now, but I can imagine <laughs> that but, that would be something... But could you a, imagine if yeah, you have yeah. your own safe attire on, on your trips... He okay. has a, I mean... Website is closing in four minutes. The phone lines will be open a little bit longer. And we'd like to push 877-7-AUCTION. 877-AUCTION. We have the Lexus winner. Oh, that's the lady with the Lexus? Could you put her through? Uh, oh, uh, the lady from last year. She called in. She's on. Let me speak to her. Hello? Yeah, hi. How are you? Baruch Hashem. How's it going? Fine. So he got he won a two year lease on a fully loaded Lexus. We're about a year in. How's it been going since? Uh... Well, yeah. After that, I ended up uh, taking the cash instead because uh, I was I'm only 18, 19 now, so I wasn't able to uh, to get it. Oh, no. I, I speak on behalf of 19 year olds all over the world, and we say that we feel bad and we're sorry. What? You, what? So how much? How much if is you would have taken a Lexus, would it have been an ES350 or an ls You got $7,500. Yeah, how did the conversation yeah. go? Your parents said, like, by the way, that Lexus, uh-uh, not happening, and you can get $7,500. No, it was actually up to, for consideration, but there were a lot of things, uh, Tully, and if, if I could have it, there were a lot of things that we had to take into consideration. Okay, insurance, how are you going to have to go yeah. on insurance? And I feel like a Lexus is more than $7,500, no? <laughs> for two years. Right, yeah, maybe, maybe, maybe for the Lexus IS120 without yeah, you seats. To, you can't. End up getting less. Yeah, but I just want to put out there, maybe your, your mother and father listening. As Freddie's sitting right here, he says a buck with a Lexus is a big plus. <laughs> it's a huge boost in Shadow. Yeah, There's no question about it. It's only 19. A 19 Let me ask you something. What a buck with a Lexus is a bigger plus. What, what type of. Yeah, but by the time you're in Shadduchim, you've already downgraded to like a Honda Accord. Uh, that's uh, not going to help. Yeah, that's true. What are dating early? I think that's the bottom line. Can I ask what you did with the $7,500? What did you do with the money? Well, it's in the bank. We're going to see what I'm going to do with it. So oh. now, and, and of course, I put it, I gave to Ura after, so oh, I made sure to give. Did you put in for the car again? That's my question. Yes, but not for the lease because I learned my lesson. Ah, uh -huh. you very, put in, very you, smart. You're planning ahead. You put in for the minivan. Yes, I did. Are you putting yeah. for the minivan? Yeah, the, uh, free, uh, so uh, with that $7,500, wouldn't you want to like spend SUV some of that? Car, whichever, whichever one that was. Wouldn't you want to spend some of the $7,500 that you won? Get, like, or it's all sitting in the bank? Um, I don't know. I would say, like, you know, 7000 save for later, you know, with the 500 you know, kind of buy yourself something, no? Yeah, maybe, yeah. So I'm still, think, I'm still thinking about what, what we're going to do with it. Which it's, we're still discussing it. It's up for discussion. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. I, I just That's a long in. discussion. They've been yeah. discussing it for a yeah. year. Oh. I just want to add in, uh, Freddie, how does a bacher with a minivan in Shadokham <laughs> fear? I would, I would rent a car. Okay. Leave the minivan at home for the day. Okay. Well, for yeah, all those yeah, listening, yeah, yeah. Message. for all those listening, here you have it, right live on the air, uh, actual flesh and blood winner who won a two-year lease of a Lexus. So the winners are real. People do win. And yeah, they've been telling me that, that. Oh, now I know that there are actually real winners out there because you won. That's right. So everybody should call right now, one eight seven 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 auction Operators are standing by to... Oh, my they, gosh. They're oh telling wow. me now that the website is staying open for another 15 minutes. <laughs> That's that amazing. Is just, that do is we just have, amazing. Do we have that kid still on the line? Is he still on the line? Yes. Okay, I have yeah. a, um, how many people actually came to you the couple of days after and said that they heard that phone call? A ton of people. 
people. And her, a lot, a lot, a lot of people. Yeah, see, and people wonder, and they say, does anyone actually, you know, is anyone listening? Does anyone listen? The actual, the, 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 the Are truth, there people listening now? Yeah, there's, there's thousands of people that are listening. Wow. And Freddie, as you see in the screen, the people are actually picking up the phone and calling 8777-AUCTION, 8777-AUCTION. And uh, uh, the, one of the, obviously, one of the big draws, one of the best prizes is $36,000 in cash. $36,000, prize number 18. We give you a check or, or, or cash, I guess. I, I don't know. Uh, $36,000. $36,000 cash, cash money. So, uh, so that's a real, you know, if you want to, if, if it's late at night and you're sitting up at home and you say, I want to put in for something, but I'm not sure what, I only have $5, call up prize number 18. Call up right now, one eight seven 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 auction or go chair. online at ur.org. Website will be open for another 15 minutes and put in for $36,000 in cash. A fascinating prize. So we've discussed so and you many. you can take this 36000 keep 18 in your pocket, and give 18 to the shop, and then you get yourself probably the same quality should have. I interesting, interesting. Yeah. So, Freddie, you're saying that if, if it's between $25,000, $18,000 of, of, uh, of Shaduchim, you, you'd say it's probably about even. It's about even, yeah. Yeah, e excellent. So we've discussed some of the excellent prizes here. We have the, we, we have the, uh, the Shadchan Gelt, the Therapy Prize, the Lishma Prize, the Cash Prize. We have uh, lifetime tickets to Eretz Yisrael, which is an option of receiving... Uh, $1,100 annually for the lifetime of the winner, uh, up to 25 years, uh, for, for it to be able to fly every year to Eretz Yisrael. I mean, who doesn't want to go to Eretz Yisrael at least, at least Every time I'm in Eretz Yisrael, I see Avram Kravitz there. That is, and he's usually staying at the Waldorf. Uh, I, uh, Did you win the week of the Waldorf last year? No, actually, um, <laughs> usually when I'm in Eretz Yisrael for Ura, I actually come visit you <laughs> at the Waldorf. And oh, when you see me, I'm just visiting you. Uh, but I do get to go to Israel to see our um, amazing programs that are going on in Eretz Israel, and it's truly uh, inspiring. Next time you're there, I'll take you around, and you could come see. The, the, the web last time I was there, I saw you there. The yeah, yeah, amazing. that was like last amazing. week, actually. Yeah. We're going mm -hmm. to an Eretz Israel commercial. Eight seven 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 auction. Eight seven 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 auction. Here we go, Eretz Israel. Twenty-five tickets to Eretz Yisrael. Who needs to go twenty-five times? Well, there's lots of reasons to go. Like what? Visit your Saba and visit the Baba and visit the Mama Rachel. The Shuk and Geula and Midbar Yehuda pray each day at the Kotel. The birth of a baby, a cousin's bar mitzvah, a few hours at Yad Vashem. Pitzuchei Mashiach, Mara Samach Pela, and visit a daughter in Sam. Oh, I want to learn Hebrew, I need a vacation, I'm going because Israel's my home. For Sukkot, for Purim, for Hanukkah, Pesach, for my Bahamar in Monroe. Jeeping and hiking and wine tours and cheese tours. Gotta go check out the Waldorf. Spend Shabbos and Svas, your shidduch. Amuka, another round at tunnel doors. Azman in the mirror, or stay for the year. A bracha from the great Chaim. A Friday night tish, a Shabbos day walk. And don't forget the Rebbe Shrayim. Falafel, shawarma, chumos, chinos. And then Yehuda, hey. Take the train, I get bus. Hey, the cab rides on us. Five dollars a ticket, be in it to win it. A million of reasons, a life of tickets. Ooh, auction.org. <laughs> that was great. One eight seven 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 auction. One eight seven 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 auction. Uh, let's do a little bit of the ten second rule. It's a great game. My my friend uh, Mordechai Balsam actually uh, was the one who uh, introduced me to it years ago. And uh, Avram, tell us how it works. Okay, I'm going to ask you a question, Freddie, and you're going to have ten seconds to answer. Okay, you ready? Okay, right. who's keeping time? First question. Who's keeping time? Uh, I'll do it. I got a timer here. One okay. second. One second. Wait, I'm giving timer out. One of the prizes is Eretz Yisrael. The question is, you got 10 seconds. Give me five reasons to go to Eretz Yisrael. 10 seconds. The Waldorf. Tysol. Herbert Samuel and the Ritz-Carlton Herzliya. 10. Going to Naharia. Hey, that's it. Your time's up. So okay, five. You got, five you got is four, but I want to tell you, I'm inspired by all the Mekayim Zakadoshim that you mentioned. <laughs> well, I had Gashmias, I had Ruchmias, I threw it all in there. Okay, I'm going to ask yeah. you another thing. Um, Can I get like a 10-second extension on the next one? Okay, <laughs> <laughs> here is dental care. You ready? Right. You get you can win four thousand dollars one of the prizes if you call or if you if you sign on to ur.org, which is a few minutes left, or eight seven 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 auction, which is also a few minutes left. And I see people are calling. In fact, look at the screen. 
People call it's amazing. in. People, people call, are up at this time. People and all call they can in. Think about is this. There are people in LA that are calling oh. in. There are people in Miami that are calling in. People Miami's in the same time zone yeah, as us. Okay, I got loads. I'll ask yeah. you. That. Here we go. Four thousand dollars to the dentist. Five of the most expensive dental treatments that come to mind. Ten seconds. Braces. Uh, wisdom teeth removal. Um, bridging uh, things with a bridge. Um, Cavity removal. Okay, uh, but you, you you got four again. Now let's see how you do it. One second. No, no, I'm, gonna, I'm liking to ask this a lot better. One more question. <laughs> one more question for 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 Therapy. Freddy. Therapy. Here's a good one. I just picked this up. You ready? Five reasons. Let's try to get more than four now. You got ten yeah, seconds. Okay, go. Five. Twenty seconds. Five reasons, and please remember, you're on a family <laughs> show. Yeah. And you're on live. Five reasons to go to therapy, starting from now. Uh, depression. Um, bipolar. Uh, manic depression. Uh, anxiety. Uh, oh, man, you got, you got, you got four. <laughs> and, and manic depression is bipolar, technically. Well, it's the same. Well, it's Akhan, the same let me ask, Akhan, let me ask you something. Okay, yeah. yeah you ready? Oh, yeah, ready, I'm ready. Here we go. Okay, pick any pet you'd like. Name five of your top choices of pets, starting from now. Okay, a lion, a kangaroo, a zebra, a, a hamster, mm -hmm. and a gerbil. You got it. Oh. There we go. Yeah. Okay, else? I'm going to ask you another. Fine, fine furniture. You have $10,000 worth of furniture at Accentuations Design in yeah. Borough Park. I'm sure they have an outlet store in Lakewood or in Jackson. Seven different kinds of furniture. Seven. Seven. Um, okay. A recliner, a couch, a bed, a desk, a dining room table, and uh, a bar. Ottoman. You got, it. you got yeah. it. You got it. You got it. Okay, here we go. Okay, I got one for you. For okay, Freddy, this is right? for Shot. This is for Shot and Geld. Okay, this ahead. is for Freddie, right? This is Freddie. Shot and Geld. Okay, twenty-five thousand dollars to the person who makes a shidduch for you or a loved one. Name me five famous Shatchanim. P.D. Roth, Sadek, Lashinsky, Lewinstein, Levy, Sternbach. Lisa Elephant, Andrew Schwerner, overturned. Ah, mm -hmm. beauty. I like there we go, like 50 of those. Okay, last yeah. question before we have to do the final push, al -Khana. Last question. For, this is for you again, Freddie. I wouldn't insult anybody there. I know afterwards somebody's going to say, why don't you Oh, yeah, I'm get, not afraid to We get the world of Four reasons to stay at the world of on a trip to Israel. Starting from now. Diet Coke, Diet Coke costs $17. <laughs> uh, greatest pecan pie. Uh, Imad at the front desk always greets me and knows my first name. Uh, One more. Elevators don't have buttons. <laughs> yeah, that's it. Love that. Mm -hmm. Avram, I would like to see your answer. Arn Mueller. 1-877-77-Auction. 1-877-77-Auction. Yeah. Or online at ura.org. <laughs> or as we talk about... Oh, this is great. For Avram Kravitz. Before we do that, Elkhanan, I'm yeah. just looking at the screen. Yeah, I just said it. I, I know, but I want to try to delay this. I'm looking at no, the no, screen. No, no, no. you got to answer some 8 questions. 877-Auction. 877-Auction. <laughs> I have a question for you. If you had one person you could call now and wake up just to schmooze about anything, what would it be? Who would it be? If I had one, one person in the whole world... Yeah, who would it be? ...that I could just wake up and just hop a Tell them, hi, you're on the, you're on, you're on, you're on the Urathon, uh, what's doing, uh, good vach, uh, whatever you want. Aurel Green. I have no idea why that pop. I would call. But he's a great he's guy. He's always a good. He's always and good he's always up at three in the morning. He's always up at three in the morning, so I wouldn't have to wake him. Boom. Okay, Freddie, if you had somebody that you you would you would want to call now, who would that be? I would call. Three in the morning time. I'd call Alan Friedman from Los Angeles, California. Really? <laughs> he's a great guy to schmooze with. It's funny. You want to call him? Oh, no. <laughs> Not that much. Either. Okay, okay. Next. Uh, okay. 8777 auction, 8777 auction. I love this game. This is a great 30, game. $3,200 in gas. That's one of the prizes. $3,200 in gas. Here you go. You ready? I hate these type of games. Okay, here we go. Ready? One, two, three. Name five gas companies. Exxon, Sunoco, Swilly's Gas. Um, 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 uh, I don't mind. I don't <laughs> mind. <laughs> And Exxon Station. Oh, very good. Very good. Let me ask you one. I like this game. Here you go. A uh, vacation anywhere. Nah, week. Four, four reasons to spend a week in the zone. Boom. 
I, I, I think probably should ask that to Avram. No, that's for Al-Khanon. Oh, okay, go. Four, reason, four reasons to spend a week in the zone. Uh, you get to hang out with Rabbi Kravitz. You get to uh, do concerts. Um, you, uh, you get to play with the camels. Uh, you get rides on the go-karts. And uh, your kids run around a lot and enjoy it. Correct. Okay. It was much better answering than being thing. I'm going to give it back to you. you okay, can ask me okay. Those uh, oh, insurance worth $4,500 for Freddie. Name five things that you would insure. That's the prize is $4,500 worth of insurance. Name five things that you would insure. Go. Oh. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Start over the 10 seconds. Okay, right. okay let's, let's, let's do that one more time. <laughs> All right. Five things that you would insure. one 877 auction one 877 Seven auction, five minutes. The website is closing. So call, and everything is closing in five minutes. Call right now. Put in for a, a prize like this where you get insurance for $4,500. Freddie's going to tell us five things that are valuable enough for him to insure. My car, my house, my hairpiece. <laughs> my personality. <laughs> Can you insure that thing? Life insurance. <laughs> Yeah, I guess so, yeah. Mm. yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah, my life. Your cell phone. Yeah. I like that. <laughs> you forgot that. Your cell phone. <laughs> Your cell phone. Yeah, my cell phone, yeah. Okay, Khan, I want to do a social experiment. You ready? Yeah, no. We're going we're gonna, to we're gonna tell people that we have three minutes left for the drawings. And we're going to tell them that now is their chance to actually call in 877-7 auction. 877-7 auction. I got a text auction. message from Shlom Yehuda that says, tell Khanan that if he wants his prize, you'll have to get him a lion as a pet. What? I don't know. Anyway, 877 7 auction, 877 7 uh, auction. I would, like, I would like, I mean, I would like a lion if he's offering. I'll just know? let you know that the last thing Al <laughs> needs in his life right now is a lion in his house. I, my kids would be thrilled. Honestly. He doesn't need that. The website is closing in a couple of seconds, and don't forget, pick up the phone and call. I thank the three people that just picked up the phone and call, and now we see another three people that are calling. And the and if you want to be the la the last caller that we take, we'll I'm put wrong. you Here's on the uh, top on the, ten yeah. people you'd like to meet at the Super Bowl. Top ten people I'd mm -hmm. like to uh, mm -hmm. please don't make the ten second rule by the way. Okay, Freddie Friedman, Bob Kraft, the quarterback, whatever his name, <laughs> whatever is. His name is, Deflate Gate by the way. Yeah. Okay, um, Elchanan Schwartz. I would love to meet you there too. The commissioner, yeah, the commissioner of the uh, NFL. Oh, mm -hmm. and Arla Green, by the way. And Arla Green just wrote back that he is up and he ready, is to up and ready to shmooze. Tell him if he <laughs> donates, if he donates, we may actually... Anybody can text right now if they want to schmooze, because there's barely anybody here listening. Uh, you see, that's your mistake. Uh, look at that screen. 877-7-Auction. Oh. We are getting there. We want to hit a magic number. I know what that magic number is, and if you pick up your phone, you will actually assist us in getting the magic number, and you're just a few minutes away before we start calling people okay, I got another and thing. letting I got them know else for I got that they have else for won. Go ahead. Let's see, right? So one of the prizes, okay, is the grocery giveaway. You get $100 a week for groceries every week for a year. So it goes like this. Seven things you buy all the time at the grocery. What are the seven things you buy all the time at the grocery? Um, E-cigarette liquid. <laughs> okay. Tylenol. Um... Donuts. Um, Tums. <laughs> Tums, yeah. Mm. Prilosec. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, I don't really go to the grocery store that often. <laughs> I mean, you know, a diet okay. snapple, yeah. Okay, mm -hmm. um, let's see. We gotta get we gotta get Avram in on one 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 or two more of these. Um, let's see. We have hmm. Somebody just WhatsApp me. If I if they win, will we call them? I said yes. We will win, and we will call them. Someone just sent me an email watching you from France. It's 8 a.m. back here in France. And by the way, we must give a shout out to our Israel team. Do Somebody you know just texted me that they're watching me from Vegas. Really? So we're we're Everyone's I mean we're really global yeah, here tonight. I mean that's I mean, that's clear. And Moscow. obviously, how are you, Vegas? I, I, we have people, uh, we, uh, just right now, we have Arlo listening here in Lakewood. We got someone in France. We got uh, someone in L.A., My obviously. Chicago just texted me, are you going to plug hard for, you, for boys dating younger? 
Yeah, you did already. I you think did I already. did that already. Yeah, you done. did. Yeah, done. I don't know. He must. I'm gonna not, text him back. He, done. He must. He must have not been. Okay. Uh, yeah. He must have not been listening. Uh -huh. So everybody, let's go. One eight seven 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 auction. One eight seven 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 auction. Two minutes. Two minutes. Two minutes. Everything is for Macht. Fash, listen and call. And by the way, the last, what did we do last year, right? The last, last guy who called in? We put him on. We put him on the air, and you can tell us all about the reason uh, why you don't, why you waited so that's, long to uh, donate. Four just so came the in. last guy, the last caller will be donated because it always intrigues me who waits till 2.38 in the morning to decide to call in for the first time. So I'm you know, really curious you know about I that. Wish so, we could do? If we could call in one of the call centers and be like one of the people that are donating and without them realizing that we're actually calling and uh, seeing the process, so to speak. Have you ever done that? What? That, I was spacing out. That, that's thankful. <laughs> if you call the call center now, Hana, we'll be one of the donators, so to speak, who are calling right. the call center to donate yeah. and be inspired by the people that actually uh, take the donations. But while we're waiting, we got 60 seconds left to 877. Adopt a <coughs> Carlos. Seven auction. That's another big news story. 877 seven auction. Yeah. Adopt a Carlos, a big, big news story. They've taken. Um, I I'm think. Getting it seems I'm like getting all types of text messages or different things that are top news stories. I think and feel free to text me what your top news stories. I also we gotta also, by the way, give a special shout out. He's not here this year, but he was a big part of the auction for many years, and that's Lipa Schmelzer. He's not here with us today, but he's 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 done amazing stuff for Uro. He's been involved not just in the Radiothon, but in the Schmorgs, in the concerts that he's given. Maybe if he's listening somewhere, Lipa will give us a call. Somebody uh, texted but, me the dirty charm rap. I don't, I don't know what that is. I don't know what that is either. No, no. Yeah. That you was wanna, a new story. No. You want to let us know what that was, Freddie? Here's a text message from Moshe Mendelowitz. Okay. Nostalgia, his CD. It was an impact in the Jewish world. It, very. It I changed the way we thought about music. No I would question say about it was it, an huh? impact in his world. <laughs> oh, yeah? It was in his world. I'm not sure about my world, but it... Well, no, it was, a, it was an impact to many, many people, and it brought back some old songs that we've never heard. Very, very hard yeah. sick and the like. 60 seconds left. You could still call in. Uh, we... Here's another one. Schleimer Werdiger's endorsement of Hillary Clinton. It was a big news story. That, that was, was pretty big. epic. There's a, there's all this stuff, by the way, is stuff I've heard a lot about. <laughs> 8777 seven, auction. Who's going to be the last caller? How about this one? Who is going to be the last caller? We have a few more calls. They want to reach <laughs> that magic right number. Here. I'm imploring oh, you to pick up the phone. Write it. Alkhana, we want to reach that magic number, whatever it is. 877, let's push this. 1877 seven, 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 auction. 1877 seven, 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 auction. Pick up the phone and call right now. Go online at ura.org. Ura.org. That's a good question. Oh, that's a good question. So I remember last year, Freddie, by the way, when you were on together with Sadek, um, uh, Shlomo Huda Rechnitz called in, and uh, they, you guys had a deal based on how much money, uh, how much weight you lost, he would donate uh, Let's just say I money. lost a lot more weight than he did this year. No doubt about it. Took off about 46 pounds. You right. took off 46 pounds? Yeah. And then, which should be clear. I mean, if, is when, there a way when, to do a side by side when, when, with my when, face from last year? A before and after. I'm basically, when, wearing the same tie. Yeah, I mean, there's got to be a before and after, right? When, we when, have a before picture. Somebody's got to have that. Do we have no? that? Do we have that? No, they're telling me. I mean, I'm half no. the size. Well, I mean, uh, he would have owed about what was it, two thousand a pound? Yeah, something like that. Yeah. Would have owed about a hundred k. So, so, so it was a bad deal for Ura. So uh, th that would Avram, be from that was that was my stupid. fault. Yeah. But I will tell you mm -hmm. that. Um, I, I think you were a little skinnier a few weeks ago, to be honest with you. And I think that, uh, did you lose the, you want to, I don't want to share how you lost the weight, but I, I believe there was some, some, uh, some uh, divine intervention that assisted you in losing the weight. What? What'd you say? It was some divine intervention. The lap band surgery? <laughs> I guess so. <laughs> yes, yes, that's one of the Yeah, but I did that seven years ago. Okay. You mean it just the tightening? Kicked, it just uh -huh. kicked in. It just kicked in. Okay, <laughs> let's go. Let's finish up the auction. Let's reach that magic number, 877. Seven auction, eight seven seven. Seven auction, eight seven 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 auction, eight seven 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 auction. We want to get to a magic number. The lines are closing, and I can't wait to call you and let you know that you are winning <laughs> one of the three hundred thousand thousand dollars worth of prizes. If you stayed up this late, you might as well call in now and take part and get involved. The website is closed, I believe, and you could still, there's still people here answering the phones at 877 7 auction, 877 
seven auction and here we go the calls are coming Still in Still waiting for that what last this lifetime uh, tickets to Eretz Yisrael is this business class is this economy the, 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 mm -hmm. this is uh, I think it's I'm pretty sure it's economy there is a business class prize in here somewhere though 877 so. pick up we that need phone clarification pick we up need that phone Alkhana, we're almost at that magic number the and we want to get magic number we want to get not there saying what that is we right? want to get there come on pick up the phone you got 30 seconds I'm getting up and I'm watching the screen and I'm enjoying, look at those, look at that screen lighting up. People are making phone calls. And you got about 60 seconds, pick up that phone. You know, don't forget all these kind of very practical prizes, you know, things that people really need, you know, the money for, like uh, this, the groceries or the insurance or, um, you know. Uh, the savings bond. The Toyota, you're a savings bond, rent and mortgage, $6,000, tuition, $5,500. Uh, gas, $3,200, <laughs> all those types of things, all those types of, fill us in, Freddie, all those types of things that people really, uh, really uh, that real people really need, that uh, oh, people really... I don't know if we can say that on there. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay, I just got a message. Uh, Freddie, hi, um, I'm not going to say who this is. This is who and who. The oil of here in Brisk wants another clever line before for Seder, meaning they want a shout out. To those of you in Brisk, time to go to First Seder. Thank you for listening. And meanwhile, we want to just keep... And it's Kedai to wait the two years to be Zitz and Dresden. That's, <laughs> That's for right. Brisk right in there. In a few uh, years, it's really going to mean a lot to you. In two and a half years, you'll, you'll wait it out, and you'll be able to sit outside, and it'll, be all, it'll all be worth it then. Come on, come on, let's go. Let's pick up that phone, and let's call. We are getting there. Rabbi Weinstein, how are you doing? We're getting... We're getting to that number. We want to finish up. Uh, 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 Matt, you cannot close the line yet. We're not done yet. There are people still calling. 8777 auction. I'm going to ask you and to keep the line open. Don't forget, we have a stack of names here of all the people who have donated over $100. We'll get to that, that soon. we will read. Over so even if you don't win, even if you don't win, if you want everybody to hear about how you gave money to Ura, call in and we will publicize. We will publicize Now is that. the time to get your covered. Now, yeah, that's right. I'm getting Little, it. it's around a split here. Freddie will read some names but for us. Before you start, I just want to push Akhan to get to that number. So don't start Since reading just yet. Help us get it. to that number. Here we go. 877. And the lines are lighting up. And we're, 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 we thank you for picking up the phone. It's the and calling. Freddie, wait, 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 wait up one second. Freddie, wait up. Freddie, wait up. Wait up. If you want Freddie to read out your name when you call now to donate, say... Let Freddie Friedman read out my name and they'll tell him and we'll actually get him to read it out. 8777 auction, pick up that phone. Let's go, let's keep the Yankee calls coming Yankee grabbed the $100, Yankee Gabby off $100, Yitzchak Garten $250, Friedman $100, Louis Friedman $100, Solomon Feldman, Mrs. Fruma Gordon $90. She did not make the $100 cut here. <laughs> Mrs. Gordon, if you want to call in and up your donation by $10, would we'll be able to read your name in its entirety. <laughs> That's the thing. I'm sorry. Here we go. Freddie, watch that screen. The screens are lighting up. 877. Oh. 7 auction. 877 seven auction. Jacob we want to get there. The Bristol's going to say, I'm Cohen, $100. It's the $100. Let me read this one. I was a Strickman. Yehuda Strickman. Not going to mention his name. Why do people, why do people wait till now to call? Okay. Uh, that's why what's we always the, interview the last guy. What's the reason? That's why we interview the last call guy. Call now and give $1,000 $1, and we'll give you serious covet. I mean, this is the time. This is the time to get it. 8777 right? auction. Let's go. We need what Buruch? do they get for 36? Where's Buruch? What do they get for Get Buruch on the line. He's being this is your time, huh? He's being low key these days. Oh, yeah? yeah? Okay. 8777 yeah. seven auction. We should call people to solicit them. I think that's a good idea. No? Okay. You, yeah, you know Moshe Mendelowitz is up. You want to make a little conference call? <laughs> and then we'll start soliciting people. No, Moshe will kill me. <laughs> yeah, okay. Eight, I'll call Buruch now. Okay. Eight, you'll call get him. Yeah, we'll get him. Okay. 877. We can get him for 250. Seven auction. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. We got to be really keeping the lines open. Pass. You can get in and you'll thank yourself after for actually calling in and if you win you'll say i listened and i actually uh, uh i called in last minute i changed my mind i decided that i'm going to take part 877 7 auction 8777 auction we got we're past that line but we're keeping it open for you to win one of these 
Tremendous, People are sending pictures tremendous of me. prizes. We're almost there. Come on, let's get to that number. Mrs. Simon, Leia Landau. We want to get there, Ms. right? Miss Caroline Liff, Goldie Link, Feige Loria, Yaakov Shimshin March, Shmuel, Shmuel Mushel, Shmuel Newman, Mayor Nissen, Moshe Plotnik, Shalom Reichenberg, Naftali Rosenberg, Chaya Rubin, Akiva Schoenfeld, Simon Schwartz, Yisrael Shapiro, Chaya Shulman, Sarah Siegel, Mayor Spira, Michael Stavsky, Pessy Abramson, Moshe Ambers, Joseph Atlas, Penny Bergstein, Yankee Borchardt, Menachem Bressler, Chaim Brisman, Simcha Brisman, Jacob Brody, Dobie Burstowski, Chaim Cohn, Jay Cement, Yitzi Ezra, Solomon Feldman, Louis Eight, Friedman, seven, seven, David Friedlander, seven auction. Achana, Yitzhak sorry? Garten, Yankee Gabioff, Fruma Gordon, Yaakov Gradman. Achana, you, stop one second. They oh, said, what, they what, said what, you what, have what, a 30 what? second plug that you could push for us to reach that magic number that we want. 18777 auction. Rabbi Sai, you know, we joke around a lot, but at the the end of the day, this is about it's, it's Ura's. Ne'ila. This is Ne'ila. Ne'ila's Sha'arim. Sachlanu Sha'ar be eight Ne'ilat Sha'ar. Bring us your money. You know, eight, give us, eight, give seven, us, seven, reach deep into your pockets at this moment. Seven, Ask yourself, seven. can I make a difference in Klal Yisrael in 2016? Can I be like, like, like who? Like, like the speech. Like one of the people who makes a difference. Can I be one of the news stories next year? Will be they? Will they be discussing me? Will they say? Well, let's not put too much emphasis on money. <laughs> I mean that goes back there. Will they be huh? discussing me? Uh -huh. And the answer is maybe because maybe you will donate money that will allow Ura to reach another child that will allow that child to become a grace of Talmud Chacham, and everybody will know it was because of you. And even if everybody doesn't know, Hashem will know, and Hashem is what really counts. Bimheira, bimenu, amen. Now you have your Edison dinner speech. Do we have, do we have the last caller on the line? Do we have the last, the last caller on the line? We have we the last do. caller. The last caller's on the line. Hello? Yeah, hi. Hi, what's your name? Leah Fryer. What's that? Leah Fryer. Hi, how you doing? And did you just call in to donate for the Urathon? I figured I'd give you like a, I'd save you some time. You could just tell me now already what I want, and then you don't have to call me again soon. <laughs> oh, very interesting. Can I ask you though, why did you wait till 2.47 on the last, I mean, we've been sending out, you know, reminders and our, that's why we, we like to interview, you know, the last person. Well, how do you know she doesn't live in Australia or anything like that? No, well, we've been pushing this since like Hanukkah. In yeah, Australia, Miami, it's like I'm Friday Miami. afternoon right now. What's that? Okay. Mm -hmm. I'm listening from Miami right now. You're listening? Yeah, Freddie, we're in the same time zone. Freddie, oh, she, okay. says, she says you're in the same time zone. She's listening from Miami. And oh. why did she wait so late, Ohana? What'd she say? Yeah, I know she didn't say. I didn't, I didn't give an answer yet. Um, I just know, got a very generous pledge another. from Shlomi Huda Rechens, by the way. Really? Should I, should I read it? He wrote, I'll make a CD with the proceeds to Ura. Very nice. Really? Really? Yes. There we go. If he can just break nostalgia's records, Ura's in for at least five to six thousand okay. dollars. Leah, what prize uh -huh. did Leah, what prize did he put in for? Um, I think I put in for mostly everything. Oh, for everything. So listen, we're really excited. We're, we're, next year, don't wait so long. You know what I mean? Put in early. Put in early. Your That's tickets get to the bottom. It's very good. And oh, uh, can I just send regards? Somebody, sure. uh, I, just, I want to give a shout out to my friend Marin Plim who works for Cars for Kids. Oh, very I'd like nice. to give a shout out to all the Boca Raton killers. I'd like to give a shout out to my tour mate, Sarah Porad. And a shout out to Freddie Freaker, regards from your mother. I met her in the airport last year, Pesach. She's very proud of all the work you do. And she's listening here live, by the way. Excellent. Thank you very much. So clearly, someone who's involved with Ura. What's this Thank you name? for your donation, Leah Fryer. Leah Fry. Wow. Freddie, can we talk about so, that CD that's coming up? Yes. It's can very we, exciting. I'm can very I sing a song on it? Is that possible? Can we work that out? Alchana Schwartz happens to have an unbelievable voice. Correct. Anyway. I've heard him in concert. I make a plug to Shlomi Huda. I've heard him in concert, speak by to the him way. And, yeah, he's great. He is great. He is great. Uh, we, we've been so to have some. So, Freddie, when is the uh, release date for the CD? Is this a creative? I don't think the CD has been created yet. Is this so, a creative? Does he have like the songs already? Or I don't know. We're starting I from guess scratch. when he texts me, I will find I out. I would say we should do one of those things where like, you know, you go away and maybe I'll come with him, you yeah. know, to help him with his creativity. You know, like the bands will look, you know, they'll rent a house. Like a tour. They'll rent, no, they'll rent a house in like the Caribbean for like two years while they work on their next album and they kind of just sit there and chill and, and, and live with the music. So if he's down with that, I'm definitely 100%. up for helping, you know. 
uh, helping uh, be uh, re uh, created. So I think that would be, I think that would be awesome. <laughs> are, are the lines still open? Can we get another call in? Can we get a call in for the auction? That's it. Lines so, are closed. Could you imagine that That's somebody, it. somebody who should have called and didn't call and is actually not going to win this year because they didn't call? But we're very happy and we're very thankful to all the people, to all the people that took the time to listen all these hours and to call. And now we like we to thank Freddie for being with us here this, this hour. Incredible Much more than he was he was supposed to come in for a short segment. And, and, and is that you trying to get rid of me right no, now? No, no, no. no. <laughs> Not at all. And, and because Freddie, I don't mind leaving. And Freddie has a speech uh -huh. tomorrow, by the way. Freddie has a big speech. Yeah, we, we, congratulations on the big Freddie, honor. Thank Freddie. you for... Within 90 days is the timeline for the CD. I guess. Really? Thank really? You. Good. Really? I got a question for you, Freddie. Is your speech going to be on the level of the speech? I sure hope so. Tomorrow mm -hmm. night. He censored and edited the whole thing, so I hope it's just as controversial. Okay, now I'm, now I'm ready to go. Now I might come to the dinner. Yeah. You know? Okay, see him time. Here we go. As our evening of Siyumim comes to an end, we hope you were inspired by all the Siyumim as much as we were, and we hope you are ready to join our Torah Mates department by signing up to take a Torah Mate. There are many of Achene B'nai Yisrael that are waiting to be set up with someone just like you. For them to be able to learn Aleph Beis, Mishnayis, Gemara, Chumash, Halacha, whatever you choose to learn, we will set you up with someone that is compatible with you at your time and the topic and subject that you'd like to study with and learn with him. And I'd also like to take this opportunity to dedicate the next song from the Pumpadisa Band to over 6,000 current Torah mates across America and around the world that learn every single week, week in and week out. Take it away. Oh, 1877 Torah 123 to sign up for Torah mates. 1877 Torah 123.
are listening to WABC 770 AM New York, WMCA 570 AM, and 107.9 WMDI Lakewood. And you're on the URA Radiothon 2016. We've closed down the phones. So now it's all we have to do is uh, wait for that moment that everybody's been waiting so long and so anxiously for. And that is the moment where we begin the drawings of our $300,000 worth of prizes. <laughs> Rabbi and Mrs. Barish Brody. $100. Everybody here has given $100 or more, some significantly more, but, I, you know, it's going to take too long. So here we go. Brad Mrs. Barish Brody, Mr. Mrs. Herschel Pfefferkorn, Mrs. Herschel Pfefferkorn, Blanca Freund, Joel Friedman, Svi Friedman, Aaron Grossman, Yisla Kornbau, Ellie Letterman, Zachariah Schechter, Moishi Unger, Yisrael Mary Young, Kelowitz, Mordechai, Zeno, Levi, Dessler, Shlemy, Eichen, Holtz. Herschel Pfefferkorn, Hershey Fishman, Moshe Frankel, Yehuda Goldish, Menachem Goldstein, Abraham Gottlieb, Jacob Horowitz, in honor of Ura Buna, Levitansky, Zev Oretz, Shmuel Rosenbaum, Miriam Leah, Rupp, Chaim Schwartz, Menachem Siegel, Judy Strauss, Nathan Tyberg, Isaac Weiss, Mordechai Zino, Abraham Zoberman, Yehuda Strickman, Yehuda Taub, Fivish Waxman, Hershey Weber, Chaim Mayer Weiss, Yaakov Wenger, Shmaya Zeilingold, Avigail Zellman, Solomon Eisenbach, Ari Genuth, Chaim Helpen, Benjamin Hutt, C. Klagsbrun, Moishi Pashkiz, Aliza Rand, Byla Robinson, Moishi Rosenbaum, even Evan Scharf, Wilma Schechter, Zev Schmelzer, Michael Schwimmer, Menucha Singer, Yitzchak Sokol, Yitzi Tesser, Yitzchak Weiss, Harvey Whitener, Mendel Greenwald, Thomas Grimaldi, Ellie Hirsch, Matthew Hoffman, Benzian Kaplinski, Nathan Klein, David Kresh, Dove Kurland, Nadine Kuttner, Yechiel Becher, Shelley Blumenfeld, Maishi Brot, Daniel Derringer, Shlemy Eisenberg, Yisrael Erbs, Yehuda Fingerer, Aaron Glucksman, Pessy Goldfisher, Joe Heineman, Ali Honigsfeld, Moses, Le- Moses Levy, Sammy Misri, Pinchas Nyman, Benzian Weinfeld, Yehuda Derringer, Shlemy Friedman, Joshua Kirstein, Mr. and Mrs. Sammy uh, Misri, Rabbi Itzik Rubin, Mr. and Mrs. Yisrael Travis, didn't know he got married. <laughs> Mr. and Mrs. J. T. Berg in Lakewood. Elchanan, after doing this for a few years, what inspires you to keep on keeping on for URA and uh, being, you know, such an integral part of our fundraising effort? Uh, so now I'm getting interviewed? Is that correct, okay. correct. So um, I think the, the thing that draws me to URA most is um, I think the scale of it. When you go to, let's say, the zone, you go to the boys camp or the girls camp for a Shabbos and you just see or, or sometimes you'll go in the middle of the summer when both the girls, girls camp and the boys camp are operating and you see just the massiveness of the scale of how many families are there how many, how much just Kirov is going on the scale of it is just enormous and I think that's what as an organization why I kind of really enjoy URA and why I buy into URA because I see how much um, I see how much, I see how much, uh, the, just the massive, massivity of it all. Okay, so we just got a text from LA that um, as this uh, album will be coming out within the next 90 days, after the, uh, after the auction, we'll put out some sort of uh, promotion of some sort where somebody will, will, will raffle off the ability to pick the words to the song um, on this album that will ultimately support Ura, and we thank... Um, the uh, creativity, the person behind this, who will be uh, putting this album together uh, for us. Who, and who is that? Um, the speech giver. The speech giver. The speech giver, the album putter outer, um, a, a wonderful, uh, tremendous mm-hmm. friend of all tzedakahs, well, uh, Shlomo Hidu Shlomo Rechnitz, And we course. appreciate it very much that he's, that he's willing to do this. It's a very creative way to, to give. And uh, at Ura, we always love that. But that when fits in with Ura, in the creativity way. that ultimately, yeah. the creativity that, that, that this whole auction. So to get it, the song, I meaning someone's choosing the words. The, you pick the words. Who will pick the words? The winner will pick the words. Oh, we're going to do And a, he will make a song. We're going to do like a separate raffle correct, or something. Correct, something of some sort. We'll leave it up to the creative geniuses. Um, he, the, 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 the winner will pick words, uh-huh. and he will create the song. And uh, we're glad to have uh, Freddie back here. Um, 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 in the studio, he's uh, he's um, um, he, he he came on to uh, finish help us at least call one of the winners. 
He, he, he's here to call one of the winners, and then he's going to go to sleep because he has a dinner tomorrow. He is speaking tomorrow, but he'd like to share the spirit of giving with somebody else tonight uh -huh. uh, here at the uh, at the Urathon. Elchanan. You got some more names. Elchanan, El just memory lane. Yeah. Memory lane. Give me yeah. an interesting Urathon history, historic story that happened. Any Any memories? Something from year one or year two, we should do back like a well, throwback. I'll tell you, honestly, year one of the Urathon, if anybody's interested, I'm not sure that they are, but year one of the Urathon was actually, um, uh, was supposed to be hosted by Rabbi Shmuel Kunda of Blessed Memory. Uh, Rabbi Shmuel Kunda was supposed to host alongside Rabbi Moshe Meir Weiss and I believe myself. And then at the last minute, um, he got sick. I remember he had like 104 fever or something Friday afternoon. And uh, at the last minute, it's possible, actually, that I wasn't supposed to host that year. I think it was supposed to be just him and Rabbi Weiss. And last minute, he got sick. And uh, myself and my dear friend uh, uh, Shmuel Hillel Hill uh, wound up subbing at the last minute. I don't, I don't know if... Uh, what's that? We should read the names. More see him. Okay, okay, more names. So we're going to read some names. I think we got pretty much all of them. I got five more left. Five more names. Uh, Mr. Ellie Bachner from Springfield, New Jersey, $250. Miss Avigail Breidowitz from Toronto, Ontario, $100. Ariel Gilcaro from Forest Hill, New York, $105. Rabbi and Mrs. Chaim Perkowski from Los Angeles, California, $250. And Mr. Jacob Reichberg from Muncie, New York, $140. So we're going to go back to the CM for a few minutes to the beautiful singing and dancing. And right after that, We'll be drawing the prizes and calling the winners here at Urathon 2016. Back after this. <laughs>
here we are back in the Ura Radiothon booth here at Ura headquarters in Lakewood, New Jersey. It's that time of night, it's that time of year, the most exciting part of the Radiothon, as deep in the Ura computer uh, banks, deep within the bowels of Ura headquarters, the winners are being picked. They are, they are cranking the big bins with all the tickets, and they are starting to pull out the winners. And very shortly, they will start bringing us the names of the winners, and we'll try and get them on the line, waking up people with some good news about some of the fabulous prizes that they have won. And I would ask you, Freddie, if there's one, one, uh, one prize that you would, you would really want from all the different prizes, what do you think it would be? Seriously, what, what would it be? What would you wish you could get a phone call uh, and, and, and be woken up for? I think I'd like it to Dini. <laughs> Shaitl. Yeah. Yeah, Shaitl for, for who? For yourself. <laughs> for yourself. Yeah, it might be a private time. question. Might be time. <laughs> <laughs> might be time. There are a lot of Shaitluk. Um, a lot of Shaitluk. I think we have like more than one uh, uh, Shaitl prize. So that's, there's a Kiki. There's a Kiki. Very, very interesting names. Uh, you have the Jacqueline. You have the Kiki. And you have Is there a the, cash value on you pick your pet or you just have to take the pet? I think you have to take the pet. Mm -hmm. You have to take a pet, I believe. But you know, uh, there's never like a shit look like the Rishel or the. A Shaitel. Like, not the Rishel, the Rishel or the. A Shaitel, you mean? A Shaitel, yeah, 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 yeah. Like the Rishel or the. The, yeah. the Frottle, you know mm -hmm. what I mean? They never make <laughs> the. The Shandle. The Shandle. Mm -hmm. That's not a big one. Or the, the Shandle Frottle. The Zilpa, mm -hmm. right? Nobody goes with a two name Shaitel. No. Interesting. That's also interesting. I wonder why. Right. We should get like a. Like the Sprint of Devora. When, we, the, mm -hmm. when, we, uh, when we start our weekly radio show. Um, we can, we can it's get always an English name, the Jack Lewina. <laughs> yeah. Something French sounding. Well, Dini is like a... Dini's kind of basic, you know, yeah, Dini, yeah. you know. Yeah. It's kind of for your practical... And I see it's sponsored by my neighbor, Bleamy's Wigs. Oh, very nice of them. Very nice of them. Uh, Thank you, Bleamy. It's a, yeah, it's a jewel also. It's a jewel also. See, here we got the Kikis right here. Three Kiki Shaitels having a nice... Uh, Having a nice, uh, I don't know if they can zoom in on it or not. But, and uh, this one shows a face, so. Yeah, we got Try the three to block shatels. that. There Try we to go. block that. Three shatels kind of schmoozing, right. schmoozing mm -hmm. at the, probably the Lakewood Lake. Uh -huh. Kind of the Lakewood Lake. It kind of mm -hmm. looks a little more like, um, I don't know. You know, my sister-in-law does shatels, and when she's like kind of in middle, you know, she'll be cleaning shatels and, and stuff, and then you walk into like their bathroom, and there's like wigs hanging all over on shatel heads. It looks like kind of like the Tower of London or like or maybe Paris during the, the French Revolution, like a bunch of headless uh, heads kind of. Do you, do you want to do more of the 10-second game? Yeah, let's do a couple more. We don't have to do prizes. We can open it up. All right, here we go. Just go ahead, ready? Here we go for Freddie. For credit. Do something creative. Something Doesn't creative. Doesn't have to be something out of there. Okay, Doesn't I, something right, out of there. Okay. It's over. How about this, Okanan? Yeah. Ten place, ten dating Not ideas. Ten. ten is too much. I'm sorry. Five dating ideas you tell the people who ask you where to go on a date. Ten seconds. Did you get the clock? Go ahead. Ping pong. Dave and Buster's. Abigail's. Reserve cut. La Marais. Jumbotron at Yankee Stadium. You know what's amazing? It's the uh -huh. first one that he got more than five in ten seconds. You know? <laughs> I just know it. What? It's right there. Ten places not to go on a date. Uh, five places in ten seconds not to go on a date. Ocean Place. Uh, Ramada on Route 70. Uh, Basilio, uh, parking lot. And I'm going to say don't go to Central Park when it's above 72 degrees. Okay, okay, we, okay here we go. Mm -hmm. We oh, here we go. Is. We have our first winner. Fred's going to give him a buzz. And the winner of this prize also gets to choose okay. the, the words. words. You can do is that. that it or the second prize? No, no, that's fine. You can do this, Freddie. And the winner. Wait, wait till they pick up. Let's say they don't pick up. They'll pick up. Hello. And we'll give it to the next person. And what is, what is this on. person even Freddy, winning? Freddie, you're on. Freddie, you're on. Hello. Hello. Is this a Joanna Mystery? It is. Hi, we're calling from the Ura auction. Hi. Unfortunately, there was a problem with your credit card. <laughs> we're trying to process it. The last four digits are 9347. Okay. <laughs> so there was a problem with the security code. 
you if you could just give that again? Huh? Would you like the security code again? Uh, uh, yes. No? <laughs> should, we, should we ask for her social? <laughs> yeah. Joanna, we need your social here at the Process Stop. This Prize. Right. So I'm going to give that to you with like a billion people. I can't hear what she's <laughs> saying. Huh? Is, is Freddie's mic on? No, uh, you can actually email in your social. What yeah. prize did you put in for? Um, I, we, I think I put in for a ton of different prizes. But which one did you want most badly? I think um, that's proper English, right? I think what? Um, the Israel. The what? Israel. Israel. The Shetel? Israel. 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 It's not Shetel. A lot of people would love me to wear Shetel, but yeah. Oh. <laughs> well, I have some bad news for you. Because you okay. did not win the ticket to Israel. Instead, you won a lifetime of tickets to Eretz Yisrael. Oh, wow! oh my God! Twenty-five years. Oh you will gosh. be going to Israel. Well, what's your reaction? Let me hear. I, I'm. I. My husband's not in town, and I need to call him and wake him up. He is going to be bouncing. You, you want well, to? I'm not speaking to the I winner. Can't now? Make him. I have to call. <laughs> call Sammy. Wake up the winner. You, no, it's her husband. Oh, oh, it's her God. husband's out of town. You want to conference oh, him in? You want to conference him in? Conference him in. I, is he in not Israel now? Up the phone, but I can try. Where is he now? By the he's way, in Wisconsin. Okay. He's when are we getting that social? <laughs> yeah. He is literally. We thought we won a couple of years ago, and it was something else, and he was running up and down the hallways of our apartment because he thought he won the wow. tickets to Israel. And That's amazing. this is going to, this is unreal. Unreal. So enjoy your trip to Israel Let's every year for the next 1100 for the next 1100 for the next 25 I think 1100 is $1,100 annually. Wow. Right. Wow. In 25 years, right a ticket Thank to Israel so will probably much, be about dollars and I really grand. wanted to say, regardless of winning or, or, I mean, it's, it's always winning, the work that your organization does is is truly why we donate every year, and um, it's it's just unbelievable. So Amazing. this is just uh, the moment. icing on the cake, which I still have. Okay, before we go further, you want to try to get that husband from Wisconsin. We're not going to ask him what he's doing in Wisconsin at this time. Um, he's on a business trip. It's all legit, but I can actually. I'm going to try. Okay, that, he I'm, won't answer, but I will try. Hold on one okay. second. Definitely should try. We give this person the, the, the thing or no? What do you mean? No, no, no. We're going to do the next one. Yeah. But isn't that amazing that, that she was dreaming of going to Israel? Now amazing. she's going 25 times. 25 times. That's a lot of times to go to Israel. Freddie, that's what your last year. And it's a long time to get to Israel when you're flying here. <laughs> Look who showed up, by the way. What? Arla Green, like I said. Arla Green, thank <laughs> you. <laughs> I said, one guy's going to show up to schmooze this at 3 o'clock in the morning. This just took off. Okay, do we have the... I winner? have some more winners to announce over here. Winner. The winner of the, the people we couldn't get online, but we're just going to announce that they won. The winner of the grocery giveaway, the grocery giveaway is Yosef Galimidi from Aventura, Florida. Yosef Galimidi is the winner of the grocery, the grocery giveaway. Isn't is her, that wonderful? Groceries can be so expensive. Is there. her husband on the line? Are you back still on the line with us? No, we lost him. Did we lose her? Okay, some more winners. We lost her? Well, okay. do you have anybody else? Some more, some more winners. Some more winners that are, that have not, that are not, uh, we're not calling. Uh, we tried calling and we couldn't. The lease on the Toyota Camry. The lease on the Toyota Camry. The winner uh, from St. Louis, Richard and Nathan Gitt. Richard and Nathani, Nathani Gitt. Richard and Nathani Gitt. Uh, win the lease on Are the Toyota Toyota yeah, Camry, yeah, yeah. and uh, Freddie has some more. Win Freddie has some more winners for you. The winner of the five-ish cash Tufshin something, uh, yeah, Tufshin. Five thousand dollars <laughs> in five-dollar bills. Five thousand dollars. That winner is Daniel and Esther Waldman. <laughs> From 1314 Caffrey Avenue for Rockaway, New York. There you go. There you go. They have won $1,005 bills. Okay, they uh, just got an email. If you could please refrain from giving their personal home addresses and, <laughs> okay. and phone numbers and social... Do not go to 1314 <laughs> Caffrey tonight and try to steal the five-ish cash that was earned. Could we get that, that, that winner on the line? Could somebody get her on the line? I'd love to... Uh, 
I'd love to see if we can get her on. I'll announce a winner. The Dini Shetel. It's a Dini. The winner of the Dini Shetel, we're going to announce it, is Michael Kogel, the winner of the Dini Shetel. <laughs> Let's hope Michael Kogel is married. And I'll give you here's another one to announce. We want to get some phone calls, guys. Got to wake them up. You got to, you know, figure Just it out. Just keep calling. I think that's the way they do it. 100%. Call no. the home number. Okay, we have a winner of the fine furniture. $10,000 to spend at Accentuations. Fine furniture. The winner from Teaneck, New Jersey, Adrian and Lisa Gulich. Adrian and Lisa Gulich, winners of the fine furniture. Prize. Okay, the winner of It's a Jewel, It's a Jewel, is Menachem and Susan Gottlieb. You have won It's a Jewel, and the prize for that is, I'm assuming lots of jewels. I thought this. Uh, the It's a Jewel is more. actually um, a shaitel, I believe. No, no, no. Call them on the phone. Call them it's up. a jewel. It's a shaitel. We're not announcing. A custom Could jewel wig. It's a jewel phone. wig. Get on the phone. It's right, a jewel just, wig. Uh, uh, sent me a very creative new name for a shaitel. The Ivanka. The Ivanka. <laughs> Let's see. I like that. Huh? Okay, Let's we're going to... see if it takes off. We're going to... That Wisconsin That's guy... We're secret. going to try to get them back. And as they try to get... I sent back the announcements and told them to get them on the live. Who is picking the words for the song? First, let me hear we, the song. We got to get somebody live. Are we getting that person back on the line, Wisconsin? Uh, Elchanan, if you had to think of some words you that you would want to write, words that you were passionate about, that you would want somebody to write a song about, what would those words be? Um, I think "Im Hischayafti Benidui." Im Hischayafti Benidui. Harani Mevakeshatari Malaschem. I always wanted to do. A Does song the like Mutterlach the high part? Did you have like the mutterlach, kind of? Like, like, mutterlach. You have like a nice kind of chorus in the background going Mutterlach, 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 Mutterlach. Im Hischayafti Benidui. Harani Mevakesh. Mutterlach, Mutterlach, Mutterlach. Im Hischayafti Benidui. Harani Mevakesh. Atorah Mimalaschem. Mutterlach, Mutterlach, Mutterlach. There we go. This is gonna be the next. Uh, the next, uh, and then, like, happen. you just <laughs> the low part could be just like a no, the entire the the okay, we're, we're putting yeah. up a little s statement here. We're not announcing, they got to get them on the phone. You have this? Are we doing this or not? You, did you do it yet or no? No, no, you or how about this one? Oh, this is a very, very exciting prize. Something that 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 Freddie would talk of really, really love. It's the number seven prize a week at the Waldorf, and it goes to Isser and Ada Fisher. From Brooklyn, New York, no. won a week at the Waldorf. Congratulations. <laughs> That's it? Okay, we have a, a big one. You're going to take this. And then after this, we're going to wish Freddie good night. He's got a dinner. But you can have this. And we want to hear the reaction. Hello? 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 Hello. Hi. Uh, may I speak with Devora or David, please? Speaking. Hi. My name is Elkanen Schwartz. I'm calling from the Ura Radiothon in Lakewood, New Jersey. Yes. How are you doing this evening? Good. We've just been uh, we're taking a short survey on to see if people are happy with the service they receive by donating to Ura, and we were wondering if you had a few minutes to answer some questions. Sure. Okay. We're, when did you donate for the Ura auction? Sometime before Purim. Oh. And did you donate online or by phone? By phone. By phone. Did you find the customer service rep on a scale of 1 to 10, how likely would you be to hire the person that, uh, that, uh, that uh, took your phone call for URA? 10 being very likely, 1 being not likely at all. 8. 8. Very good. Very good. Solid. On a scale of 1 to 10, how happy would you be, 10 being the happiest, 1 being not so happy, if you won $36,000 in cash? 10. And, uh, you would be a 10. Mm -hmm. Okay, very good. Thank you so much for your survey. And uh, we uh, hope to, uh, hey, by the way, um, I also wanted to let you know that you actually did win the $36,000 in cash.
Can we get a reaction on that? Um, oh my. Oh. <laughs> yes, sir. You're either very, oh you're either really, really tired or just not a very excitable person. <laughs> <laughs> but congratulations, Navarro. You won $36,000 in cash. Thank you so much One minute. for donating to the auction. But there's a bonus prize here. You get to pick, with that enthusiasm, do we give her this bonus prize? Yeah, we do, absolutely. You get to pick the words to the next song for Sonny Hooden's reference for two CDs. And you have 30 seconds. I'm going to say 10 seconds. You have 10 seconds. She didn't hear the first part. Oh, know. okay. You also, part of this prize, why did they have to give it to the $36,000 cash prize? I mean, that's like the best prize. Besides for that, you get to choose words that you are passionate about that will be on the next CD of Shlomi Huda References coming out in less than 90 days. So I don't know if you were listening, but uh, Shlomi Huda uh, graciously donated that he's going to put out a CD, and the proceeds will go to Ura. And we are What's giving this person's name, by we, the way? we are giving away the ability to pick Jewish to pick Jewish words, obviously, for a song. Which words come to mind? Which words speak? come to mind that you're passionate about? Oh, you have Kesef right. something. Oh, you have Kesef le years but Kesef. It's just gesund? never ending. How about what? Gesund. Gesund. Mm -hmm. Gesund. Give us a little bit more, <laughs> something a little bit wordier than that. I mean, that's just one word. Is there a pusik attached to this? Uh. Why not just open up a sitter and just shoot out any pusik? I have words apropos for tip for your drawing. Go ahead. Ha kesef yana esakol. Kesef yana esakol. How about mitzvah Hashem bara meira senayim? Mitzvah Hashem bara meira senayim. Mitzvah Hashem bara. Amazing. Okay. So at this point, we're going to thank Freddie for joining us. Freddie's got to go. Thank you. Thank you for joining us. And I want to just ask our winner, um, is this what the prize that you actually wanted to win? I'm sorry? I didn't expect to win it. Right. And I'm sure the $36,000 could, the $36,000 could be used uh, well. Okay, thank you so much, and enjoy the prize, and keep on donating. Thank you. Thank you. Good night. Good night. Hello? Hello? Do I have him on the line, our next winner? Hello? Yes. Hi, may I speak with Dovi Gross, please? This is he. Hi, it's Elchanan Schwartz calling from Ura, Kir of Rechakim in Lakewood, New Jersey. How are you doing? Baruch Hashem, fine. What's that? Baruch Hashem. Have you ever won the Ura auction before? Yes. And what prize did you win in the Ura auction when you won it before? The Five-ish Mobile. Did you, oh, wonderful. Do you still have the Five-ish Mobile? Yes, of course. Do you drive the Five-ish Mobile around? Yes. Really? Yes. You're the guy. <laughs> Good for you. Good for you. Well, uh, what do you think that, what, what, what kind of prize uh, did you put in for this year? Save a tire. Seriously? The Save a tire? Yeah. Is that the only prize you put in for? Only prize. Well, you put $5 in for the Save a tire, that's it? I think it was $2,000. What's that? I think it was $2,000. You put in $2,000 just for the Save a tire? Well, that's how you might win. Put five dollars, you don't have much of a chance. Interesting strategy. Well, I gotta tell you that your strategy has worked, and you won the safe attire. <laughs> Mazel tov, that is unbelievable. How do you feel? Uh, Baruch Hashem, terrific. Thank you very much. What are you gonna do with the safe attire? I'm um, gonna use it for people who sometimes need it. Uh, during a week, perhaps, of Shiva, things like that, in, uh, in Passaic, close to the neighborhood. Beautiful, beautiful. Well, Mazel Tov, what a chash of a chash of a prize, and you're going to use it for chesed, and what can you tell us? This is your second time winning what you want a car, you want to say for Taira, Ruchnius, Gashmius, you got it all from Ura. What do you think? I think uh, Ura has uh, been founded in the most uh, chash of a manner, I've been happy to participate these past uh, 30 years, 
and I look forward to the next 30 years of Mitzvah Shem. Okay, and Duvi, we look forward to calling you next year again. Yeah, Mitzvah Shem, you'll continue to win. Okay, I have a prize to announce. The prize of your wheels. Your wheels, the, the, uh, the winner is Sarah Hirsch from Albany, New York. You have won your wheels. Now we're going to announce a whole bunch. Rent and Mortgage. The winner is, Achanan, you're live. The winner is Lisa. Yeah, who won that? Lisa Cohn. Lisa Cohn, you have won Rent and Mortgage. Fill her up. The winner of Fill Her Up is Zev Cohn from Flushing, New York. And the winner of It's a Jacqueline, Mark and Ellen Simpson from Philly. The winner of the Toyota Sienna is Jacob and Jessica Goldberg. The winner of the Art Scroll Library is Akiva Ken. Akiva, parentheses, Ken and Devorah Grossman. The winner of the Debt Free is Chaim and Tova Finkelstein. And Lishma Prize. Can we get a drum roll for Lishma Prize? Does that ruin the Lishma Prize? Just a drum roll. And the winner of the Lishma Prize is Oza Yona and Sara Rudnicki. And the winner of the Tuition Prize from Brooklyn, New York, is Brooke Hazan, or Hazan, can we get some live people on the phone, please? Yes, I think we have, a, we have someone on the line right now, do we? Yes. Hello? Yes. Hi, how are you? Baruch Hashem. Well, um, my name is Elchanan Schwartz. I'm calling from the Uru Radiothon. Oh, okay. Okay, yeah, you perked up a little there. Yeah. What do you think? Uh -huh. this, what do you think this is about? Um, ura, ura. Um, the prizes. The prizes. Okay. After you, Lagba Omer. Correct. It oh, was yeah. Certainly after Lagba Omer. Yeah. I so you're, by the way, you're right? live on the radio now. Like so there's like a million people listening to you. I'm just saying. Okay. But that's don't a be a, scary. Even five-ish, right? What's that? Even five-ish. Five-ish. Yes. Yes. Um. So. Um, so remember, there was something called the uh, the Mega Bucks raffle sort of. that we did. You, you remember what that was? No, not really. Uh, okay. So um, basically, uh, the way it works is that you donated, um, you you pledged some money, or you you donated a money, yes, and then did. you win, and you win a hundred times your a hundred times your donation. Oh my. So, for example, if you if you if you uh, if you donated a hundred dollar a dollar, you would get a hundred thousand. If you donated a hundred dollars, that's a thousand. Then that's how much would you get if you donated a hundred? A hundred times a. A hundred times a yeah a hundred times a hundred is. You'd get ten thousand dollars. Ten thousand. Right. And if you donated um, five hundred dollars, how, how much would you how get? How much did you win? Five thousand. No, 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 a hundred no, times, a hundred times 500 is? 50,000? 50,000. 50, One minute, yeah. and if she donated a thousand. I'm not a math teacher. Uh, clearly, no, 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 no. <laughs> clearly, all three of us yeah. have, have uh, issues with math. That's for now, sure. Now, 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 do you remember uh, how much you donated to the Megabucks, uh, to the Megabucks raffle? I don't know, but I think Usher, my husband, always donates 500 for the thing. Really interesting. Wanna, is, so that means there? if you hypothetically, if Usher, your husband, would have donated uh, $500 th and he won the Mega Bucks, then he would be a winner of $50,000. Oh, we'd be going to Israel. One minute. Well, we, could, we know a lot more than going to Israel with $50,000. Well, very exciting. Was that, where's the husband? Could you want to ask him what he donated? Yes. One second. Usher, 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 <laughs> Yosef, please wake up. How much did you donate to Ura? Can you imagine getting woken up like that? I didn't this year. Seven fifty, he said. He thinks. No, it's capped Noah. at. Oh well, the mega bucks. The mega bucks is capped at five hundred. Mega bucks is capped at five hundred. Right. Yeah. So if he donated seven fifty, now the the only question you want to ask me now is why I'm having this whole conversation with you 
about how much it's worth other than that. You want to wake so, me up. Right. So hypothetically, hypothetically, <laughs> why <laughs> would I phone call. ask ask me this following question? Ask me this. Riddle me this. Say, Elchanan. Did you call me at 3.30 in the morning and ask me all these ridiculous questions and math questions while I'm half asleep in order to tell me that I did win the Mega Bucks with my donation of $500 and now I am now the proud winner of $50,000? Ask me that question. Okay, I'm going to ask you a different question first. Oh, okay. Ohan, can you say to me, because my father is in the hospital and I spend Shabbos, far away from my family for Shabbos, can you say to me in front of everybody that Shlomo ben Batsheva should have a Rufur Shalema. I wish you and everybody here surrounding me in the Ura, uh, 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 in the Ura uh, headquarters will be nether, Davin, for Shlomo ben Batsheva. You should have a Rufur Shalema Bekar of Mamish. Amen. Amen. That's more important than the phone call. Absolutely. Okay. Okay, Absolutely. Well thank, well, thank you for donating, and we'll catch you uh, next year. Abso- that work? Absolutely. Absolutely. And, uh, but what about that other question? I know that that kind of pales in comparison. Are you saying that, I don't remember, but are you saying that Usher Elstein just won something really, really big? I'm saying he won $50,000. He won a hundred times. A hundred times. What he gave. What he gave, which was. Wow. $500. No, he says, one second. Uh, sure. One you won $50,000. No, one second, one second. I'm reading your thing. It says that you you pledged his lawyer speak, okay? Here we go. Okay. He says that you pledged. I'm just reading what it says. You paid 250 Oh, the lawyers are going to love this. Here we go. You paid $250, but you pledged $500. So you actually paid $250. The prize has arrived before the, we'll pay in a while, so the question is, the question is, either you won 100 times $250, what? or you won 100 times $500, and shh, shh, and either way you want a lot of money, agree? Oh, agreed, oh my goodness. Yeah, so you wanted to go to Israel, I got to tell you, you can get good tickets for about $1,100, and even if you do 100 times $250, that means you won, <coughs> you won $25,000, 25, um, and you can go there to sell about 25 times. But someone from the Ura office will get in touch with you. What, <coughs> what, do you say, what do you say after hearing that you won some sort of large amount of money? Mazel tov, this is crazy. This is a dream. Oh, my goodness. Usher never wins anything. And he tells me not to write my name because I'm always going to make us lose. <laughs> oh, no, wow. we, we have confirmed that this, this is, is a 50, that this is a, we have holiday. confirmed that if you pay up the rest of the pledge, obviously, which certainly you'd be able to do, uh, and it goes up to 500, then you would be a winner of $50,000. I just got that. I, I got that. I got that straight from the boss uh, around uh, two seconds ago. That's so, true. I got the same thing. So you have won. Let's hear a reaction. You have won fifty thousand yeah. dollars on the 2016 Urathon. Yeah. Take oh, it away. He's built fifty. Mazel tov. <laughs> Mazel tov. Thank you. <laughs> Ten minutes later. Here we go. Thank you very much. Thank Congratulations. Very much. Someone will be in touch with you shortly. We have some more winners to <laughs> announce. The oh, I know this guy. We can get him on the phone. Number three, Classic Jewels. Classic Jewels, won by a friend of mine. Trying him? Thirteen. Hello? Wait, I think we have another winner on the phone. I don't know. Oh, no, not anymore. Okay, let me give you some more winners. We have some more winners to announce. Uh, number three, the classic jewels, the beautiful, stunning jewelry won by Chaim and Chayalea Rivlin in Toronto, Ontario. A friend of mine, Chaim Rivlin. The one prize, the $6,000 MasterCard. $6,000 on a MasterCard run by Devora Frine from Brooklyn, New York. Devora Frine has won that. 
Okay, I think we have somebody else on the phone. Oh, that's great. Hello? 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 Hi, how are you this evening? Hi, how are you? Okay. Hi. hi, hi, how are you? My name is Elkhanan Schwartz. I'm calling from the Uru Radiothon. Oh, hi. How you doing? Good. Guess why I'm calling? You're calling to ask me how I'm doing? <laughs> That and and why else would someone from Ura be calling you on three thirty in the morning on a Matzah Shabbos? I don't know why. I, I don't know why are you calling me. Maybe because you won something. Oh yay! <laughs> yay! What do you hope you won? Um. Well, I hope I won the thirty-six thousand uh, dollars. Sorry, won. that's been that's been done already. Sorry. Sorry, but you won something fascinating. Okay, can I tell you what you won? And I want to hear a reaction to this. You won the prize. Pick your pet. You can Ooh, get... What, I didn't even know that I put in for that. You can get any pet you want. Ura will pay for it. You want a, a parakeet, a bunny, a sheep, uh, a lion cub, whatever it is, you got it. How does that make you feel? Okay. Very good. Very good. Very good. Okay. On a scale of 1 to 10, uh, how do you feel? I think 10. 10! Excellent! Well, Mazel Tov, congratulations. We congratulate you on winning the Ura Pick Your Pet Raffle 2016. Thank you very much. Good night. And we have some more winners. Some more more winners. And uh, while you got the person on the line, the clothing connection is won by Danielle Kramer of Brooklyn. Shop New York is won... By Binyamin and Elisheva Statfield. Traveling Tykes is won by Rosalie Armstrong of Ottawa, Canada. Insurance is won by Yehuda Wallace of Israel, B'nai Brach. They have won insurance. The. Yeah, uh, bituach, bituach. Visa gift card is Richard and Rochelle Kirshner. The Sterling Silver, Achanatan, when you're ready. Jennifer ready. Weiss. Ready. Sterling Silver, and last one for me until uh, we get some more people on the line. Renovate Your Home was won by Isaac Kerem of Brooklyn, New York. Okay, let's pass this person through. Hello, good morning. Hello. Hello, yes. Hi, how are you doing? Okay. My name is Elfan and Schwartz, and I'm calling you on behalf of the Ura Radio uh, Radiothon. How are you doing this morning? Okay. Okay. How you doing? You put in for the uh, auction every year? Yes, we did. Okay. You excited about that? Yes, but it's four o'clock in the morning. It is. So you want me to just kind of beat you to the point? Get to the point? Yes, for- get to the point. Okay. Yes. You won the Vacation Everywhere package. It's number 31. It's your chance to relax and enjoy a getaway with us with $3,600 tours, airfare, hotel, stay, and dining. Have a great day. One second. You have my name? Uh, yeah, someone's got your name. Yeah, I got your name. Uh huh. So who? You, do you know who you're talking to? Do I know who I'm talking to? I don't know. I got it somewhere here. Sure. Yeah. You, li- you live in Brooklyn, right? Yes. And your last name starts with an A. Yes. And your husband's first name starts with a J. No. Oh, maybe Jonathan. I don't know. Yeah, Jonathan. Jonathan. Yeah. yeah. John. Uh huh. So your your last name is Ackerman, correct? Correct. Okay. okay, so you're the one who won the vacation anyway. Your chance to relax and get away on us with $33,600 for the April and Donnie. Thank you. That work? It's okay, even though it's uh, so early in the morning? Yeah, it's fine. You'll so forgive me? I... You'll forgive me? I'll forgive you, sure. Oh, thank you so much. Um, how do I obtain that? or? How do um, I... I'm not sure about that, actually. No. Yeah, they'll be in touch. Someone from the office will be in touch with you on Monday. We'll be they'll be, be in touch with you on Monday okay. morning. Thank we just want so to much. let you know the good news. Thank you so much. Uh, okay, Thank my you. pleasure, Shlof. Okay, Take care. Okay, the winner of the number 22, the Eretz Yis- Okay, before we do that, the Eretz Yisrael Prize is won by Nick and Rochelle Rosenberg of Woodmere, New York. What? Who? Hello. Hello. Hi, how you doing? Hello. My name is Elchanan Schwartz. I'm calling from Ura Kira Verchakim Organization in Lakewood, New York, New Jersey. Yes. How are you doing? Where are you from, sir? Israel. Israel. 
Israel. Oh, so it's early in the morning for you. Yeah. Can we do it in a Vrit? Oh, we should try. No. You speak English? Yes. You live in Ramat Beit Shemesh Aleph? Yes. Uh huh. Do you do you remember putting in for any of the prizes? Yes. Okay. Well, I, I it is it is my good. I want something. Yeah. What? I want something. Yeah, you want something. You want pick a pet. What's that with? Pick a pet. You want the prize that you can pick whatever pet that you want. What do you mean? I have a pet. You have a pet? Yes. Okay, so we'll give you something else instead. How would you like? What? How, we'll give you something else instead. What do you mean? What? How, no, I know it. How I don't have a pet, but I don't like pets. He doesn't have a pet. Ah, but no. how, would you like? Would you? I really, don't care for pets. You don't care for pets. So I'll give you something else. How about that? Yeah. Okay. Would okay. you like? Would you like a check for six thousand one hundred and thirty dollars? Yes. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah. Okay, let me see if I can get that for you. Hold on a second. Let me just speak okay, to them. Uh, Jimmy, are we able to switch in the uh, the pet prize for this guy for si instead for six thousand one hundred thirty dollars? Uh huh. Uh huh. I can't keep a pet now. Uh, do you know the Fiveish song? What? The Fiveish song. The Fiveish song. I don't. I don't know by heart. You don't know about. Well, congratulations, Mazel Tov and Simcha, because you won six thousand one hundred and thirty dollars in checks. Yeah. I won. Y yeah, you won. How much? Six thousand one hundred thirty dollars and no cents. How do I get it? How do you get it? We'll send it in the yeah. mail. You want it in? What? You want it in shkalim or dollars? It does that. What do you say? It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. How do I get the check? Well, 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 they're going to send it to you in the mail. Someone's going to call okay. you on Monday, Mitzvah. Okay. Okay? $6,132, right? No, 6130 dollars. Okay. That's Not good. thirty-two. Okay. Okay? How does that make you feel? You happy about this? Very good. You feeling okay. good? Okay, bye-bye. Mazel okay. tov, mazel tov, simchas and achas. Yes, yes, yes. It shouldn't come as a good. It couldn't come at a better time. It could have come at a better time. Oh, better time. Mazda, use it because to hate. Oh, okay, the shopping spree okay, winner. Bye -bye. The nice. shopping spree winner is Jason and Adina Weiss of Farakaway. The week in the zone. The Ooh, week in the you, zone. Who are you going to be hosting And in I'll the be zone. spending time with you. Uh, Ira and Noga Radowski from Brooklyn, New York. Looking forward to spend the week with you. And the five-ish checkbook. Five is checkbook is Nechama Newman from Lakewood, New Jersey, and the priceless bracha is Ellie and Molly Isakov. And the Need for Speed goes to Nathan and Esther Zeltzer. Nathan and Esther Zeltzer win the Need for Speed prize. The beautiful Leichter go to Nathan and Esther Katzenstein. Nathan and Esther Katzenstein win the beautiful Leichter. The Set to Impress goes to Brindel Lapel. Brindel Lapel, the Set to Impress. It, from Brooklyn, Brian de Lapel, and the savings bond goes to Yael Holtz. Yael Holtz has won the savings bond. Sukkot in Israel, won by Yitzchak Weiss of Brooklyn, New York, and Itzhak Kiki, that's a shetel, Moshe Wai and Judy Kushner, you have won a Kiki shetel. The $5,000 bonus raffle, that is the early bird winner. Of the of the the bonus raffle, Elliot Katz from Brooklyn, New York. You have won the five thousand dollar bonus raffle. I'm gonna take it away. Here we go. We got the diamond necklace winner. Beautiful diamond necklace for Yisrael Yavni or Yavna. Yisrael Yavna has won the diamond necklace. The family vacation. The family vacation was won by Shmuley and Suri Weiss from Shower Door Decor. Shmuley and Suri Weiss have won the family vacation. They're from Brooklyn. Uh, the supermarket, interestingly enough, the supermarket uh, prize, prize number 42, if for those of you following along at home, for those of you scoring at home, is uh, $6,000 to spend in a supermarket, was won by uh, Tzvi Meirov, Tzvi Meirov, in, from Imperial Kosher Market in Phoenix, Arizona, has won the supermarket prize. And the dental care prize, 
for delicious, wonderful, shiny dental care. Yaakov Mayer and Panino Weinstein have won the dental care prize. Congratulations to all are so very many winners. Uh, we're I believe. For, we're, do we have any more prizes? Any more prizes that we have not yet announced? Do we have any more prizes? Are we done with the prizes? In the meantime, Elchanan, I'm going to do some thank yous if that's okay. Knock yourself out. Okay, we're going to thank, as we get to the end of the prizes, we're going to thank the Ur marketing team. Rabbi Shia Framowitz, let's give him a big hand. Rabbi Yosef Harstein, Rabbi Suli Freilach, Mrs. S.D. Aben, Mrs. Fakik Words, Mrs. Devora Hamnik, Mrs. Hendy Provalski, Ms. Zahavi Enoch, Ms. Ms. Rina Gestetner, Ms. Mrs. Devora Fleischer, Mrs. Ita Gelbax, Mrs. Whitney Shapiro, Mrs. Shavi Steinberg, Mrs. Chai Rivka Kerwin. We want to thank all the people in the call center in America and Israel. We want to thank the uh, honorary producer of the Urathon, Simon Goldstein. We want to thank, of course, Ramosha Mayor Weiss. We want to thank Rabbi David Monk and Rabbi Tully Greenwald. ZK, of course, gets a tremendous thanks. Zam Zalman Kapel, um, Rabbi Chaim Brisman, Rabbi Chanuk Fishman, Mr. Shady Abramson, Rabbi Shlomo Chapler, Ura's customer service team, Rabbi Mordechai Arkanchi, Mrs. Freddy Jerusalem, Ms., uh, Akiva Kimmel, the entire... <laughs> The, shh, Ezra Cohn, the entire, the entire maintenance department. And before I sign off, I want to give a tremendous thank you to Elchanan Schwartz, who is the Ura Radiothon for now and forever. Thank you so much, Rabbi Kravitz. Thank you to all those Rabbi Kravitz mentioned. Thank you to my co host, Rabbi Kravitz, Rabbi Yisrael, a.k.a. Freddie Friedman, uh, and Rabbi Moshe Mayer Weiss, all the people behind the glass who did such a wonderful job this evening. We thank you so much. All our winners, we couldn't do it without you. And remember, everyone, it's never too late or too early to donate to URA one at one 877 auction No more prizes? Any more prizes from there before El Khanan signs off? Any more prizes? What do you say? Okay, as, a, a, as we're, very, we're into discretion here, the therapy prize... And the Shachana's prize you will not be announcing. Ah, interesting. All of the prizes are available online at, ura, at uraauction.org within the next uh, 48 hours after everybody gets some sleep. Again, the Shachana's prize and the therapy prize, understandably, we did not, uh, we are not announcing the winners. And al Khanan to close it down. Uh, yeah, I'm closed down. Thank you for joining us, everyone. Everybody who's listening still, thank you so much. Join us again next year for Ura Radiothon 2017. And always remember that you can uh, always donate to Ura, even when it's not Radiothon time, by calling one eight seven 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 auction or going online at ura.org and make a wonderful donation. Thank you so much. Get a Torah mate. Come to the zone. Do Kirov, gentlemen and ladies. Do some Kirov. Because that's what it's all really about. Take care. Adios. Bye-bye. my soul. Searching for the answer. The meaning of it all. And just when things seem hopeless. They start to come alive. All it takes is a moment. To forever change my life. sunlight peeking through the clouds a passion that is for me that ignites all those around a flash of inspiration a moment in the light the truth and liberation of knowing your own